Well, hello everybody, and welcome to the updated shield design for the new pack. Now in this, I will be showing you how to set up a separate region for all of your barley production, and a separate region for sausage production along with some of the issues that come along with that. Now I'm just going to say this kind of bluntly, you don't need sausage or fish in order to hit the high tier of the game. You can in fact do it with very simple strategy I'll show you. Berries, veggies, eggs, bread, apples, and honey. Right there, you have way more than you're going to need. Honey is still very much broken in the game, and you can spam apiaries. We will be getting everything up to tier 3 in the main shield design. Now, there is a link to this build in the description, and I will be showing the placement and how to build this design. You can skip this, look in the tabs if you don't want to see how I set this all up. There will be a save for the beginning of the game, and there will be a save for the end of the game in the description of the video as well. So the difficulty that we're going to be playing on is normal. I'm just covering the basics here. We're going to be playing on restoring the piece, normal difficulty, and we're going back. I have been doing underground well placements, but you can do unconstrained if you want the design to work. So we're going to do unconstrained just for the purposes of this. So starting off, the territory that we have is actually not very good, which is perfect because it's going to allow me to show you all the things necessary to do a build. Now, you either start with berries or fish, and you either have iron or you have salt. Now, the current salt mechanics in this game are a bit... Uh, 200 salt is enough to make 400 sausages. So you're going to have to find a rich deposit if you want to have an infinite supply so that you can produce an infinite amount of sausages. 400 sausages will last you a couple years for a normal city. So... They should, in my opinion, be 2,000 for an unrich deposit and, you know, four or 5,000 with the ability to tap into them indefinitely. But you would need thousands of salt in the long run if you're trying to plan a, a city that's going to be going on, you know, five or ten years. You don't need to make sausages. It's really cool if you can, but you don't need to do it. You can see over here, we have a salt deposit that's rich, which means if we get the proper uh, disciplines, we can make an infinite sausage and we have a wild animal. So right here, we'll have to take this by force. We have an area where we can do a meat city. This is perfect for what I want to show you, which is how to set up a trade system to get those goods sent to you. So right here, we have meat and right here, we have Oh, nice. So this has one rich deposit, which means it has the best farmland in the game. So this is perfect. We're starting on a basic kind of setting. You can see right here, I have both a stone and iron deposit. Having a rich deposit of clay is actually advantageous because it's a very good trade commodity. Stone, not so much, but clay tiles, yes. So we have our wild berries here, which is relatively perfect. And what we want to do is look at them, you know, savor the savor the berries uh, what we're going to do here is get our farming tool and i guess people are if you use the farmhouse you can see where they are so i can see all these beautiful little berry bushes and still currently in the game you can do this if you cut down a tree it uh removes your berries your max berries right but if you do this it removes the trees in a way that does not count towards doing that so it uh inf it protects them indefinitely that means that you can have your firewood cutters, you can have, you know, people juggling fire sticks and things. You don't ever have to worry about your berries. So we have protected our berries. It's a beautiful thing. Now, our our meat situation is down here. Um, quite ideally, we would love to get the pelts and all that stuff from there. Our tents are over here. Now, usually what you want to do is build up very quickly in the area that you're already at. Try to get berries, try to get meat, try to get as many modifiers as you can to get your approval rating over 51%. Now, my ideal location for building the um, abstract shield design as it will is, is going to take place over here. Now, make sure your orientation is corner to corner so that everything in these plots goes perfect. We have our berries in a very ideal location. We want to make sure that everything here is pretty much a straight line. So that will be one row of housing. This will be the market area. This will be another row of housing. And then this will be the last bender. Okay, so I could easily bring this over. So let's say that I do the, let's start um, with the benders on this side. Yeah, we got lots of room. So we're gonna just bring it up. This is probably the most annoying part of uh, getting a nice clean design. 
is just this early stage of making sure everything lines up decently. So if we do it like this, all right, there we go. I think this looks good and we just need to leave a big enough gap for a road. So there's the houses. Here's the market. Here's the additional houses. And here is the last bender. And we're going to have to kind of contort it around this, but I think I did it in a way that is uh, going to work. Yep. Look at that. That's perfect. So we got our edging right here and any additional farms that we need are just going to go on the, the side over here, uh, down in here. And this is where the industry goes. Um, actually, what we'll do is just put the farms over here then. This will be better. Uh, so if we need any more benders, we got it right there. All right, cool. So now that we have our benders, we're just going to put straight lines all the way up. And you're basically not going to care about meat at a certain point in this game, if you've already kind of caught on to that. Um, we will have, you know, a meat producer, but it's just never going to be at, the, at a level that is useful. Uh, berries right now, we can get 440 with the setup that I have right here. Okay, then we got him going here. All right, and then we got that going there. So this is pretty straightforward. It's only six corpse pits up. So two corpse, two corpse pits at a time with spacing for a road in between. And you can give liberal spacing if you want. It, you know, you can make it as tight as you want. I, I tend to be a little bit more liberal. Uh, we want to be liberal. Okay. We want to make sure that um, this lines up here. So, okay. So we got these guys here. Beautiful. And you don't need to do all of uh, the bender. You don't need to do all the corpse pits for these middle areas. Just the benders. You do the benders right, and you're gonna you're gonna have a. Good and this is a very very uh, poorly done bender, but it's not bad. It's gonna be a good bender. The main thing is that our angles were angled corner to corner. If you don't angle corner to corner, your benders won't snap correctly. A lot of people are having issues with that, and I try to tell them it's like uh, if you're at a weird angle. So it's funny because. People always say the game isn't grid based. Guess what? It is fucking grid based. <laughs> the angles are literally based off of a grid you can't see. So it's a little sloppy, but that's okay. That's how we like it. Um, it gives it flavor, it gives it that edge, right? So there we are. We got everything going on. Perfect. All right. We'll need to do these uh, for the benders, but for the most part, Everything is exactly the way that I wanted it. Uh, we just need to make sure that we get these out now. Oh man, I didn't do lines perfectly here, so it's going to look a little wonky, but that's okay. Wonky's good. And you don't have to cut down all these trees just yet. It's almost wise not to. Primarily though, you just wanted to get your sectors right. Because uh, once you get all the grids right, the, the houses will snap themselves. Um, sometimes it is best though to leave... Um, one corpse pit, because as you can see, if I go for my housing and I do this, um, I can get, I should be able to get five. I typically go for five in a row, two, three, four, five. You can do six. This one's a little bit bigger because uh, I was a little bit liberal with the spacing. So yeah, you're going to see some, some liberalness there. Uh, yeah, so it is good to leave some of the benders or to use a bender as a, uh, not a bender, sorry, but a corpse pit as a block and then rotate. Yeah, we just don't have enough wood. So one, two, three, four, you can actually fit six. And if you want to fit more, you can. So essentially we'll have one for making ale. We'll have others for making certain artisans. The ones in the bottom, you want to reserve for artisans. Uh, this is going to be granaries and markets. Uh, the church and the market area and the tavern will go right here. And so you'll have your tavern here. You'll have your church here. And you have a market area here. And the market area will not need to be too big. We will be controlling market stalls. Uh, we may even decide to get go away with a couple granaries and expand the market at a certain point if we feel like it. But for the most part, this is it. This is all you need in order to get everything done. Now, I'm not going to place corpse pits on the sides here yet, uh, simply because I actually do want to use my lumberer to, to come in here. Now, the big kicker uh, when doing this is you want to make sure that you have pause work on all of these. So I will pause all of this, and then I will save this for people so that they can start from this point. All right, so the uh, main city is done. So what we need to do now is kind of realize that if I try to build my city over here, I'm so far away, I probably won't get my first family until October. Now, the negative of this is that I will be using stone for the granary, which is better used, which I'll have to mine some stone. However, 
I will have more families and be able to mine stone if I do do the starting location here. So we are going to do a very simple starting strategy. We are literally building right next to all of our resources. So it's going to go so fast. Okay. So we're going to get the hunting camp. We're going to get the logging camp. And we're going to get the, the granary. We're going to build a very rudimentary market. Doesn't need to be big. And we're going to place down a well. And away we go. So since everything is literally right here, it's going to be great. The hunting camp is already up. We're going to have them go. We're going to have them do market stalls. Okay. Let's slap three people in the logging camp and have them get going. Okay. Woodcutter's Lodge is up. We're going to have someone start cutting. And we need six houses. So once I get enough logs, I'll start building three. It's looking pretty good. All right. We're going to pull back one here. Have them build stuff out. I just need to get a bunch of wood. Now we have enough wood to build everything. Okay. We got all of our stalls. If I can get the houses up, we're going to be in really good shape. All right. We can do double burgages on these. I'm just going to make them small. They're going to be destroyed anyway. The size doesn't matter. I'm just, I'm just saying. It's just like none of this really matters. Okay. Getting up as fast as possible. We can get that. We can attract them families. All right. We'll just do three houses there. That'll be three, be four, five, and then two more families. So if I can get the two families, then we're in business. All right. Hunting camp's going crazy over there. The next thing I need to do, come over to my industry, get leather production up. Granary's up, put the person in there. Now I can pull the market off of this gentleman here. All right, now we can bring that bread that was on the ground before the rains hit. He's got the bread off the ground. We've got everything in there. We got two types of food. I got uh, firewood. If I can get this uh, tannery up, we'll have leather. If I can get the housing up, we'll have even more. This gets full. All right, two, 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 two. Pulling everybody off the logging to start building. We need to build rapidly before that, that bread runs out. And the berries are a little just too far away from, from all this at the moment. I'm just trying to rush to get everything going in. Okay, granary is there. Woodcutter's good. Camp's good. Tannery going. All right, we're going to slap a dude in the tannery, have him start making leather, get the clothing stall up. All right, and then once these guys are up, we'll be able to attract families. Tannery, granary, no one there. Beautiful. We're almost there. I think what I'm actually going to have to do is just pull everybody out for just a second. To build the houses real quick. Yeah. We just need more people building. Okay. Now we're going to slap these guys in. We're all in good shape. Pause real quick. We have the tannery. We have the granary. We have the wood. We have everything that they want. We have uh, no meat coming in. Actually really odd. Hit our, our mark. We have 12 meat and 4 bread. And if we did everything right, we will get our first family. And it doesn't look like we're, we're exactly there yet. So we will attempt... To get some berries now that we have the room. All right, we got the settlement level increase. We have enough for one extra family to move in. 49%. Not quite there. We did not quite get it. Time 50%. It's May. It's not bad. If I could get the berries in, that would be terrific. I don't know if that will happen. 51%. So if I can hold that 51%, which is slightly unlikely because we will be out of bre uh, the bread, will proc and we won't get the food bonus we'll go down to 49 percent t3 oh we might be able to hold it we might be able to hold it 54 percent we're hold we're holding steady okay we gotta get um we gotta get that grain or sorry those berries all right 55 percent so yeah i actually did try to do everything over here from this location and i ended up not getting my first person till december so this this makes i was like trying to save the 10 stone this makes way more sense having more families you can mine more stone it, it makes no sense to to shoot yourself in the foot. Let's build that up too. Next family can build it up. We're only going to be able. Yeah, we went down to fifty percent. Dang, we didn't hit fifty one. Oh, nice. We got a fa We still we got the family. We got the family. That was dumb luck. That was dumb luck. That's a beautiful thing. Okay, dumb luck is the greatest thing in the world. So we have everybody doing their thing. I can move a lot of this stuff. I can't move houses, of course, but I I can't even move a tannery. Logging camp, I can move. Woodcutter's Lodge, the granary, I cannot move. That's the, the loss of stone right there. But, you know, everybody's doing great, so we don't have to uh, go crazy right now. All right, and the wild animals are, are down. Oh, my God, bandits came and stole my leather, a bunch of jerks. Okay, okay, so we're, um, we're in good shape. So what we're going to start doing now is building out uh, the houses here. This will be my next goal right here is to start building this out. Get some stone going. We're at 63%. Everybody's loving it here. So yeah, way more families. We're up to seven families now. I mean, this is great. So yes, it's much better to just start right here and then move into the other area. You'll have about 10 families versus five. And you'll be a lot more productive. And it does kind of matter, you know, especially as raiders come in. 
So we're going to do something a little different here. Uh, the, the design calls for five houses here, but since we have a little bit of, of edging here, uh, we'll have more room. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a beautiful thing right there. So we're going to get that up, and then we're going to immediately start uh, looking at getting another stone mine up. Now, I don't have quite enough people to do everything, so I'll pull one dude out there. But everything else is in a good equilibrium, and uh, we will definitely need to get another granary up here. It is a bit of a waste. I know, but like I said, having those extra families is worth, worth it to me. We will be destroying that granary eventually. I mean, we might be able to get like half the resources back. That'd be great. But everything is going, we're going to start uh, building into the design. All right, so we are finally in a good place to go. And this is where the save file will pick up from. So if you're starting from the save file, you'll be in a nice little location. You will have to do a little finagling, but that's all right. I think for the most part, it's uh, pretty self-explanatory. All right, we're getting some of these houses up over here. So we're going to try now that we have seven families and a good portion of food. Uh, mostly sufficient. We will need to immediately start getting into some of our early game trades. Um, Yeah, we got a lot, a lot to unpack. Now I want to talk about the spoilage mechanics. So there are some figures floating around. Uh, some people have pressed the numbers. If you have a large upgraded granary, the majority of spoilage is negligible between 1 and 2% uh, per month when it's fully upgraded. It's around 4 to 5% when it's not. And that is a per monthly basis. Now, where a lot of the spoilage is actually taking place is in the marketplace. So it's a bit misleading because the stalls have no protections against spoilage. So at the end of the month, anything in there will likely spoil, it, spoil and this can be in a pretty astronomical area of around uh, 18 to 20 percent now they did patch it so hopefully it should uh round down instead of rounding up which is what it was doing before so you ha you always had spoilage in your your market stalls you're still going to have the majority of your spoilage though most likely in your food stalls and if you do have you know a large large quantity of course you're going to see a little bit but one percent of a thousand is not much okay <laughs> it's just not so it's it's negligible so uh, as long as you keep your upgraded granaries in check, you should be good. Another thing, too, is that each granary has four carts, is the current knowledge. Uh, the way the system is uh, set up is that market stalls can only have three people assigned to them at a time. So when you assign a granary worker to a market stall, you'll have one person manning the markets, and you'll have two people stocking it, thus using carts. So realistically having two families in a granary is going to be pretty much peak efficiency until they change that so that is going to be the goal we will have lots of granaries lots of upgraded granaries with about two workers each inside of them so hopefully that will be a very efficient design and if it's not well we will see that as we continue our journey so we now have eight families we have a 67 percent approval rating feeling pretty good about myself i i, I must admit I'm going to do the intelligent thing here and move my lumber camp here. I want my logs to be collected here. So I'm going to put my woodcutter over in this area. And it's kind of important not to have your logging and woodcutter in the same place because they will start competing for wood. Especially in the early game when you don't have a forester. And especially because they reduce growth time of trees by 30%. So it does take uh, sufficiently longer. For those those things to you know develop but right now i'm not going to be going into a forester i'm just going to be getting my industrial area set up and it's going to be a beautiful place we're going to have a storehouse over here now we're going to want to get this storehouse up pretty much as soon as possible because this will proc the event where we get our first spear units and the reason that we want our first spear units not to fight but to wait for him to try to attack a bandit camp and then go and steal that bandit camp and its wealth, which will allow us to hire mercenaries to take the first bandit wave. This is going to give you a really relaxed gameplay because you're not going to be having to like rush into getting, you know, all these things set up. Okay, so that's going to be the goal here. We're going to order our first ox now that we got a hitching post over here up. Our second granary going up. Got our woodcutter going up. 
we're uh, we're doing uh, fine and dandy. So we're gonna get our first storehouse up, and you can pl place it anywhere. Right? Now, one of the reasons why I prioritize the granaries closer to the market area, which is gonna go here, is because it's the hardest thing to stack. Now, clothing is never consumed; it's only reserved uh, at the marketplace. So as a family moves in, you need one more slot to reserve that uh, good. So you don't have to produce a lot of clothing, and it's not something that has to be replenished. So it isn't something to compete with. If you go into coal, the way that housing works is it only has one slot for firewood or coal. So as long as those slots are full, you're good. So the markets can only hold goods up to how many plots there are. If there are 50 plots, they can hold up to 50 goods so just to give you guys a breakdown the way that this game works is each plot consumes one fuel each family consumes one food now this has been something people have been going uh uh, uh no dude it's like we've tested this every family if there are four families blah 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 it's consuming one food per family per month it's a completely different different metric market supply and demand is not consumption okay it's literally supply. It's a supply and demand bonus. This right here, this approval rating, has absolutely nothing to do with the actual goods that are being consumed. Now, when goods are consumed, they are pulled from this, but these benefits are simply what resources are stored in the marketplace and available to housing. But how clothing is never consumed, it's just stocked in the marketplace indefinitely. When you see it going up and down when you're playing, it's because new families are moving in and they haven't stocked it yet. Or you potentially don't have enough stalls to stock everything. Okay? So each stall can carry up the 50 goods. So if you have 50, um, yeah, just keep that in mind. Okay? All right. And then fuel is one per plot. And that's where the double plots come into being awesome because they don't consume as much fuel. But, um, Eggs, goats, pigs are produced at the plot basis. So it doesn't matter how many families you have or if it's a double plot, it will produce the exact same much as a single plot. So if you're trying to increase the amount of eggs you're producing, you want to create as many single plots as you can. Eventually, they'll upgrade to house two families that will not increase production in any way. Okay, But it will increase your consumption of food so it's really important for people to know that food is is consumed by families and it's done randomly and it's, i think we think it's based upon the point at which that family moved in and then like they all have their own individual timers so they'll be consuming randomly from your marketplaces at, at those weird times but yes once again fuel is per plot food is per family clothing is not consumed it's literally just reserved so a really interesting system um i've had people argue this with me because they watch really uh they watch like old information or people who talk convincingly that say that it's it's per plot it's not there's a ton of youtube videos i've seen like little shorts saying that it is no it's per family i tested it with five years of data and i watched the cons before they, in they introduced spoilage i tried it with the same amount of families with different plot types, I tried it at even extreme examples. It is it consumes to the dot per family, so it's been confirmed by myself. It's been confirmed by Strat Gaming. It's been confirmed by tons of other people, and you know they could change it at any point. Uh, the the dev does seem to be kind of revamping certain mechanics, so it wouldn't surprise me if at some point that that did change, but. All right, so we've got a lot of free families. It looks like we don't have the uh, wood. And it looks like they're taking their, their darndest time to do what I told them. Stonecutter camp. Now, when the logging camp is finally moved, which it's being a little weird... I wonder if it took the, the wood... Okay, yeah, it's just being weird. That's the disadvantage to only having a few ox. So, we gotta let them do their thing. We gotta let our ox... And all the ox are usually named called. 
Indris. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but he's got a name. Lawrence. Fritz. He's unassigned. He's going home. You have no home. All right. All right. So, yeah, some of these things we can move. A lot of it we can. Eventually, I'm just going to start destroying things. Uh, but we will need to rebuild uh, a lot of these areas. Going to go ahead and move the hitching post over here. We have a lot of great hitching posts. Now, typically, I save my money to get my first bender uh, veggies up. And that's a great idea to do right now. So we're going to start the uh, bender, which is just a two by three of corpse pits. And what you do here is relatively easy. We're going to allot ourselves a nice little house. We're going to start in the corner, which is important. So you can go from here into a corner, or you can start from the corner. Sometimes going from here into the corner gets the best results. This is going to be a little weird uh, because we don't have proper roadage. So we will are going to do a proper roadage um, for this to snap right. Or What we're going to be doing is maximizing a lot of space. Now, probably wondering, if you've never seen my videos or heard me uh, yell at people uh, why I do this. We're going to go from the outside in, actually, and then we're going to pull it third point as much as I can here and we're gonna get see how the house see how there's that line right here this is perfect now when you harvest vegetables they go to the crop and they walk back to the house so the longer your fields are the more inefficient and the longer it takes for them to do complete harvests. but with this design all points are pretty much equal uh, between the houses. This gets you 0.75 Morgans. Each corpse pit is one is 0.25 Morgans, which is the unit of measurement in farming. And for 0.25, you yield about 45. And that is both apples and vegetables. It's it's like hit or miss. You're going to get between 42 to 48. Uh, sometimes you'll get actually more. So I'm calling it a clean 45. So this right here, this should... This should give me about 100, 120 ish. I, I'm thinking maybe 130 if I'm lucky. Um, it should do pretty well. All right, so now we have, we, let's form the militia. We must have gotten our storehouse up. Good. I'm going to slap a dude in there. I use the word slap a dude a lot, and uh, I probably should get a better vocabulary, but I don't think that I will. Let's, all right, let's do this thing. It's morphin time. I don't know. I need, I need a, I need a better slogan. Okay, so we're just gonna continue. I really want them to get this logging camp though. It's, it's a, uh, it's slightly pissing me off that they haven't done it. Okay, so in the design, we have all our granaries here. We have a market area and church uh, around this part. Now we really want to get the church up relatively soon because it is a vital, vital thing, and our fuel is a tad low. So we do need to prioritize the woodcutter next. We need to get a couple gentlemen in here. We don't want to do relocate. What we want to do now is go to advance, and we want to set the, the stage. I want them cutting all the wood around here in this uh, house area. And then the uh, storehouse is great, and the woodcutter will just start to gravitate towards around this area. And that would be rather uh, terrible if people did freeze to death. But, you know, it's the... It's the times. Just what people like to do, I guess. All right. So that will be our first plot. And now that that plot is up, we are free to remove the rest of these corpse pits and get our next handy dandy guy up. So I'm going to start in this corner, go one plot over. These two plots designate where the house is. And that's how I get. And then what you want to do is make sure you're pulling your third point along this as much as you can. Really helps dial in that fourth point. We can use this fourth point to really uh, finagle these things. And sometimes you can play around with it and see if you can get sharper or, you know, corners and all that. So sometimes if by losing a little bit of the corner, you do a good job. But yeah, we can see here that this is a good one. Just by losing a little bit of the corner, we get a really sharp area. Basically, like, this is all grow area and our house is like this little corner that's why i love benders they're just super hyper efficient and you know that's the name of the game i think they look pretty decent too i think they look kind of cool it's like you know to each to each their own though some people they don't like that kind of stuff so uh but you know what to heck with them those people suck 
<laughs> All right. So we're going to get the marketplace going here in the design. Uh, we want to not have to ever replace this. 60 is more than we'll ever need. And we will be controlling how many we have. So I'm not worried. We're going to place a well here. Now remember, I turned off underground wells. I can place wells anywhere I want. Um, oh, crap. And I got too busy uh, talking that I forgot all about wood. We're going to put two dudes in wood. Uh, I'm going to let them just go anywhere and everywhere they want. Uh, we got ourselves a stone cutter. We're going to slap a dude in there. Slapping dudes all over the place. All right, we're going to put one person in a log camp. Okay. And eventually I am going to destroy some of this stuff. Uh, for the time being, we'll we'll keep things as is. Uh, we'll wait till winter is over before I start destroying marketplaces, because that is exactly how people freeze to death. And I think we have a gentleman up here. I'm going to kind of micromanage my, my guys for a bit. All right, we have two months worth of food. Uh, a lot of this movement is definitely hurting us. And uh, the absence of wealth is also definitely hurting us. So it's going to take a about now keep in mind all of my farms are double burgish plots because you need about four families uh to, to get a really optimal farm so that they're not like working all the time and they're able to get it you can go bigger than this but i don't find it to be optimal because you can have four families here and you're not really going to feel it in production and you're going to get a massive yield okay so we're going to get our first veggie farm we're going to double these guys up and um yeah we're good we're, we're feeling strong so i think in the design i called for some some fun stuff i think i'm just gonna do things a little bit different this time i, I do think we'll probably need to add additional pylons slash farms so we'll we'll get to that stage here momentarily all right, so we got a 72%. We got people nearly freezing to death, but not quite. It is a curious time to be alive. All right, the one gentleman in the storehouse is doing his thing. We're waiting for their armies to, to go towards that, and then I will send my my uh, spearmen again. Like I said, this just kind of helps us not have to rush into military production, though it's not too too difficult to do. All right, cool. And then we're going to get ourselves another uh, veggie. We spent all of our money. We have two veggies going. Eventually, that will help us out. So we're going to be a little handicapped, but you essentially just need six families in order to harvest all the berries when they're in season. And that is around 440 berries on a deposit like this. And it's 880 on a rich deposit. So, you know, living the dream. Where are you, my friend? There you are. Okay. So I want these to be as close to the granaries as possible, which is right here. And I'm going to attach my trade post directly to the King's Road. You don't have to do that, but I'm superstitious. So I'm going to place three families into the forager huts. And none of them are going to be doing markets. Only going to have my granary workers do it for efficiency's sake. They're growing now. Okay. We got a dude in trade. So... There's some really easy stuff to trade early, early game. One of them is berries, but uh, we're not quite there yet. The other one is going to be uh, herbs. Anything over zero will export and firewood. Basically, what I'm trying to do right now, we'll have 100 firewood, is just get as much money as I possibly can. All right, so we got a year. But yeah, we'll have plenty of food. We'll have plenty of food for the rest of the year, and we're going to be living off berries for a bit. Uh, this is going to come at a much later point, but yes, we definitely need to start building up wealth. Now, what's cool is when you can take multiple bandit camps, because you can take one for the city, and then you can take one for, um, you know, mercenaries. So that's always kind of cool. All right. We need to start switching everybody over here. I also want to get some chicken coop, so. So we got a lot of good stuff here. We're going to need a saw pit. We're just going to start getting up everything we possibly can. All right. And a leather maker. Beautiful. Yeah, I really like having centralized areas like this. It just makes it so much easier. And since we do have a storage building here, I will do some kind of interesting here. And this little cyber. Okay, I think that was uh, the king all the king's men, right? I heard movement. Ah, shit. Okay, so they're right here. I don't know where they're going. 
Are they going towards this camp? All right. So what we need to do is muster our forces, and we got 20. That actually is enough to take a bandit camp uh, with minimal casualties, but we're not even going to do with minimal casualties. So this is important. If you don't do this, you're going to have a bad time. Do pizza when you should french fry, you will have a bad time. Okay. And you don't want to be the first person this damn guy sees, because he will kill you, and he is a jerk. And stealing is a bit of an art. You have to be close enough, but not too far away. Okay, so you can see the enemy is coming for him. So now we're going to come in from the side, and we're going to steal the monies. All right, cool. So we're going to grab that bandit camp. They're going to do the dirty work. Like I said, if they kill that bandit, and then they go for the money, um, you're SOL. And they were not able to do it. And then there's a bandit camp over here. Okay. So, just to be smart, we're going to give it to the treasury. And then, now we have enough to hire mercenaries. And then for this guy over here, we're going to steal that for the town. And then we can use that money to buy chicken coops and apple orchards. And I uh, definitely want to start building up all that jazz. All right. And we got lots of families moving in. 16 families. That's pretty cool. Pretty good, man. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm doing pretty pretty well for one year. And you can see our food is very, very, very good. But uh, that meat is not going to do well enough. We're going to need to definitely uh, get the veggies going, get all types, types of food going. And I'm going to focus on that as soon as I get this money. Uh, we're going to go, I think, because, f because spoilage is such a pain in the ass, I do want to... Um, eggs are a lot more valuable than they used to be because they they give you one food so they feed one family per month so if you get enough of them going the synergy of that is really really important all right so the nearest town so in one nice little sweep there we have our merc money and we have our chicken money and it's a lot of chicken money all right so artisans typically i put uh, towards these houses down here for the time being we're just going to go a little crazy okay we're going to go chicken crazy. I do uh, need to get some boards so I can get the herb gardens going. So let me slap a dude in the tannery, in the saw pit. Let's go to advance and set quota. Uh, you know, For timber, uh, I want to make sure they reserve 10 timber. And I don't want more than 40 boards like really at any given time. Eventually, I'll start selling that stuff. But at this uh, current juncture, that is not the goal. Okay. So now we're going to do something which is, like, basically suicide. And that's uh, delete a lot of this stuff over here. All right. So we're, we're feeling pretty good about ourselves. Uh, the world is a great place right now for us. Okay, we got a guy in the tannery. Got a guy in the saw pit. We got two in the woods. Got one in the store. Uh, we're going to order a horse with some of this money. And we, uh, buy a trade route, potentially. We're going to slap our own gentleman into the granary. And we're going to start utilizing uh, the marketplace up here. We got ourselves a well. Everything is in a really good place. And then we got chickens. Chickens! Yes. All right. That's going to really help us with our food. Now I have 62. So that will be enough for my last... The last bender. I always think of the last airbender. And I've never even seen that shit. But it's, it's in my head. It won't go away. <laughs> okay. So let's do this bender. Uh, you can do a six pack, which is just one giant apple orchard. I'm going to shy away from that, even though it is a smart thing to do because you get a lot more apples. Uh, simply because I want um, two benders. I want to I wanna make this a good, good one. All right. So this is great. This is a great little apple. So we're going to get these bad boys up and running. And that's why it's important to make sure you're corner to corner. People are saying they're having issues getting the bender to uh, snap. Uh, it, that is why if you're at an angle like this, uh, the way that it calibrates snap points is, is based off corner to corner. And that's how you get those nice, clean benders. Okay. So we're going to go a little crazy here. And what's awesome is every time you try this in like a little bit different way, sometimes you get kind of cool results. Sometimes if... See? Like that. So I got a much sharper point. This is a little wonky of a bender. You can see I was, this one's a little bit bigger. But we won't tell anybody. They don't have to know. Alright. I'm feeling good. 
feeling real good. We're probably we want to get our benders all all the housing that we're gonna do now are benders. We're gonna focus on money and we're gonna focus on growing. I think these chicken eggs are definitely gonna help us out. Uh, we got 108 berries. We're still growing. Like I said, you need a total of six uh, families to get all the berries. I'm gonna kind of like start capping that out right now and disband unit. Oh man, we are we're slamming. And now I can probably get the the church up. Now we're playing like this is not perfect. This is not a perfect start. Uh, whenever you have a build like this, it's not gonna not gonna be like that. So it looks like I need more trees, which actually is surprising. Nope, nope, nope. It looks like it's a board issue. Okay, what's going on over here, sir? Why aren't you making my boards? Okay, here we go. Yeah, we need more. We need more ox. Um. 62, eh? Eight more days? Yeah. Uh, we're, I'm an ambitious man, and I need more ox. Okay. Uh, we, we're going to spend our first point on orchardry. These take five years to fully come into fruition, and they are very important. Now remember, you need lots of food types to get the max bonuses. That's why I'm doing all this. Veggies and apples are the easiest. All right. And, oof. Yeah, we don't have no money. But... We'll still expand. This is where I get I become a sad panda. All right. So I need to get the church up. I need to get food in the stalls. And we need to get clothing in the stalls. What's going on in the stalls? We don't got any of them doing the stuff that I want them to do. Ooh, there we are. Uh, we definitely want to get a large granary up ASAP, though, to be honest, uh, to get those spoiler rates down. And in a large everything. I'm feeling good. Feeling very good about this. This is a good place to be. We got three families. We got a lot of stone. Probably don't need any more stone. <laughs> I might start selling it. Um, you know, 20 boards. All right. Well, let's, uh, since we do have quite a bit of, of wood going on, let's uh, get two people in the saw pit. And let's, uh, let's, let's, yeah, there's still trees there, huh? Well, let's get some of these other benders up. We can at least get the uh, the basic building blocks of everything going here. This is a beautiful bender. Maybe the best bender ever. No, it's actually an ugly, ugly bender. All right. So whenever you see an ugly bender, that's a really tight corner. That's actually probably why. Yeah, you just, you just got to finagle it. You know, you got to finesse it. You got to tell it everything's going to be all right. And uh, typically it will work, but if it doesn't, you can see it's it's really really picky about having this uh, this bottom line here. All right, so this bottom line kind of needs to run like this, and it's gonna look a little weird. I know, I know. It's a weird time. We're we're in a weird place in our lives. So there we go. Yeah, you really need those. Uh, it's too steep to build. Now this is a problem. But it is a problem that we can solve. Maybe. And if we can't solve it, I will cry. I will cry. Uh, there's nothing anybody can do to console me. Sometimes you just have to get a bit creative. Now, this is not a perfect bender. And it's, yeah, it's not a perfect bender. I want perfect benders. There we go. It's, oh, God, it's so ugly. It's, uh... Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I see. I see how it is, game. And this isn't bad. Sometimes. Okay. So this is something I've I've done in the past is a uh, angled bender, but you get this. Um, and then when you go away, boom, clean. Okay. Sometimes that doesn't actually work, but it did that time. I was worried there. I was worried. Uh, this one should be like fit like a glove, man. Yeah, this is going to be an easy bender. So, might want to go the other way. Yeah, that, look at that. That is a clean cut. Oh, damn. Are they going for another bandit camp? No, I think they're going for a territory. Oh, no, they might be going for that camp right there. Well, I do need some money. I do declare. <laughs> I don't know why I started talking in a weird accent. I do declare. I need money. All right. Okay. I don't know if he's going for that bandit camp or not. Yes, he he probably is. And that's a beautiful thing for me because money is nice. Everybody likes money. 
All right, and you can micromanage these guys to, uh, if you want. I fucking hate doing it, but it is smart. Uh, we have enough food to get us through the year. Uh, we are, you know, we're definitely hurting. Um, when I get this money, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy so many cool things. And fishing is neat. So fish replenish 50% of their population. Basically, that means that you can fish one third of a pop, and then you know half of that will replenish it to full. So 715, one third of that is what you can fish. <laughs> Essentially, that's fishing if you want it. I don't. I don't think fish is worth it. It's one of the highest spoilage rate uh, ratings. I mean, they're kind of cool, but like, they need to add like stews and all. Like, they need to like have multiple components of food. Um, they just need to make food useful. I don't think that food is useful in the current mechanics. All right, we're gonna steal this bandit camp and we're gonna buy ourselves lots of pretty things. We're gonna get ourselves a dress. We're going to be the bell of the ball. All right. 169. That was a really shit shit amount of money. And I am definitely going to get the, the apples up because of how annoying it is to get apples. Okay. And then over here, we'll buy some more veggies. But yeah, we definitely, if what's going to limit us is late game food right now. So food is everything. It is everything. Okay. So. All of these forager huts, uh, we need to get more boards. What is going on? All right, yeah, let's put two dudes in here, even though I don't need to. And, oh yeah, we need um, we need another ox. That's what's going on. Is they're all getting weird. They're not bringing stuff over. I think they're cooler than us now. A lot of bad things going on. These ox, I think they're so great. They take their, they take their time. All right. All right, I don't think we need any more stone, so I'm going to stop that. Uh, right now, I need boards, and I'm just going to let everybody kind of do their thing. Now, if you're wondering how do I get more logs, it's actually really easy. The only unit in the game that can store logs is a logging camp. So you can place an empty logging camp right next to a logging camp or wherever you want it. And uh, they'll actually transfer the boards over there, which is really annoying. Uh, uh, but this one will be empty, but that will increase my st your storage of logs by 28. It's actually a really good thing to do in the beginning of the game, uh, especially because there's a lot of downtime early stages of the game. All right. We have three months worth of food. So food is a tougher. It's much tougher now, for sure. Uh, we have a great storehouse here. Uh, probably the best storehouse ever. You know, other storehouses aren't as good. And uh, it's there. <laughs> it exists. All right, tannery, a saw pit. All right, let's dial that back down. And uh, yeah, we're going to do 40 planks, 10 timber, trade post. Okay. So, yeah, we're not at a point that we can trade berries quite yet. Uh, we will get a, I think we'll get like slight production of veggies at this stage, but nothing crazy. Nothing that's going to blow your mind. And uh, this logging camp is kind of pissing me off. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need food. Um, but these eggs are gonna save are gonna save the village. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six families per month of our population right there. That is almost twenty. Yeah, about twenty five percent almost population that can eat those eggs. It's a big deal. It's a very big deal. You may not think you may not think it is, but holy cow! So we're gonna build a bunch more houses now, so I can delete those other houses, and um, we're gonna egg these guys up. I like. I don't want my people to be homeless, but at the same time, I need to make sure that I, I get these houses done. Uh, we can take the wood, and wood is good. All right, cool. So this area is finally like done. It's finally not in our lives anymore. And I feel great about that. Wonderful. All right. We got it going on. We got our boards. We're going to get this church up. We're going to get some Jesus up in here, man. It's going to be great. Uh, we're going to get the tavern up, too, just to get it up. Got our large upgraded granary. Very good. And we're going to start uh, getting some chickens. I don't know why I yell when I say chickens. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I get so excited about chickens, man. Yeah, I'm going to be on a list. Okay, so this, this spot over here is saying too steep to build. And you can't always, you know, you can't win every battle. But you can tweak things until they work. 
And so I guess you I guess you technically can win every battle. Um, I was wrong. All right, so I don't know why it's doing that just because it can. So I got to get the third point here. Okay, I take it back. You can win every battle. You are immortal and nothing can kill you. So go out there and, you know, do crazy stuff. All right, this is about as good as I think I'm going to get it given uh, the slopage. Nobody likes slopage. All right. All right, let's get this bad boy up. Oh, yeah. That is a sexy, sexy bender. These are uh, going to be apples for sure. And then in the design, I, I called for veggie. I called for apples here and then a veggie apple mix. Well, I think we're going to switch that up. Uh, these are going to be veggies, like pure veggies. And then we're going to have two mega apple benders. I'm fairly confident um, that in order, because we need a bunch of apples to trade for things. And that's going to be the route that we go. Okay. All right. Let's egg. Let's get these eggs going. So this is these eggs and the berries should give us the double bonus for food. Uh, we will have plenty of food. Pretty critical eggs now. Eggs used to not be so great, um, but now, uh, I mean, you just they, they come out of you know. However, uh, chickens make eggs. I imagine it's like kind of like a magic show. Like they just kind of like pull you know like pulling a rabbit out of a hat, but but it's an egg. Instead of, instead of a rabbit, I don't know how how uh, science works or or how a uh, chicken science works. So here here they make them. They make these eggs here. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> it's it's not, but but it's there. And, uh, we're all we're all appreciative. Let's get the apple or orchard up. We got twenty six gold. All right, that is enough gold for me to get one herb guard. Man, we are not producing boards quickly, though. All right, I'm feeling feeling pretty decent about um, our prospects. They're doing a good job. We got the church up. That's really going to help. I always like to slap one dude in there, so I never have to think about it. He will bury people, too. Tavern will be something we do at a later date. But, uh, yeah, we just want to make sure everybody's good. And we don't want... You know, these guys set in a market stall, so that's auto set to don't do. I can camp over here for storing additional pylons. And we got lots of wood everywhere. We need more. Um, we just need more everything. But yeah, let's get some herbs. Let's get some passive. Uh, right now, we're kind of eh. And we're running out of food pretty hardcore. Food is rough, so you can kind of grow a little too fast. I think um, we're only going to build up the farming plots now. And that's not a bad thing. We're running out of food. And we're we're um, we're sad. But yeah, let's get the uh, five families. That should be enough uh, to get all of that. Kind of shot myself in the foot there. I think actually what I'll do is I'll do um, the farm here and the farm here. That way it's, yeah, instead of going this way... Now, another thing that I should have done off the bat is looked for where uh, grain production is. Luckily, it's in none of those areas, so that's perfect. But the best bread is grown right here in my region. And this will likely feed the majority of people. If I do go into uh, rye fertility, perfection, right? But yeah, we're going to do our benders here. It's going to be a good time. Uh, you know, all the, all the old folks are going to come out and we're going to have a shindig. Okay, we got it going on, though. We will eventually have to go to war. And, uh, you know, war, what is it good for? Uh, but we do have a farming area over here that we're going to have to get for barley. So I am going to have to do a lot of stuff there. Now, most likely I'll use a drip system for my early game barley, which is just going to primarily focus on a, a rock and economy. And our economy is primarily going to be based off this clay and uh, clay tiles. We will be able to make an exceptional amount of money off clay roofing tiles. It will be uh, really dumb how much money we're going to make off of it, and it will be wonderful. Okay, so let's set her down here. Let's get ourselves a nice little road over yonder. Clean cut road. I do like to, you know, kind of make it more, more feely. <laughs> I don't know if more feely is a word. Sounds kind of like a creeper's word, too, so I shouldn't use it. Yeah, we're not going to use that word anymore. That word has been banned. 
Okay, forager hut, forager hut. All right, just need a little bit of money. We're in good shape. I think we're going to be all right. The eggs, uh, the chickens shall sustain us. You know, I'm feeling, uh, oh shit, those bandits are coming. Those bandits are coming any day now. I probably should have tracked when, the, um, I'm pretty sure they're going to come pretty darn soon. Uh, yeah, you can see they're going for another bandit camp. I could use some money. I am a broke, broke man. Um, bandit raiders. Yeah, here come the raiders. And of course, I, I lost my shield somehow. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna hire these cheapos here, these uh these meat meat bags, and we're all gonna have a good time. They are not gonna have a good time, but I personally am gonna have a fantastic time. I am a little afraid though that we're about to plow right through a bandit camp. Yeah, we need to be careful not to do that. Okay, where are the bandits? Um, they might intercept the bandits. It looks like they are actually gonna intercept the bandits for me. So. If they're going to intercept my bandits, and I've already spent this money. All right, cool. So the Lord does this sometimes. He just, like, you know, throws you, throws you a bone. Uh, I don't know why he does it, but he does it. And I we love him for it. Uh, but we're going to do this. And we're going to get that money. And now we got that chicken money. I'm going to send the mercs down here. And I don't see any other bandit camps that we can take with the mercs. Whenever you hire mercs, it's kind of, you know... Get get as much as you can out of them. All right. Well, we got some we got some coins now, and we really need to get the apples going. We need to get the veggies going. This should feed everybody. That is a freak load of wood. All right. We're gonna get our. Oof. I don't know if I should have done that. I feel like I may have just destroyed all that timber. Um. But I just don't care. I uh. I need to. I need to be free. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we don't need... um For this one up here, we don't need all the benders. We just need a good line. And, yeah, one family can easily do this much for apples. It's a little bit more tricky for the other guys. So, yeah, just be a little... You know, be a little careful. And so for the, uh, the, si the six-pack, as we call it, this is just going to be really straightforward. You're just going to build the dumbest-looking thing you've ever done before. But you want it to be sharp like that. Um, sometimes just doing it like that, actually, and not trying to do anything fancy can work. But you can see this is great. This really only works efficiently for apples because apples don't seem to have the back and forth like veggies do. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. But we're going to do veggies here now. And we can back that, back that up. And, oh, gosh, it is not snapping. What are you doing to me? Okay. Well, yeah, so that's what happens when you don't uh, you do not do it that way. Okay, that's pretty sweet. That's a pretty good one. I get to a point where, like, I I could probably squeeze, like, 1 or 5% more efficiency out of a plot, and, like, I just don't want to. <laughs> just don't want to put the time in. There'd be, like, 14 hours of me going, okay, is it in yet? It's, like, the worst foreplay ever. All right, here we go. Good enough. Good enough. The city of good enough. There we go. I like that city name. Oh no! My cities! My names! There, there we go. Good enough. Beautiful name. It will, it will live on in the annals of history. God. Okay. Alright, food is at one month. So yeah, we grew super fast. And it was like, you're really good, but we're probably going to have to kill everybody. I did not mean to do apples there. Or did I? I did two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two apples there, two apples there, veggies there, veggies there. All right. Do we have any more bandits? Bet you as soon as I dismiss these gentlemen, bandit camp will just come on up. Okay. Well, I don't want to pay them. All right. We have 307 coins. All right. So I want to get all of these gardens up because I don't even use the herbs. All right. And just to be... Super precautious. We're going to put another dude up there. All right, cool. So we're going to get the, the clay going now. We're going to get the uh, tiles. Uh, clay furnace. Beautiful thing we just got going on there. We'll put two families into the trader. So the first thing I want to do is buy my first trade route. And we are going to start exporting anything over 20 roof tiles. 
And we're going to make a gosh darn fortune. All right. Another thing we need to do is, um, you know, start putting money away in our 401k. I don't think that's in the game yet, though. But what I mean by that is we need to start uh, building up our military. Think of your 401k as a bunch of soldiers who pr pr protect you when you're old um, from the perils of what the oh this one's a little this was a little bit of a liberal one too this is not how how big these this one should be this is a ma that's why they're all a little bit bigger but that's cool man like i said be a little liberal with your benders you know go crazy once in a while sometimes uh, a wider base can even help uh, what's great is there's just like so many different ways to do things in this game i like to do the straddle which is where you do corner to corner the uh the corner in the middle. I don't know. Kind of like you're uh, pooping in the woods or some shit. All right, here we go. It's not working. Man, there are days, and then there are days. We can get this to work. Uh, the game can be pretty annoying, but it can also be very rewarding, I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to make this a lot more optimistic than I feel. Oh, man. Okay. So, if I were a house, where would I go? When I go here, no. Yeah, sometimes you just got to play the hand you got. Um, I, it's like telling me that it does not like the corner house here. As we saw when we went uh, long ways, it liked that a whole lot, but you don't get the uh you don't get the slope. So there's something about this spot over here, but this is where it has to be. Oh, man, if I could get that to work, that would have been amazing. Oh, uh, so there's it's like right here is a uh, too sloped uh, for these houses to hit. I actually think I can do this. I just have to be really creative. I'm not being creative enough. I've let down the creative gods. Oh, oh, that was so close. I didn't get the second house. It's so bad. It's like, it's it, you might as well just do it in a different corner. Okay. We're going to try something unique. That's not terrible. It's not good. <laughs> it's not the worst. It's not the worst I've had. Oh my god. It Actually, that probably is one of the worst benders I've ever seen in my life. Um, you can't always predict... The, the terrain. That's a good one there. It's because it's too wide. If I would have just put a road down through it, I could have gotten it to work, probably. But again, you know. Good enough. The city of good enough is uh, definitely living up to its name. Alright, so this is where I think it's going to be. We're going to put the road crossway here. That's the one thing that's nice about the six packs is you don't really have to be that smart. You just have to be able to like trace a straight line. And if you can do that, you're you're there, man. Actually, yeah, we should definitely put the house over here instead of over in that corner. Uh, so it's closer to the granary. I think that's good enough. I'm gonna just do it. Okay, cool. So this should be all the food that I technically need. And uh, I, think, I think you will enjoy. Oh, I don't know. You might not enjoy it. The city's gonna be cool. Alright, that's beautiful. It's everything I dreamed. If I had dreams. Alright, there we go. Nice, we got a lot of families. 88%. People are happy. They're dancing in the streets. But, you know, dancing is probably illegal here. It's. I imagine this place is a lot like that, that city in Footloose. There's just a lot of really angry, angry people. I mean, they eat eggs and berries every day of their lives. Like, what What do you expect? We're building as many houses as we possibly can here. I'm going to go against uh, everything that I've, I've said and learned. We're just going to build a bunch of houses. I need to get some level 2 houses up here. Uh, we need two types of food to do that, so we're going to have to get pretty into the eggs. Now, we got veggies, apples coming at a, a later date. I need to get one of these bad boys to uh, tier 2. Oh, it looks like I got one of these bad boys to tier 2. Okay, we're going to level this up to tier 2. And we're going to remove the chicken. And I'm going to start making bows. 
bows for days, man. Yeah, at least the, the earlier stages of things are good. And we should get some super coinage coming in. Let's get another horse, too. Uh, we should get some super coins coming in. We're gonna be... We're gonna be buying all types of eggs and berries. It's gonna be lavish. Alright, but yeah, the main goal was getting these guys going because they take freaking five years crap and we don't have enough money for that one. That's okay. That's okay, we'll get the money. Ooh, we just got the money. <laughs> oh no, and it's upgrading. Alright. Alright, so the shield is uh, it's perfect. Basically, all I did was just add apple orchards to the top. And little uh, fangs on the shield, so I'll have to upgrade the design. That. Uh, we may just import sausages. I may just mass grow apples and trade them for sausage. And we'll just have a village dedicated to meat. So essentially, the only thing that's really changed in the design is the addition of apple more apples got more apples coming in but you gotta be careful uh, it is a good thing about trading money is you can set limits um and then the horses can carry 50 units but the pack mules allow you to not tap into those uh those wealth reserves so pros oopsie daisy pros and cons to everything all right we got 14 free families wow I have 35 freaking people here. That's, um, scary. We are getting some vegetables in. We're not getting our full load, but we're getting a, a good amount of veggies now. So that's cool. They patched that a bit, but you, will, I do still remember that we do not get the full amount of veggies till later. Because each one of these veggies should be, like, 120. So this should be, like, uh, 245. This should be, like, somewhere around 800 to a thousand uh, veggies a year and i don't think it's there 50 to 50 yeah about eight eight hundred to a thousand so all right we're upgrading to a small church because we love jesus we're a jesus loving society we're gonna get rid of this and we're going to get the boyer it's a beautiful thing right. i don't know why a food stall just opened but i am gonna slap another dude in there why did a food stall just open I have zero people in the food game. All right, chickens away. All right, we got lots of chickens now. Hmm, might have to get a little bit more aggressive. All right, so if we want to do crossbows, we need iron parts. We don't have iron parts. And we're going to produce a limit of 90 of these. We're also going to need to start... Um, getting all the other gentlemen out so we have the manpower to do so we're gonna start mining out the iron all right and we're gonna start making um ingots nice yeah we have way too much stone we have 333 stone let's start selling stone <laughs> probably should have done that a while ago all right we'll sell everything over 100 stone not a whole lot of money. We don't need to pay for a route for it. Uh, if anything, I'll probably start selling bows. Bows are one of the best things to sell. I do my routes pretty sparingly because they get more and more expensive. Okay. So down here, we need to get this guy up to level 2. This is where it gets a little tricky. Because uh, only so many houses. So we were going to have to actually make this our artisan row right here. And we're gonna upgrade as many houses as we can. This can, on normal difficulty, you get away with it, but on higher difficulties, uh, you need to get a tavern up. But we have quite some time before it becomes an issue. We're well over our percentages. Two months of fuel. Uh, fuel is definitely one of the harder things in the game. Uh, we want to get a coal factory. A coal factory. We want to get coal up as soon as possible. Uh, so we'll have to work on that. We got a lot of houses, especially because we have all these single, you know, single houses here. Oh man, I did not mean to go into this. <laughs> all right, our food is through the roof. We actually have 143 apples. Cool. So we're at least getting partial production now, which is new. Uh, I think they may have backdoor patched that, but we're still not at peak uh, efficiency. These are not mature. Um, and we also don't have four families in our farms. 
Uh, so we're not getting all of the harvest on, on our big plots. So once we get four families, you can see that they cannot keep up with everything here. The two families. But the four will definitely be able to. All right. But yeah, our primary objective right now is to just start bulking up. You know, getting getting swole. Put a dude in the blooms. Put a dude in the mine. All right. And then now we're going to go straight into coal. Without hesitation or thought. Because coal is king. This will effectively double... Yeah, there we go. This will effectively double our, our fuel. So you got your firewood, and then you got your coal. All right. I do want to leave room for more storehouses in this area. In fact, we're just going to preemptively put a storehouse over here. Now, the storehouses, like I said, don't need to be too optimal. Just the granaries. All right. We're doing beautiful. I'm not, like, too concerned about all this right now. Leather will catch up. We might have to do a couple goats. Uh, I mean, we're adding so many families. So I have 54 houses right now, which is terrifying, to be honest. Terrifying. <laughs> There's a lot of people, but our food production is picking up. Uh, fuels where we're hurting. And uh, we're going to be in good shape here soon, though. Probably should get a forester up over here and a forester up over here. We're going to recalibrate um, our area. Ooh, I went a little too crazy there. Uh, to this area here. Rightio. All right. And we definitely need to get another ox. Need to make, make sure ox move wood around. And, uh, that's a good thing. All right. Let's get them apples going. And oh, yeah. Level two house. Level two house. You want to get your outskirts up to level two as fast as possible. Nice, we got another development point. All right, so where I would probably want to go is sheep breeding, I found, is not very effective. I really want rye cultivation for this area. Uh, there's a lot of other ones. We can go into beekeeping and start spamming honey. It's not a bad idea, honestly. Uh, deep core mining is not going to be vitally important to us at all. So um, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to go straight into bee. Now, the tooltip says that honey... Can only go up to two, but what we found is that's actually not true, and you can spam the crap out of these things. And um, they all, you just put one person in, and they all produce honey. So, you live and you learn. I'm gonna do eight for now. We're gonna put one person in each. That's eight people. They have one of the worst returns for food per person, but when you're playing the game the way that I'm playing it, you have more people than you have common sense. So, you don't have to have common sense. <laughs> you just where it's all about just having as many food types as possible and making sure that people are happy. Um, we're going to be good. We got eggs starting to build up now. Yeah, you see that? We're going to make them happy. We're going to build more of these chickens. And these chickens are the future. Not the children, it's the chickens. They got it. They got it wrong. It was always the chickens are the future. All right, so now I can do a uh, blacksmith and a joiner's workshop right here. Hills, yeah. And uh, we're going to need a um, cobbler. Oh, yeah, I didn't have to exit out my bed. Yeah, this is great. Okay, and then a, uh, a joiner's workshop. I love that we can set quotas now on what they do with stuff. So we're going to have them make... So you can make the iron parts now uh, for crossbows. That's really cool. So we're just going to have him make uh, 6, 70, 80 spears. <laughs> I'm just like, ah! <laughs> and the same here. We only need as many shoes as we have plots. And I'm just going to say a clean 90 should suffice for quite some time. Don't even have close to that right now. Blacksmith is good at 80. Joiner will be up here momentarily. I guess I should just keep it. I do. I am a man of habit. Let's just keep a consistent 90. And the joiners will do large shields at 90. 
Now, this is really going to eat into our wooden boards. So, charcoal needs to be next. Um, fuel does become quite an issue. So, yeah, don't be afraid to utilize your populations. Don't be afraid to uh, put another woodcutter down, too. And we can eventually start trading out coal, too. But, yeah, we do have lots of people. That is a beautiful and wonderful thing. And we are going to get up a second granary. Shaboom. All right. Chickens. Chickens are the future. All right. Let's get them chickens going. I want to make sure everybody is feeling it. Uh, we're going to get as many tier 2 homes as we possibly can. Even though we don't have booze, we should be able to keep the majority of people happy enough to work. Which is exactly where you want them. Not any happier. Alright, 86%. Yeah, we're doing great. Got the money flowing in. Alright, we're going full-blown coal now. Alright. There we are. And uh, food is hit or miss, but, you know, it's it's only going to continue to increase. Um, we have everything that we need. I might need to put... Oh, God, I did not want to do that. I might need to put a granary up here, closer to, you know, the foragers and everybody up there. Should have probably done that. But we want to make sure we upgrade our granaries, though. I'm going to slap one dude in there. Alright, tannery, saw pit. We're gonna put two dudes in the saw pit. Um, we got the people going. We got everybody doing their thing. Wonderful. Alright, the bloomery is working. Everybody's working. Uh, we just have to start preparing for future bandit raids and pretty much anything else. So we'll have two bands there. And then we also need to get up the, uh, the manor. So... Here's my concern right now. It's it's fairly obvious that wood is holding me back tremendously. So I'm going to do another woodcutter here. I'm going to pop that up. We're, uh, we're going to go three in each of these. Just for a sec. And we're going to get ourselves uh, an emergency saw pit right here. All right. We're gonna have to get ourselves another fella, another ox. But we're in a place now where the money is, you know, just flowing in, and that's that's where you want to be. And yeah, we got the honey situation coming up here soon. Okay, so we don't want these guys to have markets, but we're gonna flap, flap. I'm going away from slap. We're flapping now. I don't know what's wrong with me, man. <laughs> just. <laughs> Like, yeah, let's let's go a different direction here. Like, flap? No. All right, cool. We're good. We got other rulers' armies coming in. But, okay, yeah, so now we got honey in the mix. So food should be good. You know, we got multiple food sources. I just need to make sure that no bandits are coming to kill me. But he will eventually come for me. Um... And he's not kind. He's not a kind man. So we just need to keep building up our, our reserves, our military. And uh, pushing pushing that saw pit. Alright, we got another woodcutter down here. He is not going to do market stalls though. Alright, we got two free people. I hate how it just like keeps telling me every time I see them that they're there. It's like, I know. One is enough. <laughs> I, w I like the system. I want to know if an army's coming at me, but at the same time, I wish they would kind of revamp it a bit. Like, don't show me the same army, please. Oh, here we go. That's where the freaking stalls were coming from. Here we go. All right, fuel and clothing is good. Food is going to have a bit of an issue, but we're working on that. Um, yeah, we got a good thing going here. A lot of the veggies are stuck in the houses. We got honey coming in. We got the eggs. We got the berries. Yeah, we're doing great. I don't see fuel as ever being too much of an issue now. 
We got way too many people cutting things down. We're definitely going to want to get this guy up, go to advance, and make sure that he's, you know, growing this area. Beautiful. Not going to worry too much about a forester over here quite yet. And we'll worry about that guy later, too. Right now, I'm just trying to make sure that they're cutting down all of Mother Nature. We're getting this saw pit going. We just need a bunch of boards. Oh, boom. And what's great is it does keep the quotas consistent. We're going to go up to 80 of these guys now. All right, cool. So we will, unfortunately, need another ox. We're at 90% approval. All right. We got passive money from the tier twos. We got uh, weapon production going at a modest rate. Uh, the shields are really holding us back. The boards are really holding me back. But I think we'll be okay now. I'm feeling a little bit more positive with the, the double sawn going on. And, uh, yeah, we want to make sure... We want to make sure that the, everybody's kind of flowing. So I'm just going to do some flow roads. Always got to get your flow roads in. Alright, we have another year before an attack. Now this is one that we won't be able to take too easily. We do have enough coins, potentially. Uh, I would like to get the manor up. But we have enough. Alright, let's get our retinue. Uh, I just kind of build it wherever I feels. I feels this is good. Um, even though we can actually use this as a defensive point pretty easily. So maybe we should. We don't have enough for this, though. That's ups that's upsetting. What's interesting is it does this. Uh, let's just that's fine. Let's just leave the manor. Let's just get it up. Let's get our retinue. All right. Food is flowing in. We've got a hundred something odd logs. I think we're doing pretty damn well, to be honest. And we got chickens. More chickens than anyone in the world. All right, we've upgraded all of these to uh, tier two. Ah! He's popping up on me. All right, we'll get that upgraded. And we'll get that upgraded. Yeah, we need to build a lot more of you, friends. So we need to get more uh, ox pretty much ASAP. Now yeah, we got a lot of people. And we got a lot of, you know, people running out. Uh, another important thing, don't go into wax production because it screws up how honey is collected. They'll... They'll either produce one or the other, and you don't get as much. But you can see that we're accumulating honey, even though they're all being consumed equally. But what we've noticed is that there is... Things are supposed to be consumed randomly, but we do know that there is still, like, a preference for berries. It's kind of weird. Uh, veggies are starting to come in pretty strong now. Apples are not. Like I said, once we get to Tier 3 on these, these farms, we're going to really start seeing everything coming. So it looks like they fixed veggies. Veggies are definitely producing much earlier. We're, we're doing great, honestly. Uh, we, between veggies and berries, we're going to get the tier two. Oh, once these apples kick in, we'll have our third food. And that'll be a beautiful thing. It does appear that uh, the big issue we're having right now is that the granary is not able to empty out these uh, foragers. So we're going to we're gonna get ourselves a granary up here. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about all this. I think we can pull these guys down to uh, one per one less person. Also think we're going to start taxing soon once I get that manor up. This is the, the newest one. So here we are doing all of our things and uh, it's glorious, but we're going to keep tracking on. Right now I am building up the military and we're, we're doing a bunch of stuff. I had a lot of, we had a lot of great, great money coming in just from bandit camp hunting in the very beginning of the game. And we're going to continue to spam chickens. Now, chickens have definitely become more important. Eggs have become more important with the spoilage mechanics. Though, as I've stated many, many times, uh, the important thing to note is that once you get a large granary, it's around 1% to 2% for the majority of spoilage of goods. Where the majority of spoilage taking place is in the market stalls. So... You're going to have a lot of spoilage because you don't have any protections in these stalls. Now, the original code was rounding up, which means if there was two carrots in a stall, one of them would spoil. So they changed that code, and hopefully it will no longer do that. 
one region should be able to supply everything we need. And that's what we're going to be uh, sh showing off in this. Got a nice little farming region up here. Got a nice little meat region up here. So that will be part of the modified shield design is that you will need at least one other region. And if you're feeling up to the challenge, you can easily go for sausage. It's always nice to have as many food types as possible. But that is why we are doing the additional apple, apple orchards in the design so that we have something to trade for that. Most likely, we are not going to be trading for alcohol in that sense. I'm going to be using the trade post itself to just buy it uh, because I do need quite a bit of it. But with the sausages, it should be a little bit more. And we got another large granary. So the, the real important thing is the upgraded large granary. Also, as I expressed, uh, the current understanding is that each granary has only four carts. So when you put a family in with a marketplace, that uh, the code per patch notes, every market to reduce logistics is only three people can interact with the market. So essentially the, the family itself so you have one person peddling. So the food stall here, you can see they're all transporting. And for some reason, the boyer is so weird. That is so weird. Okay. Well, we don't want the boyer being also the family that's in here. So I need to find a chicken man. A, any chicken man will do. And these are some of the, the things that you actually do want to kind of look at is, you know, who, who are your neighbors? So he's a firewood cutter. I'm just going to reassign him. So let's just um, exit out of there. Let's go to our people. Let's reassign him here. Take this other chicken man. And reassign him here. Okay. We do not want anyone who has other jobs to be doing crap. So now one of these individuals will work at the market stall. And the other two will transport. So those two transporting will take up two carts. And the other two transporting will take up two more carts for a total of four. So the new strategy, I think, is to have a large granary with two workers with market stalls. And that's it. And then build another granary and so on and so forth. And that may help uh, alleviate uh, your food variety issues because the people with carts can carry 10 at a time. And the people with hands cannot. So... Uh, before, I used to just fill up granaries, but after talking to people in Discord, there does seem to be a consensus, and these things are all subject to change, that there are only four carts uh, in, in the uh, the granaries. So, we will figure that stuff out. And you want as many carts as possible. Now everybody's having a good time. They're all doing their stuff. Yeah, and then when you have families that are always farming their vegetables... So, here's the deal. They're, they're only farming during certain periods of time. And again, this is why I do the bender, because eventually when this becomes a tier three burgers plot, it will have four families and those four families will clear this field. So if your families are continuously farming, your farm is too big. <laughs> like if that's your problem, like make smaller farms. You could easily go with the a two plot if you feel it's an issue. I personally don't. And also, though that doesn't excuse the fact that they will be farming for several months. That is correct. So what you want to do is take your farmers and assign them to do jobs that you don't care if there's a three-month hiccup. And those jobs are pretty straightforward. That is easily your saw pits, your logging camps. So I assign all my farmers to things like that. Also, like clay furnace tiles. Yeah, it's nice to have it. But quite frankly, I produce clay tiles faster than I sell them. So put them into non-critical resources. Do not put them into your wood cutter. Do not put them into your charcoal kiln because that will cause issues with your firewood production. And then at, uh, when you're using the strategy in the shield design, we're trying to maximize egg production by using single plots. The problem with that though, is that every one of these plots takes you know one fuel. So your fuel consumption when you're building a bunch of single plots is exceptionally higher than when you're doing double burgers plots. So that is one issue. So I would never put them into critical infrastructure. You could even put them into foresters. You know, your foresters can take a break, uh, but that's that's how I view it. And one thing I hate about the foresters is they always start in a small area. I, I see, I've found better results controlling the areas right off the bat rather than just leaving them uh, to an unlimited work area. I find that they don't do a very good job. So we'll do that now. Cool. We got iron coming in. So 
I got iron coming in. I got my mining. I got my blooms. I got I all the basic artisan shops right now. I got my bo uh, my bows going. And uh, now, if you want to produce crossbows, you need iron parts. But that can be made at the blacksmith. But we are uh, right here making production of iron parts. But we are making spears. And we are making uh, large shields. Now, I did have to temporarily increase the production of my saw pits to two. Uh, we are going through an absurd amount of boards. We're also building our manor over here. We have 297 turns until the raiders attack. And as I have expressed multiple times, the biggest challenge in this game isn't producing weapons. It's getting enough people <laughs> for those weapons. So uh, we have all the spears. But right now, it looks like we're, we're having a couple issues with just board production. And interestingly enough, it's, it's all coming back down to ox. We need to get more ox. We need them hauling lumber uh, to the sawmill, keeping that stuff going. We're year four, so our veggies are starting to now get to a stage where all of them have grown, and we're gonna get a bunch. And once I get these these gents to tier three, I might I might even have to start trading vegetables. But I really want we're not at our full population. We're not even close. All of the we got lines of uh, houses yet to build, and that is cool. That is actually really cool. So I guess I could just start building out more houses now, finally. So we're going to build out more and more houses. And the game can be a little annoying sometimes. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I was able to squeeze six in these. I was a little bit more liberal with my spacing on this design. So that definitely led to more houses, but I won't say no. I tend to overproduce pretty much everything. So I can always handle a little bit more. Uh, we are going to get everybody to level 2. You want to get your farms first. I already got most of the farms. I think I actually got all the farms. Perfect. And we will need to start making um, making ale or using the drip system. I most likely will have to use the drip system, but I need to get a rock and economy here. It's not punish me. We are on normal difficulty. So hard difficulty is a whole different ballpark of uh, things you have to do. We got our six individuals here getting our 440 berries per year. We're doing fairly well toy around with the idea of going into rye cultivation so uh for this design how much bread i need is going to be based off how many foods i think i can provide and how much food i think i will be consuming now i am under the impression that i will have something of around 400 pop in this build which means i will have around 130 families so i will need 130 times 12 food let's just call it an even 2,000 food <laughs> per year in case I want to go past that cap, which means I'm going to need a lot of food. If I want to, if, yeah, five food types, oof. Okay. Yeah, I need 400 of each food. So I can do that with veggies, berries, apples, with eggs. I cannot do that. I'm going to need at least 400 bread. And to do that, I need 200 grain. 200 grain will become 400 bread. That is relatively easy to do, even in the worst farmland, uh, especially if you go into rye cultivation. But like realistically, it can be done in the space that we have. Uh, there's quite a, not a lot. This is like, and it's the worst, right? Now we're not gonna be plowing with ox, so we don't have to do long strips. We're gonna just do really big fields. <laughs> so I'm thinking, yeah. So this field's gonna be a lot more, hmm. The way that everything is, is done, I actually really don't want long strips, but the way that everything is, I think I have to do long strips to have somewhat of an even uh, keel here. So we're going to do two point Morgans like so. We're going to have some crap area. We're going to have some good area. And I think this should yield 75 a pop. If I can get that to 150, that'd be 300. You know, 300 bread could work so i need about i need about a few of these this is not going to go the way that i wanted it to um the crap areas are typically really bad now we can repair this windmill i don't want to repair that granary uh if i repair that windmill it's a little far away i don't want i don't want this windmill so i will demolish it i just i don't want it in the way i want to wrap 
farming around it. So this is probably the worst. So um, we'll just do this area here. Is two. And then we'll do this area here. As another two. That's beautiful. I think that actually will be all of the bread we need. It is not rocket science. Um, the, the bakeries, though... Oh, nice. We got space here. Uh, we'll, we'll need a couple. I think... <laughs> that's nice. That actually worked out. Typically, I have my bakeries, like, anywhere. Up here. Potentially even, too. Um, I want my bakeries to be where the, uh, where the flower storage is. All those jazzes. Okay. So, I need about 150 grain to make... Uh, th yeah, we got to do crop rotation. 300 bread. So that's my goal right now, is is to do that. And uh, we'll see if we can do it here. I have a feeling we can. I feel very good. And we're not going to need probably more than four families to accomplish this. So uh, it should be pretty straightforward. Yeah, there we go. I don't do barley at all because it's just an absolute wor like waste of time. Uh, they need to rethink the way that they do barley on crap terrain. You got veggies, you got apples, you got bread, you got berries, and you got eggs. That's five. Those are five things you can produce in any tile regardless unless you have fish because fish replace berries now. But yeah, you don't and you don't need anything. You don't need super tiles to do that. Okay. All right, we got 232 turns until we're attacked. We're growing. We need uh we're a grown boy. We need to continue trekking along. I am going to start slapping eggs into uh, this area. So we're basically just spamming egg production. Now keep in mind, you do not, you only need to create enough eggs as there are, you know, people or families, I should say. And I only need about, a, you know, a fifth of my production in eggs. So eggs will eventually actually become a staple food supply when you spam them like this. And my houses really have nothing else to do. Now the pigs, so people want to know about how do pigs work, right? Let me explain how pigs work. So I need two boards and I can't click on it. It don't matter. So if I click on this and I get a pig, that pig will yield four meat per year. Okay, it will yield four meat per year. You can get it to eight. You can get it to eight by going this direction and getting advanced skinning which doubles the amount of meat produced by hunters, butchers, and the animal pen backyard extension. That will get you to eight a year. Eggs produce 12, pigs produce eight. It's really that simple. Um, so you could, in theory, get a bunch of piggies and with that perk and do pretty damn well. However, you have to invest into trapping and then you have to invest into advanced skinning. So that's two points. This is why I personally am going to just do a sausage city. It will be a city dedicated to the production of sausage. Not everyone likes them apples. All right. So we got the joiner. We got the blacksmith. We got the cobs. But he's not a coblin. Why is he not a coblin? I might actually have to do some goats here. Simply to, uh, because I am expanding so quickly that my my production... I need I need more leather. Um, I could wait, you know, for it to naturally occur through hunting, but that doesn't always occur. All right, let me, um, I wish when we went into tab mode, it would show me if there's already an extension. That is actually one of my biggest pet peeves right now. All right, we really, I really went hardcore on those chickens, didn't I? Well, the world needs chickens. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. We're going to get some more houses up. I'm going to make them goats, and then I'm going to make them chickens later on. I'm a magician that way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Damn, yeah. I made my roads a little bit liberal. The design calls for five, but you can definitely overflow. You can definitely overflow these cities. Okay, cool. So you can see I have a lot of stable space. Get another uh, ox there. Got a good chunk of change. We got an enormous amount of roof tiles. We already got the tier two uh, church, and we I keep someone in here at all times to bury the dead. I am a little scared about the fact that uh, our board production does not seem. I'm gonna have to uh, permanently assign livestock, which isn't something I like to do. 
but I, I, I need the, the boards prioritized, so. All right. We got a good thing going on here. Okay, I don't know why there wasn't two people in the woodcutter there. Okay. So, I got four months worth of fuel. Yeah, and now that I have so many houses, we really got to ramp up fuel production. Really have to get two foresters in here. We need to make sure that we have a lush and prosperous forest. But everything is doing great. I haven't paid too much attention to supply and demand because I'm expanding at uh, such a rate. And now we got... Um, yep. Yeah, now we can get two people in here. We're going to need to get more granaries if I want to get 100% rate. But, you know, I'm at 91% up there right now. But there are more important things. And uh, we will get to that. But yeah, everything is in good production. Uh, we need the farmhouse. We need windmills. Yeah. We got we got our um, our work cut out for us. Quite a bit of work. Yeah. I like to have a lot of firewood stalls. I have problems. But uh, we got fuel. Yeah, it's pretty amazing how much food I have. I think a lot of it might be stuck in the freaking houses right now, though. That's another thing. There's just potentially eh, not too much. There's only 14. That's not bad. So far, they haven't uh, rioted for the lack of alcohol. But they are going to start getting pissed off about other things. So yeah, first you build the animal pen, and then you d you you buy the animal. The pigs are pretty worthless without the perk, though. Four meat per year per pen. It, you'd have to have, some, like, relative to, you know, eggs, which is 12 a year, one per month. You'd have to have so many of them without. With the perk, though, I mean, that's not that bad. It's not as good as eggs, but, you know, you get enough of those, that's not bad. Especially if you get salt coming in. You can get some good stuff going on there. All right. Yeah, we're doing uh, terrific. All right, we're going to upgrade this bad boy, and we're going to slap a couple dudes in there. We're just slapping dudes everywhere. All right, let's get another ox. I'm really hoping these saw pit dudes are doing their job. I I feel like the saw pits, they have five timber in there. What are these dudes doing? Are they, like, jerking off in the woods or something? It says they're crafting. What is he crafting? What are you doing? Oh, uh, you're at work. All right. Well, saw. Jeez Louise. They're coming in 110 turns, lady. Whole village is depending on you. All right. Looks like we're going to have uh, enough, maybe. We got the spears. We got the shields. We're just, yeah, we're just drawing too much. Um, ooh, okay. Got some more houses. All right. Well, we got uh, two more layers of housing, and then all the housing here is done. But, yeah, we just, uh, the food is pouring in now. So I don't have to worry about people starving to death. That's great. And yeah, we are at max housage. So that's not great. All right. We have eight free families. Everything's pretty much capped out. It's. I'm hoping that they can do this. I might need another family. I'm going to slap another family in there. I'm a little worried that they can't do these fields. It kind of looks like they may have... It used to... So it used to be one family could do one Morgan. And... Um, so we got four Morgans, so four families, but I'm not feeling it. Uh, they probably could have got it done if the, uh, plots were squ more square. But since they're so long, there's a lot of back and forth, so I think that's adding a lot of additional time. Uh, yeah, the addition of the second, uh, those two families should be sufficient, but yeah. I don't like this at all. Um, we gotta have this done by June. Alright, we've almost maxed out everybody here. Uh, I believe, I believe one more archer. What we really need is is more spearmen. All right. So the enemies are here. We're not gonna do this. We're gonna do that for now. I'll get those guys later. Don't know where they are. I don't know if I can take them with my army. I don't have the treasury funds. Okay, that's not good. But I've been in worse situations. All right. Well, this is gonna be a fun time. We're gonna have to use our terrain to our advantage. <laughs> this isn't a good situation. Now, typically, I would have had my manor up, but uh, there's just too many competing. I do this. <laughs> this is not good. Oh, not good.
not not good at all. That is a lot of raiders. That is an enormous amount of raiders. Okay. There will be debts. I did not get uh, my coffers up. And two, the, the Merc system is pretty annoying right now. Because it's like the, the main dude has hired most of them. Okay. All right. So he's up over there. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's going to come to my rescue. And I can't do crap. It's a beautiful place to be. My only, my only luck would be is if we get a buttload of uh, bows. I should have probably bought more bows. Okay. So they're going to come. They're going to try to burn shit. This is going to be a wild, wild day. I can potentially do it, though. I was, unfortunately, I do feel like board production is really shit. Because <laughs> I, I should have been able to produce uh, enough shields to have a full unit of shieldmen. But I did not get it. Oh, we got these guys. Woo! Actually, yeah, I could I could get like one more unit. And if a mercenary comes up, these guys aren't gonna make make a make a dent. But well, we we're gonna play the hand we're, we're we're dealt. I can definitely defeat the bandits the next time. I think I have to start importing weapons. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on with board production. It's, it's almost like it's still glitched. It's like, maybe I need to build another one. I'm optimistic. I think we're going to survive. So, I'm just going to build two more <laughs> sawpits. There might, there might see, there might be some ink. You know, ink being thrown in the faces of enemies. I, I feel like I can do it. Uh... I, I believe in myself. Oh, boy. We can do it. I've... What the fuck is going... Okay, they're in the woods. Yeah, I've done... I've been through worse. Been through worse. Okay, here they come. Yeah, unfortunately, I cannot ride naked into battle on an ox in this game. Because if I could do that, I would definitely win. Alright, so we want to do stand our ground until they collide with us. That will negate the charge. And then we want to switch out of it. Alright, so I think the best thing to do is to get Jiggy with it. Uh, Will Smith. We're going to use the Will Smith strategy. And we're going to walk up and we're going to slap them in the face. And that will hopefully make one unit at least charge into me. All right. Okay. We got one and he's he's going off the beaten path. This is a beautiful thing. Like divide and conquer strategy. All right. So, now what I want to do is have him charge directly into this man's face. Uh, we're going to pelt with arrows from opposing sides. This should actually go pretty well for me. Alright. Um, shoot at will. Shoot at will. Alright. Engage. All right, we should kill him. All right, we got two jerks coming at us. Reasonably, once I route this enemy, I should pull back. Oh God, please route. Please route. He's not routing. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Restructure. All right. Come on, guys. This isn't time to, to cheer. All right. This isn't bad. It's not good either. Oh, this isn't going to go the way I wanted it to. All right. Let's engage. Let's shoot. Let's have a good time. All right. We're going to pull our, our men back a little bit. We're going to... um. Ugh, we don't have enough room. 
on a two-step this unit. We'll take turns shooting this guy. Potentially kill him. There we are. Gosh, fuck shit game. I hate this. They, they're they just so unresponsive. Like, they're sitting there cheering. I'm like, run for your life. They're like, yeah! <laughs> it's like, for freak's sake, man. <laughs> do what I told you to do. <laughs> your lives depend upon you. <laughs> listening to me <laughs> yeah we're spraying the ink we're spraying the ink all right all right up here we took out both units we didn't lose too many that's why it's important to stay calm and uh you know you gotta trust you gotta trust in jesus in these situations jesus is my co-pilot and all, all of my slaughters. He's, he's a sick man. He's a sick man. But uh, he's there. He's there guiding me. All right, we're gonna get our dudes up here. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was a little scared, but I forgot how uh, how weak, how weak the brigands are. Thank you, JP. Oh my God. All right. Well, that was actually a little scary. <clears throat> we lost uh, one retinue. I I almost lost my dignity, which would have been far, far worse. So I'm feeling pretty good about the whole situation there. All right. So that's good. And it looks like we got some more, some more spears and uh, some more bows. But yeah, we're doing great. All right. We're just going to continue. I'm just going to... Yeah, we're ramping up saw, saw pit production, man. There's just... We'll put one person per saw pit. I I mean, it does kind of feel like... the. I mean, the the, the, the stuff is there. We're going to unassign livestock. But they're just... You know, they're just not doing their jobs. That's all right. We'll, uh, we'll hire someone else. <laughs> I guess I could... Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. I didn't, never thought about that. Fire him. There we go. There we go. We'll just fire him and hire someone better. What happens when you don't do your job? Okay, cool. So we got our uh, our gents out here um, throwing seed down. I am eager to see 38. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. That's not usually the full yield. It usually takes a year or two. It should be like 75 should easily be 75 a good a good one morgan can do 75 archers aren't useless they're they're actually very effective at kiting and scaring enemies like two units of spears holding the line with archers shooting your enemy from behind can usually route most units and the crossbowmen are a lot better to an extent, but they take forever to reload, whereas the archers can move and shoot, move and shoot over and over again. The archers are still very effective when used um, appropriately, and they're even more effective when you use them in bulk. They're very, very strong. Okay. Well, we're getting close. I mean, even 150 bread would be great. So the veggies are a little bit more OP than I remember. Um, I'm a little surprised. Ah, I haven't set taxes yet. Let's set some taxes. All right, we're gonna do all of the above. I don't really need any more people right now. Let's do twenty. Ah, eh, ten percent. <laughs> twenty is a little hardcore. All right, we are exporting roof tiles, but not at a rate that is sufficient. I'm gonna have to start exporting uh, vegetables. This is a great way to make money. And we only really need about 600 of these bad boys. I will buy a route for this. All right. Vegetables are going. Apples, we're not quite there yet. Everything else, we're not quite there yet. Uh, that's a decent trade. We have a good chunk of ore still. So that means we should have... And a lot of iron slabs. Okay, cool. So I don't need to really do any of that. We've got all the iron we need. We got everything we need. Let's... um, And we got everybody there we need. I almost wonder if I want another blacksmith at this rate. But, yeah, realistically, it's uh, these, these folk over here who are letting me down. I'm going to... It might be that the second family doesn't increase, you know, increase production. But, 
You can't get more production than one family, but the families aren't even working, so I'm going to slap them up to two. All right, let's speed this bad boy up. Oh, shit. They're going for that last region. There's a bandit camp over there. Uh, well, let's... You need at least five retinue to, to uh, summon, so I got to pop him back up. That's good enough. All right. Let's go steal a bandit camp. If they're going to attack that bandit camp, I want the money. <laughs> you can get more retinue, at least. And we can get that money for more retinue. We got taxes coming in. Yeah, if we'll get a full retinue. We'll get our full spear. We'll get our halberds. We'll have full bows. We're, we're going to be set. We'll be able to take any lord army they send at me with that. Yeah, now we got to get paid. We got to get these brigands out of here. All right. Well, berries are good. Stone. I mean, I could start selling off stone. I have like 400 stone I've collected. I'm I'm kind of of the party that does not like having multi-regions as much. Um, I like building up one region, but we will definitely be doing all of the above. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. We're going to put that in our treasury. 366. Nice. That's going to really help me out there. <laughs> I really needed that money. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to, I, I don't want my, I want my men to be working. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty deep. All right, the slow build is going. We got the regional wealth. We got everything going. Feeling pretty good about this. We're going to, I, I could like try to have mercs, but typically what happens is I never get the, the mercs because he surprises me. All right, cool. If I have enough. Oh, I do have enough boards. Okay. Okay. Limit reach. Oh, no. I see. I had it in the design. Cool. So now I have to rebuild everything. Perfect. All right. Well, we'll get that up. Yeah, food is off the rails. Uh, apples are coming in good. Honey's like, I need to build more of these. Eventually, I'll have, like, more people than I know what to do with. So we'll go back into the honey. You need about 12. Probably need more. But every little bit of honey I make is helping reduce the consumption of other goods. So I always like that. Uh, eggs are not producing enough. We'll get there. Once I get bread rolling in, that's going to help reduce the consumption of everything else. Put that to tier 2. Alright. Yeah, they're they're doing it. I don't know how much grain we got in, but hopefully it was enough. <laughs> like none. Yeah, we'll get our retinue up and strong. Now, from my perspective, they haven't nerfed honey. I mean, it's coming in pretty strong. For it to even ha be on, a, like not fully consumed tells me that it's coming in pretty damn strong. Hey, we're doing great. Meat's not in our diet right now, but it will be. Did we not set this guy up right? Shit. And set him up right. I was like, what's going on? All right. Eventually, they'll catch up and I'll have some bread. Might need to uh, increase. We have such terrible, terrible bread. Do one over there. Yeah, Emmer, Emmer would definitely be a worthwhile point. Or Rye. Rye cultivation would definitely be a worthwhile point, I think. I can switch all that stuff to rye. This patch right here is right around a giant rye cultivation area. Apples are stupid, stupid powerful, though, once five years have passed. And then it's just an absurd amount of food for very little work. All right, we've capped out housing. It's kind of crazy how quickly we grow. We paid, it says we paid 125 units, but I hope that wasn't bread, because that's my bread. That's the one thing I hate about the tithe, too, actually. Um, I just want to get enough power to take one region, which we have. But I might skimp on the tithe. All right. Man, it's a little wonky here today. There we go. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work. All right, cool. All of them have extensions. It's a little, uh, It's a little fun, but that's all right. So this will be it for housing. And then the next, the next is tier three. So I'm going to have to get uh, ale production up next if I want to get any bigger than this. But there we are. The shield design is still very stupidly overpowered. All your eggs are within uh, reach of granaries, so uh, logistics are still pretty on point. We have so many saw pits going. It's kind of absurd. Yeah, see, they're, like, they're, they're being really, really lazy. But we, have eight, we, we maxed out boards, but I still, I still feel like... Um, Product yeah, there's some kind of weird disconnect in production, man. We should be producing really, really easily now. I wonder if they nerfed like the blacksmith. He's like just producing so slow now. <laughs> ah okay. 
Yeah, so now it's just a people deficit. I need to get about 350 population in order to have a full army. There we go. All right, we're doing great. And I have to build another granary. Yeah, I'm trying out the new strategy to optimize carts. I'm not really sure if it's that fantastic yet, but I'll know more once I have a proper food system. Right now, my food system is still, you know, kicking into high gear. Now, eventually, I probably want to get another trade post up, too. But we got lots of money. Oh, my God. Um, I'm going to upgrade a few of these guys, though. So, uh, it's it's literally... Yeah, we can demolish these. I don't need that many. And we'll just cut this one down. We, we only need two. We're at 100 boards now. It's, it's realistically, it's just these guys are slow. Okay. Well... There's no ifs and or buts about it. I need that third food type. That's got to be... Uh, we got some bread finally coming in. So veggies, bread, and, and apples are the, the two easiest to get. There we go. 74. Okay, cool. Yeah. We're, we're going to be making 300 bread. That will, that will be more than sufficient for this population. All right. We're going to have the three food types, and I'm going to have to start doing a drip system on alcohol. So we're going to create a brewery extension, and I'm just going to start gradually... Uh, trading more and importing barley. Uh, not barley. Um, I'm gonna start. Yeah, I probably it probably will be cheaper. I will eventually make a region for this bot. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll need to make malt. They fixed they fixed malt. Uh, in the the new patch too. Malt houses weren't working properly, and now they are. So we'll put them here, kind of close to the bakery, kind of close to where the goods are gonna be stored. Should be uh pretty sufficient. There we go. I just. Place my well like straight in the middle, but realistically, they go to the nearest water source. So, I mean, you just, I would just do your, your corners, you know what I mean? Do your corners with wells, and uh, you should be fine. Not a, ba not a bad thing to do, but I, uh, you can play with the underground wells and having to find like the perfect place. I find it kind of obnoxious <laughs> personally, so I just don't do it anymore. I just, I enable it so I can place wells anywhere. But yeah, good call. I don't want flour ever stored up here, though. Or bread. This is, like, way too far away for, like, a lot of this stuff. Sometimes it's dangerous to make these distinctions, but, yeah, we don't want any of that there. These granaries upgraded. 200 beer, that's more than enough uh, to, to do a gradual. I think we're going to have to slap another dude in the, the oven here. All right, yeah, we'll keep all the grain down here. Damn, dude, the food is really getting spread across. All right, we're doing it. 74 and 0. Yeah, I didn't get this guy planted fast enough, but we're going to be at a point where we're we're at optimal food production here pretty shortly. Uh, the eggs, honestly, should be really kicking in here now. All right, yeah. So once I get all these eggs over here, I think eggs will definitely be a new food group. Every one of these is one egg a month, so it really starts to... Snowball. It actually gets harder as you go to tier 3 because you have more families. But we should have sausages and other things coming in relatively soon. And that is a lot of chickens. All right, we got a tax on ourselves now. That sucks. We can pay the tax as of now, but uh, yeah, we're going to have to get these guys up to tier 3. I have to increase taxes. We're at 50, 60%. I think the, uh, the need for alcohol is going to start growing. My God, that is a lot of chickens. All right. You might even get to a point where you can start uh, trading. <laughs> trading chickens. Or eggs, I mean. All right, cool. Um, You can limit ale production. That's scary. That really makes the drip system a lot easier. If I limit it to 10... Oh, why did they do that? That makes it so easy to... So much easier to cheese than I, than I was... Before, I was just relying upon just not overbuilding something. All right. And start start getting malt in here. And then we can uh, get barley as well. Start using our money for good here. All right. Not bad. Okay, let's look at some other stuff I can start selling. I might keep those goats that I have because I don't have any excess leather. Primarily because we're just growing so fast. It's uh, Eventually, I'll have enough shoes. We can start selling shoes. Eventually, I'll even be able to start selling warbows. I might actually start selling warbows right now. All right. I want a 30 surplus of bows. And I want to start trading. Ooh, they used to start at eight. Now they start at five. Those devils. Let's get a horsey. All right. Yeah, we're doing it. Yeah, pack stations are great. That's why we got the apples, is so we have something to trade. But dang, man. Yeah, our food's coming in hot. 
but we're eating. We have a lot of people now, and we're really eating, eating through a lot of it. The apples you can see are not totally fully grown. They're they're getting really close, so that's great. Um, and I think the tavern. Rec oh, we did. Yeah. So this is the drip system. You just like a little bit of booze at a time. Uh, we can do tier three, but we don't want to do that because we're just we're not ready for it. We're not ready for it. <laughs> These level ones have to get up, but everybody else, no. To summarize the last two patches, essentially, it's just a little bit... Food production is a little bit harder. Sausages will help you hit your tier 5, your um, your food requirements when you want to go to tier 3 to have 4 food. So like, sausage is actually relatively easy to produce and import. Uh, it does look... They also made it so that you uh, one ale will fulfill the needs of three families so it used to be one per family now it's one per three family so th that's it and you can have pigs and it's a little bit easier to make meat however um it's not entirely necessary because with the right policies and a rich deposit of wild animals i had more meat than i ever needed and was able to import it um but you could also use pigs in conjunction if you want to have a small city but pigs are kind of not entirely necessary in my point of view. Uh, and the only way that they're useful is if you have advanced skinning. And that's two points. That's two points. And you know what I mean? It's, it's way too many points to make them useful. Other than that, man, and then crossbows. Other than that, not a whole lot in my opinion. Not, not nearly enough. Not nearly enough has been done. I, I personally expect them to utilize the resources that were granted to them in the forms of tens of millions of dollars from the purchasing of this game to hire the necessary bandwidth to, you know, push more, more development. That has not happened. Right there. There we go. So hopefully soon. I know they're ramping up certain... Pr uh, I know that they're looking for people, quote-unquote, what that... If it's sincere, we'll find out. You know, I'm like I'm I'm looking for a Tyrannosaurus Rex in my backyard right now. I'm very sincere about it. I think one day I will find a T Rex. It's like, it's like I. If, there's a huge difference between saying you're you're doing something and and then the actions. <laughs> like, if I if I show you guys a picture of a T Rex tomorrow, be like, damn, he was serious. He actually got a T Rex. And that's how I feel about their their little comments about how they're hire they're gonna hire people. <laughs> it's like, okay, but you haven't done it. <laughs> so it's like for like is he like turning down it like what's their you know I, I my concern is that there are probably people who want to work on this game who are not being hired because they don't fit a certain criteria that uh the dev wants. So yeah, it's highly efficient. It, it it looks good from certain angles, but there are other designs. I'd like to do more circles. I'm thinking uh I'm thinking circles next, but I don't want to overwhelm overwhelm myself with all the awesome power of the circle. Circles are pretty sweet though. Like I mean, you could you could do some pretty cool little circle designs and uh, make I think make your your areas look nicer. I've seen some pretty neat designs that people have come up with. All right, let's get another horse. Even though the trade post can only use two horses, I'm probably going to have to get another trade post up, in fact. Um, I'll just place it here for now. The There's only... What's kind of annoying is... You know, we can manually assign... You only get two horses, so only a couple dudes can go out and trade goods, but... All right. Yeah, we still have iron slabs, and we still got a buttload of clay, and we're still trading firewood. Boost that up. I might need to start getting uh, more coal production. But other than that, we're doing great. We're about 50%. Food variety is ass right now, just simply because, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the whole uh, understaffing granaries thing works, but uh, I don't think it does. It's It's kind of like you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. I mean, yeah, it's optimal for carts, but I don't know if it's optimal for... Uh, until you get enough food. What's unfortunate is that you can't designate a food stall for a certain type of good. Like, I can't say this one's for berries, because then I could say this one's for berries, 
this granary only stores berries. These people only deal with berries. Like, then you could really dial in the efficiency on this stuff, man. But uh, that's not in the game currently. That would be the ideal way to do it. But, all right. We, so we got a little bit of booze coming in. Uh, we're broke as shit. <laughs> what did I do? I spent all my money. Yeah, barley is, is killing me. But we'll be all right. All right, and we went through a lot of veggies. That's good. I'm going to keep us at six. All right, we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to start selling our daughters. That's the only way. I was hoping the roof tiles would sell a little bit better, but they're not doing uh, terrific. It looks like we could also start exporting boards. So we'll keep that at 70. Start exporting some boards. We're going to have to sell anything that can we can. And the uh, demand for uh, the taxation is hurting. Hurting us pretty bad. And we don't have as much food, so we're not getting food bonuses anymore. But this is what happens when you... When you uh, you do tights and stuff. All right. So we're at 3.2, and that's going to be good for us. And I'm going to boot this up to 5% uh, tax. And I think that will be sufficient. We're going to pull back a bit. want to stay above that that 53%. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I, maybe a couple years for this game. And I think we'll be in a good place. I think we'll be in a great place. There we go. Do not want trade posts. Well, you can see we have an enormous amount of families, though. It's pretty crazy. All right, cool. So we got lots of grain production coming in. Everybody's doing a grand job. Okay, so we really do need to start focusing on ale production and getting our second city. So we are going to have to go to war. The other lord controls all of the regions. This is the area we want, as we will be going for sausages and the salt of veins over here. So we're going to try to take this region. Now let's just take a very quick gander to see what kind of a... Uh... Yeah, yeah, we got lots of food. Uh, mostly, though, barley. All right. So we want to make sure, yeah, we have plenty of room for barley. But we do want to make sure that we're not uh, building in places that will uh, impact this. So we'll have a very small settlement. Uh, it looks like most of the good barley areas are a little odd. And there's so many trees here, it is a little difficult to see. But yes, there's plenty of room for barley here. So let's go down to our military. You can see that we do have our two spears. I always hate having things out of sync. Um, so let's let's just X out everybody here for a second. All right, so we're going to have two units of spears. We're going to have a halberd, and we're going to have three bows for the time being. Now we have pretty much our whole army right now. It looks like we just need a few more individuals. However, we are not going to be able to go to tier 3 without first securing our ale production. So, we do have all of our houses. Uh, we do have the capacity to go to tier 3. But uh, the, the negative approval would be so high because we have not secured all of our food sources quite yet. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, that was, those are ones. <laughs> I was like, did I put one up to two? That would have been uh, a little crazy. But we're getting there. The eggs are starting to build up. The veggies and apples are at sufficient levels. Uh, the berries, uh, unfortunately, with the system in play now with spoilage, it is a lot harder to maintain berries. I might even have to trade berries and uh, some other stuff. But at least getting ale production and those things going would be pretty darn good. We can even think about other trade items at another point. We're going to pause as we upgrade to level 2. Sometimes there's fluctuations in the food, and it's kind of annoying. But yeah, we'll get all these bad boys up. Gotta love that passive money. We are trickling in ale production as we speak. We just We have one brewer, and that seems to be doing the job. And we got a lot of good things going for us. Uh, hopefully we can start selling bows here once we get our army fully furnished. And we're getting pretty close there. We have a little bit of room for people to come in. We're going to allow them to do that. We're pulling in enough money right now in our treasury to do the majority of things. And we have 11 months of food and 13 months of fuel. We're finally at that point where everything is pretty hunky-dory. So I'm pretty happy about that. And we have a lot of free families, so everything's good. The cows are, or sorry, the ox are building up these burgage plots as we speak. This is wonderful. It looks like we still have some tier 1 houses. Very good. Uh, but, yes, we will need to remedy the food situation. Um, the eggs are starting to finally build up. But what we really need 
is another food supply. Uh, mostly bread. So something I have noticed is even though I'm making enough bread, I'm consuming it at the rate that it's like kind of coming in. So occasionally it's smart to import like a hundred bread just to give it a base to build up on. You can see we're not quite where we need to be uh, in a lot of these areas. It doesn't look like... It does actually kind of look like I need a lot more people too, so that's kind of weird. I'm just going to... I'm going to boot up some of this stuff, even though I don't believe I need to. Uh, we have so many free people that I'm just going to do it. Um, but yeah, these... These long strips were not ideal, but this was the best uh, ter terrain. I think I will go into uh, rye cultivation for sure, and that will solve the issue here. We'll have more than enough bread after that. I would prefer not to have to import anything if I don't have to. So, cool. All right, but it is time for us to go to war. We have a sufficient force to take him on. I'm not worried. I'm not worried whatsoever. So we're going to claim this region with influence. Uh, we're going to start war. I love starting the wars because uh, it means that he has to come fight me instead of him attacking me. So it's preemptive, uh, you know, preemptive strike here. All right. I need to figure out which way his armies are going to be coming from. So let's just get all our, all our dudes over there. Probably should not have them running. Uh, we want their... Oh shit, they're coming right for us. Okay. Okay, so they're going to come down this way. Beautiful. Well, uh, it would have been nice to have gotten a little bit of bonuses. You can see this; these uh, two riverbeds right here actually present an amazing opportunity for us. And yeah, we're well within the sphere. So we'll, we'll pull all of our bowmen back here to this river. We'll put our two spears as such. Like so... I'm going to stand your ground, and then we'll put our other melee units on opposing flanks. Let's get these guys in gear. We don't have armor or any of that stuff yet, which would have been, you know, a wise thing to have done. But we, um, unfortunately just didn't really have the economy. And that's okay. This will be more than sufficient. I'm going to do a spread V formation. Perfection, and then we're gonna put uh, archers on flanks so that they can get they can quickly come out and start shooting from the side and yeah, We'll get these guys where they are I actually might put these guys straight in the middle here We'll see typically I like to wait to see which uh, tr side they try to flank on and then I'll put a unit there It does seem though that there is a there would be a benefit from having a, a good force right here we'll put them on stand your ground as well all right this is beautiful get them out of the way of the archers there get the archers a little bit more in the corners all right this is a pretty good formation that we got going on we just need to watch them it does look like they're gravitating towards sending their flanking unit this way oh nope they uh they, they tricked me out they're going to send their flanking unit to the left, so I'm going to move these guys over here. And I'm going to move the archers over here. I don't want to I don't want to try to have my archers exposed on a flanked side. Oh yeah, we'll do great. We'll have two archers over here. Beautiful. Get everybody together. All right, cool. So now they gotta cross all these these dirt paths and rivers. Now archers aren't gonna do much damage and head on. They do their primary damage from behind. But yeah, this would in reality this would be a really ugly situation because you'd have muck all over your boots and you'd be sticking. But uh, in the game, it's you know it doesn't really give you that much of a benefit. Okay, I'm gonna just preemptively go ahead and engage. I'm gonna leave them center. We're going to, uh, ooh, what are you guys doing? I did not tell you to move. Okay, so the retinue are doing that. We have archers behind, that's fine. I'm actually, I'm gonna break protocol here. We're just, we're gonna go crazy. We just need to get our archers behind units. I'm not too afraid of those archers over there because they're trying to shoot these guys. 
If they start shooting the archers from behind, that would really suck, but I'm not foreseeing that being an issue. Alright. And sometimes you're... Oh my god, dude, the archers are so dumb. There we go. Alright. Yeah, we should be smashing these dudes over here. Archers are, you know, doing their thing. Alright, now we're going to start shooting from behind. I'm going to actually use these units to help out here. We're starting to shoot from the side over there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, this is where we need to be focused. Okay. Um, I don't know where their units are. They're in the trees. I'm just going to reassemble. And wait for them to come out. We're not going to do anything fancy here. There we go. Alright, now these archers are going to get it. We had a few casualties. Nothing, uh, nothing too grand. There we go. Alright. Yeah, they're going to die. Beautiful. Alright, so we won. Now we own the region. Everybody's happy. He's declared. Beautiful. Not the cleanest battle, but... Uh, once you get to this point where the Lord can't defeat you, it's good. Only problem with a, a border region like this is if the bandits do come, they'll come out of here. Alright, so primarily what I want to be doing in this area is growing barley. So I want to make sure, like, this is a good area for barley right here. Um, if I'm going to place, a, you know, this is a good spot here. This seems to be, this little corner over here seems to actually be potentially one of the better places. Oof, that's a good Emmer spot, but everywhere is. Uh, this is probably where I'm going to place my village. It, it just seems to be one of the easiest locations. Okay. Uh, we'll have to start with average. Can't wait till we get like farming and fishing villages and stuff like that. Okay, cool. Alright, and the good thing about having... Everything that we have here is that uh, it should be relatively easy. Okay. Homeless people's tents. Alright, so right off the bat... Oh god, I hope they don't die. <laughs> yeah. Alright, right off the bat, get a forester. And let's get a woodcutter. And we're just... This is going to be a very simple city. Sure, why not? <laughs> we'll do it like that. All right, cool. And I think we can do housing over here pretty easily. Let's get a little bit of a, a weirdness going on here. Get a market stall up. A lot we need to do here. Yeah, we want to get a granary up. For sure. And maybe a hitching post or two. And then we want to get up our market stalls. And there's a lot we need to do. Um, let's actually get the hunter hunter up here real quick. In this area. Very good. Alright, let's prioritize the hunter. Not bad. And let's prioritize the logging camp. Let's let him get to work. Cool. That'll be a good little area. Alright. Market stall here. 26. I like it. More than enough. And a well. There we go. Get the basics going here in a moment. Uh, get a church up. Get boards. Get all that stuff. So, essentially... Let me see... I kind of want to, like, pre-map this out. Okay, yeah. So this whole lower area here. This whole lower area here. And inside this area. Going to be houses and everything in between. Beautiful. And it doesn't look like I can go across this river. Okay. We can. It's just being a jerk. Interesting. 
Interesting, interesting. All right. Yeah, I do like to get roads. Oh, because it's not my, my territory. Gotcha. Okay, I do like to get roads up. ASAP. There we go. It'll be a bit of a trek for them. All right. Logging camp is up. We're going to slap two people into that. Um, hunting camp is up. We're going to get a dude in there. Very good. Um, yeah. We'll put this up to 18 on a rich deposit. We'll want to get our manor up so we can start getting the policies and all that kind of jazz. It is a little scary. I probably should not have started this in winter. <laughs> uh, but you live and you learn, don't you? All right. And, yeah, we're going to we're gonna start getting some houses out. There we go. I'm gonna do that. And then we'll have a road going up this way. Beautiful. We got that road there. Cool. Very good. Start getting everything hammered out here. Probably should have at least one interconnected road. Once the tents are gone, we'll be in good, good place. Uh, let's relocate this pretty much anywhere. All right, cool. Let's get another ox to help out. Uh, Woodcutter's Lodge. We need to slap a person in there. All right, cool. So we got everybody doing the basics. Just need to make sure people don't freeze to death and everything will be great. Yeah, it would be cool if we could send families uh, to different areas, but currently can't do that. Food fry is finally getting there. Fuel is a little... Uh, I, just, I might need to just get a couple more stalls. Sometimes when I just have issues like that, I just say whatever. And I just get more stalls. Bam, bam. It's overkill, but that's fine. Overkill can be um, pleasant things sometimes. All right. Uh, yeah, we need to focus here. We need to make sure people don't starve, starve to death. Um, our berries are all the way over there. And that's actually really shitty. But that's just the way it is. I don't think we're going to need to worry too much about um, berries here. We're going to have more than enough meat. And we could get our meat from here too, but we need the salt mines. We could also buy salt though too. Oh, there's lots of ways to get stuff. All right. Yeah, they're doing a great job. We do need to get the le leather maker up. All right. Um, most likely industry is going to be in this area. I'm going to do like a kind of a weird thing here. Just do like a little little shindig here. Perfect. We'll get a storehouse right here. And we need to get a leather maker up. Do that right here. Perfect. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go chicken coops in the very beginning here. That will feed them all per month. It's a pretty good strategy, actually, just to go straight chicken coops. So between the meat and the chicken, we should have enough food. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to. Uh, do a couple of shenanigans here to get things working. Once everything's built up, I can th slap him into uh, leather making. And uh, what I really need are two food types, though. So berries. I I just don't really un I don't know how easy it's going to be for us to get berries all the way across. <laughs> so, but I'm hoping we can just use the food produced uh, in these areas. Should work. All right, so we're not going to do apples quite yet. I do like to do apples, though. All right, what should I do here? Hit forest management. Mm, trapping. Well, yeah, if I get uh, trapping and I get advanced skinning, that would actually really help us here. Uh, meat could be the main diet for us. There's a lot of good things to do here. Yeah. Um, apples we're going to import for barley, so we don't need to do apples. Uh, it would be 
a pretty good place to do bread though so maybe we'll do heavy plows and bakeries this will help us reduce the amount of farmers we need to if we do heavy plows and small plots yeah uh let's hold off and let's see what direction we're gonna go in all right the city of good enough is not good enough anymore all right logging camps full pantry full think they're doing all right here but they're still kind of pissing me off does look like they're finally like getting with the program. We got a lot of stuff being stored. Okay. I think we got another trade post. Yeah, we got two trade posts. We're doing pretty darn good. We do need to get another horse and uh, do double livestock here. Let's make sure that we got two. Yep, yep, cool. They both got horses. Don't have to worry too much about this place now. The trees are all at peak. Uh, but yes. I am a little concerned. I didn't realize how far away the berries were. This is not going to be a peak efficiency. Alright, we got fuel at the wazoo. Food. Food is um actually doing pretty decent. Uh, let's, let's put two dudes here. Alright. We're going to take a guy out of the logging camp. We're going to put one guy in the tannery. I'm going to do this. We're just going to get ourselves a little interesting little road system going on here. Um, the granary is up. We do need to put someone in there. Alright, we'll do one here. I think we'll be okay, actually. Once I get the guy in the granary, that's going to help out a lot. Okay, two hitching posts. Everybody has a house. We'll need to build two more houses for more people to come in. Don't have any free families at the moment. Got 20 logs. I'm going to pop one guy out to help build those two houses. Got a good amount of meat. Uh, the storehouse is up. Canneries doing its thing. The woodcutter's doing his thing. I'm feeling pretty good about all of this, to be honest. The granary being all the way down here is actually stupid. Uh, because where the the market's location doesn't matter. So the market actually should... The best place for the market in Granary would actually be up here. So uh, we're going to have to have a little bit of some... We're going to have to utilize our terrain a little bit smart here. Like, let's find a dead area. So like right here... Oh yeah, look at this. This is a perfect little dead area. Cool. All right. Let's uh let's get let's get our act together. So this would actually be the best place for a granary and a well and market. And that way we'll be in between both food sources. This will be great. But yeah, we'll have our industry down there and everything else up here. It'll be hunky dory. As so many we're going to need, like, no more than 30 would be overkill. Cool. That gives us more room for granaries and all that types of jazz, too. Attacks. Get a well there. Coolio. All right. And then we got double house locations. Perfect. So we could fit three rows of housing in here. Wow. There we go. Bunch of houses up there. And now we can get um, our berries. So we'll put our little farming area right here around the berries. I'm not even going to look because I know pretty much the dimensions of berries. Always pretty standard. Yeah, we overkilled it. Overkill can be good in my opinion. Actually. Yeah. yeah. They're all centrally located. Perfect. There we are. Okay, berries. All right, not too far away from the granary. Not too close either, so not entirely terrifically efficient. But yeah, we'll just have an industrial hub down here. I wish I could say, like, what markets go where, personally, but uh, you can't. I wish I could have an industry-only market. I can move... You you can move the, the stalls, but it causes this weird phantom stall issue. 
Um, I've fixed it a few times, but I've had I've had problems when I've done it where things don't correct, and uh, you get these really weird issues. Like it works for a little while, and then it like breaks down again. Cool. All right, we're at fifty nine percent. We got multiple houses up. We have. I think a sufficient food supply coming in. This is a beautiful place. It's a beautiful thing. And let's... Uh, no market. Get him up. And let's get this granary up. Just a little bit of a setback there. But nothing big. But yeah, we can still keep... We can still keep this. We'll just get rid of the marketplace and um, everything else. And we'll... Move the hitching posts over here. This is great. We could put a lot of industry and housing here. And then we'll have our food production up here. Yeah, it would be wonderful. It's a little, it's a little weird. Uh, you can move... I mean, you can move the animals. But what's happening right now, if you move the animals... Uh, there's like this wandering deer bug that impacts... Trapping? So, trapping ha does work if you don't move the wild animals. So, you're probably wondering, like, well, why don't you move the wild animals, you jerk? And that's why. It's because I want to use trapping. And if you move the, the wild animals, the, the, the trap... I've noticed the trappers just go all over the place. But when I don't move it, uh, trapping actually works, like, the majority of the time for me. There we go. Cool. We got a lot of houses we can put up here. So, this is more than we're going to need. All right, the shield is doing its thing. Shit. See that? Okay, cool. They um they spawn down there. Not really worried about bandits. Banditos are never a problem. I'm not even going to do anything fancy here. We're just going to kill all of them. All right, they should come straight for me. Um, we are gonna get these guys in lines and I'll pull him on the left. Beautiful. All right, now they're coming at me. We'll do it like that. We're gonna eviscerate these guys. Yeah, archers never do too much damage from the front, but they do they do hurt them. They lower their effectiveness and they kind of they slow them down. They kind of piss them off a bit. They lower morale. They do all types of stuff. So you can see their effectiveness is stagnating. I'm actually just going to engage. Yeah, so we're shooting them from behind over here. I'm going to get these guys in on a little trick shot. Move them. Shoot from behind. There we go. Close. Alright, now we're just going to pile, pile drive them. Yeah, bandits are not an issue. Boom, boom, boom. All the banditos gone. Flawless victory. I wish we got, like, some money or something from it. Because my money's... My money's going fast. <laughs> We're not really taxing too hardcore right now. But, um... We got enough trade. We got a bit of a drip system going. I'm pretty happy about the majority of things. But, yeah, we need to keep upgrading all of these plots to get that money up. That one silver per... All right. Very good. Put one dude in the malt house over here. Come over here and check people out. <laughs> We're still a little slow. All right. We got our first extra family. Great. We got two families. I'm going to let them build everything up. It's 
going to be a bit a bit of a time. But we got lots of houses. Got a good marketplace. I may eventually move industry up here. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how much uh, barley I actually need to make. Because we could do this in a lot of different ways. We can just ship the raw resources, which is sometimes cheaper. Or we can produce... Uh, we have to look at what the trade ratios are and cost are. Uh, sometimes, like, malt can just be, like, one more silver. And that's pretty good if I don't have to do that. But I do have a lot of free people. So, you know, what's what's the point, right? Um, I, I got the resources. Wonderful day. It's a wonderful day. We got 20 free families. Beautiful. All right. See what we got going on up here. Nice. We just got another family. Feeling pretty good about all this. Got our forager hut up. We're going to put uh, two families in there. Though I do like to do as many of these as possible. Because they they uh the reason for that is is they have a 50 pantry storage. So this procs 40 at a time. On a normal deposit, 80 on a rich. So we just need to be harvesting 40 before it procs again. Um, but the bottleneck is getting it the hell out of there. So... Yeah, we'll need to get a granary worker up here. Got a great marketplace. Okay, cool. Now that that is finished, we are going to get rid of this. And we're going to destroy this. And we're going to get our guy here. We're going to get this going. The lumber is going to have to travel quite a distance, and that is kind of unfortunate. I, I definitely could put a marketplace down here. Uh, typically what people will do, I guess we should try to jimmy rig just to see if they potentially fixed it. But if I put a marketplace down here, and since I'm controlling the buildings that can do market stalls, I'm controlling the number of market stalls, so that actually will fix the phantom market stall issue. Uh, three people are about to freeze to death, that don't make no sense. But whatever. I don't make the rules. Okay. So we got a clothing stall, firewood stall, so I'll move those down here. Be closer uh, to this. That should work. What's interesting too is you can go over the limit as long as there's space. <laughs> so moving stuff is, is pretty good. But yeah, so we'll just control the stalls to get around to get around that. We're gonna have to to make something like this work. Okay, cool. The hunting camp should definitely be moved over here. Um, we'll put it he like right here as a halfway point between the granary and everything. That would be beautiful. Alright, cool. I'm feeling pretty good about all this. I'm going to put a guy into the storehouse here. Nice. Yeah, this is great. This will be a far more efficient setup. And remember, they don't have to go to the market to get the benefits. They just they just literally get it. Why are you not setting up a market stall, my friend? Are you too good? You think you're too good to set up a market stall? Is that, the, is that what's going on here? Okay, so this is scary. Yeah, none of these guys are set up for market stalls. Okay. Interesting. This is kind of what I was talking about. Yeah, if you go over the limit, sometimes it won't allow others to come. And we can always just move any food stalls from down there. Okay, something weird's going on. <laughs> Already. Let's remake the market stall place here. There we go. Just need to make sure he places it in the right place. Ah, he's coming down here to construct the food stall, and then I'll just move it up. All right, cool. We're in good shape. We got plenty of food. We got berries. We got meat. We got chicken eggs. I probably actually shouldn't 
done chickens here. I should have done like uh, goats. Got uh, lots of people coming around. Those are trade trade carts, so we can get a trade storage up here in a moment. All right, so we're going to relocate this bad boy right next to the granary. Kaboom. Feeling good about that. All right. And we can write that down to one. We got three people. All right, let's make sure that industry is in full speed. Let's get another logger. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Very good. We got lots of wood. All right. I'm going to do something a little weird here. I'm going to do a straight line from the, the granaries. I don't think it will do anything. They're still, you can see they're still uh, piggybacking. I might need to do something like this. Get them to take it down. <laughs> they're still not taking it. Oh, there he goes. Yay, they're doing it. They're doing what I wanted them to do. Woo. All right. Very good. All right, now money. We need to make money. That's going to be the next thing that I do. Get our trade post up. Start trading pretty much anything. And uh, we'll, we'll leave it next to the storehouse. I do like to put them on the King's Road. I know you don't need to, but I've just noticed the the trade units are supposed to just like homing beacon to your trade post, and they do for the most part. But I've just noticed when you place it on the road, it just seems to be more fluid. All right, sweet. We're growing really well. We can't even keep up. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I moved it. All right. That. Let's put two dudes in here. All right. We got berries in that bad boy. I'm loving it. This is a pretty neat little city, actually, because it's so spread out. I like that. But I like the shield design. You can't, you, just, you can't argue with peak efficiency. It's just it's so easy for them to collect the eggs and everything, too. All right, let's get another ox. All right, two per. Ooh, we got a lot of... Uh, we got a lot going on there. All right, 44 food variety. We don't have quite enough. Nice, we have 100 eggs. We're starting to build up eggs. We're also starting to build up honey and the bread. Okay, cool. Now, I want to go to Emmer next. I am going to break my rules because I, uh, I need more. Okay. So, yeah, we don't want to triple the brewery. I can do with the goats. No, I mean, this won't increase production, but I don't want... Fa if I upgrade an artisan building, it locks those families in. All right, that should get me two points right there. I think we need five houses. Three for the next level, and then I think it's a few more. Okay. That will mess with my uh, approval just a tad bit, but... Uh, this will allow me to get the point I need into get rye cultivation... And that's going to be a game changer for us. Oh, oh man. Look how much clay I have. My god. Okay, we're going to start trading clay. <laughs> Rock clay. I'll need to get uh, unlimited clay too. Actually, no, let's not do that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing that on this or not. There's so much clay here that getting an infinite deep mine is potentially not even a, a thing. I can't stop getting clay. All right, well, 400 is a lot. It's going to take quite a bit for me to go through that, so let's just do it. All right, right cultivation. And what do I need for the next one? 10. Okay. All right, let's pause the game real quick. And you can see rye is 75% here. 79%. This is beautiful. These two will have to change after the fact. Rye is 50%, not entirely too grand. And rye is 70%. That's beautiful. Mm, it's a great day. Alright, let's take a peek and see if we can get any more. Alright. There's a few areas. There's a few spots. Wow. Yeah, we got we got it going on. There's a there's a yeah, there's a few spots, but hmm. I mean it would be to our advantage. Oh, here we go. Yeah. You see this bad boy here? Look at all this. I mean, we got the forester here, but... Um, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I can't say no to more rye. 
All right, we'll do this. What is that? One Morgan. One point four. How many of these can I get in here? I'm gonna probably overdo it, but oh no. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, and then we'll need a sixth. I think down here. I think I think all this right here is perfect. But really wonky farm, and I like it. It doesn't make any sense. It's uh, it's beautiful. All right. Well, we definitely are gonna have enough now. I will need to get another farm. But yeah, rye, rye is amazing. Hundred percent fertility. Um, you pretty much can get all bread is probably one of the easiest things in the game to make. Beautiful. All right, and we'll just get another farm, and we'll get it up. Uh, too steep to build, eh? Get it up right here. Perfect. Alright. Well, let me get... I should, probably should have gotten like a road down in the middle of all this, but that's okay. Let me get a road around it. There go. Alright. So, where's my woodcutter? <laughs> We're gonna have to move some stuff around. Okay. Woodcutter's Lodge. You gotta be moved down here. Forester's Hut. You gotta come down here. We're gonna... We're gonna move all this stuff. And let's get... Let's get some stuff going here. Okay, cool. This will be more than sufficient. Same here. Woodcutter's gotta move. Gotta get two woodcutters down here. Perfect. A beautiful thing. This should actually be pr a pretty good setup here. So we got lots of farmland. More than we're going to need, to be honest. Um, I'm going to put three people in the windmill. Alright, let us get another windmill. We want 90% efficiency. Oof. 29%. Here we go. 97. Not perfect, but it's better than... <laughs> Having it suck, and then... Alright, cool. Yeah, I was gonna put granaries here, but we're just gonna put communal ovens. Alright, let's get that bread production way up, man. Full speed ahead. That will help us out a lot with uh, maintaining high, high happy people. Because we have all the foods they want. Cool. We're doing it. We're getting it done. Wonderful. Alright, let's come check this place out. We got three uh, free families. We're gonna need more housing. And we're going to need money. I think I got the trade post going. But yeah, we need to get a bunch of money and a bunch of uh, chicken eggs. We're going to do chicken eggs here too. But yeah, you can already see this place is going to be dope. Boom. Beautiful. All right, well, we do need to upgrade this. I do need to get board production going. So let's come down here. Let's get some board production going. All right. Oh, yeah, there's a lot I actually need to do. I mean, we could start making tools. We could start doing tons of stuff. Almost forgot where I was for a second. There we go. All right. Board production. Let's get a guy in the trader. All right. So what I want to do is start selling anything I have excess of. Berries. Unfortunately, we're not there yet. Yeah, we really don't have a whole lot. Firewood is one of the easiest things to, to do. Let's do anything over 150. Now we'll get me a slow trickle of money. It's not going to be anything big. Nothing is really going to be big. Planks are one of the better ones to do for money in these situations because I have plenty of wood. All right. Let's get another logging camp up to store logs. Uh, when you're in this passive stage, it's good to make sure you have lots of log storage. Because you will get to a point where you want to expand very quickly and you don't have enough logs. So, good to do that. Wise to do so. Alright. Wow, dude. This is kind of a crazy little farming area I have. Alright, so we're going to need about five families in this bad boy. And we're going to limit work areas. Okay. I only want them here, and I only want these guys... 
focused here. I don't want them intermingling and getting weird and having parties and causing drama. All right, cool. Here we go. Beautiful. All right, we'll put uh, one there, put one here, put one in each of these ovens. I just have so many free people. I know it's, I know it's silly what I'm doing, but uh, I'm gonna do it. All right, cool. So we have plenty of room. We want at least 12 of these bad boys. Let's do four more there. That should get us into a good spot with honey. I think we have more than enough granaries. One cool thing about the patch, though, is it did really make... I, I do like the fact that I don't have 14,000 food. Uh, it actually does make everything a lot more easy to manage. You can see honey is building up. Eggs are only down three. Um, bread is coming up. And so the more bread, the more eggs, it means the less berries I'm eating. So as you produce more variety, it helps all of the stuff that you've been struggling to get to an equilibrium point where you can provide everybody with five resources. So like once I introduce sausage for trade here, I mean, we're going to have so much food. It's, it's just going to be thrown on the ground, but everyone's going to have like max stats. It's going to be amazing. All right, cool. And these are much better plots for plowing. So I think we'll, we'll be good here. All right, cool. So 77 out of 93. That was... we. Oh, wow. We were already at a point where we were creating a lot of bread. This is way overkill. But that's great. That's great, though. I love overkill. Overkill is my middle name. It's not. There we go. All right, cool. Beautiful. All right, so we got the three. Boom, boom. All right, we're just going to do uh, one in each for now. All right, we'll just do three. That should be more than enough berries. Perfection. All right, we're building it out. Uh, we're not getting that little trickle of money. Actually, maybe we should just go a little hardcore on berries. Uh, that's because we could trade a bunch of them. The trade post, though, is, is pretty far away. We will try other means. Very good, though. We are growing. I love that. We are a growing boy. Firewood, firewood. Okay, cool. Firewood and clothing are all situated here. That makes me feel good. I'm just going to let that do its thing for now. Uh, what's great is the design here is pretty much done. Uh, all we have to do now is get that booze coming in. And, you know, we got it going on. We're doing uh, the Lord's work here. Let's do a road back here. And then we'll do a road connecting these guys. I want to make better pathing for these guys so they're a little bit more efficient. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not terrible. We could start sell. I mean, realistically, if I if I wanted to get crazy, and I know I do, I, I could start selling. I could uh, double up my charcoal kilns here, which isn't a bad idea. What's cool is we're at max plottage, so my fuel fuel demands aren't going to go up unless I build corresponding injury. Uh, sorry, <laughs> injury industry, which you know utilizes more fuel sources, so we're we're in good shape. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. I'm feeling good about this. Feeling like we've uh we've done the Lord's work here today. Let's preemptively get up a few more storage. Just make sure we have it. Alright, we got the trickling of the booze coming in. I'm feeling pretty decent about that. So it does seem like the trickle system is still working, and that's kind of alarming. Oh, I didn't mean to do that for bows. You know, but maybe we should, because uh, we can start selling bows and all that stuff. Yeah, let's get a let's get a military economy going here. Oh man, we're gonna be having so much grain. It's gonna be nuts. All right. Well, we got a good thing going here. Let's get a road down here. I'm liking this. This is looking pretty pretty good. All right. And I think we want to get a better road because we're eventually going to start trading. There we go. Boom. And it kind of went across the... Yeah, it went under the water. I guess they'll have to swim. But that'll be a much little... Much straighter path right there. Wonderful. It is a bit of a jaunt, though, that's for sure. All right, 11. We almost got enough for another chicken. Now, eventually, I'll, I'll, I'll get some more stuff here. Okay. Um, storehouse is up. All right, let me get the saw pit going now. 
And let us also get a couple of hitching posts in this spot. Very good. Woodcutter's doing his job. Everybody seems to be in pretty darn good shape. We have a lot of berries now. Um, I mean, we could try to sell these berries. Let's export anything over 160. Yeah, any monies we can get here, the better. Uh, looks like... Dang, dude, they're not even keeping up. The three guys here aren't even keeping up with everything. All right, we're gonna... Yeah, you can see the, um, the pantries are full. So I am going to need to... Bust that up. Upgrade to a large granary. We need more people. I might even have to get a granary up that just doesn't do anything um, but get those resources. Cool, we got stone deposits there. It would be kind of nice if we could, you know, send resources across the line, but it doesn't let me do that. So much clay. We got a lot of iron slabs. Um, I think... I think we may have actually hit our uh, peaks. Cool. I think we have enough pole arms. So let's make iron parts up to 30. I'd love to make some crossbows. Right now we're making bows for sale. Let's come down to uh, the trade post. Yep, we're exporting ore bows. Uh, we've already exported a lot of them. Shields, let's start exporting any shields over 60. Let's buy that route. Yeah, let's make some money. Eventually I'll start importing armor, but... I've gotten so good at being able to cheese uh, the combat in this game, I don't even have to give my people proper equipment. You basically just, like, say, hey, here's a dude standing with a shield and a spear. Attack him. And then they do. And then you run some dudes with bow, bow and arrow, and they just poke him in the butt. And then they run away. It's like, you don't... It's not... It's not gonna blow... It's not gonna blow your mind. It's just, like... The game isn't too difficult. You gotta poke him a little bit in the butt. It usually gets anybody to run away. So I find I find that the things you learn in this game can be applied to the real world pretty much instantaneously. Go outside and try some of these things. Ah, crap. I did not mean to do th level three on that one. All right, cool. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do actually want to get these houses, uh, any of the farms, I want to get to level three first uh, if I can. This is the harder, harder one to do. But if we can get those families, we're going to get even bigger yields. I don't need it. But I want it. Nice. Okay, we got the honeys. There we go. Now remember what I said. Do not unlock wax production. Because it will it will produce either honey or wax. If you upgrade uh if you upgrade uh wax production, it just screws everything up. Alright, and I don't know what we're gonna do for the next stuff. Um foreign import reduction by five is pretty damn powerful. <laughs> Especially when you're doing the trickle system for ale. So you don't need to do another region. I mean, I've already won the game. You don't need to do this other region. We're just doing this because I want to show you guys how, how to effectively do it. But yeah, you definitely don't need to. Alright, we have a lot of money now. I definitely want to get another ox. Because we are just really desperate. We're desperate men. In need of more oxen. Okay, cool. We got uh, the granaries up. But here's the, the issue is you can see um, these these things are full. So we're in a we're in a situation here. What we're gonna need to do is get some stone. So I'll get him up here, get some stone coming in. Looks like we've almost we're like we got one more person who can come in here. Uh, we got lots of food. I'm not too concerned about food. Alright. All right, and it looks like we probably have a food stall down here that needs to be moved up. Yep. Yeah, this isn't actually that difficult um, to do. They may have patched it, so that's very encouraging. All right. Well, let's uh, let's spend some of this money on chickens. Can't say no to food. Yeah, food variety is king, even if it's just a little bit. <laughs> even just a little bit helps. Goes a long way. All right, we're in good shape, but yeah, we gotta get these uh, these berries out. That's the bottleneck right now. I don't want it. I wish that I could individually say how many markets I wanted. So like, what I'll have to do in a situation like this, because I don't have a whole lot of granaries, is build another granary. 
um, and tell it not to have market stalls. Cool. So we're, I mean, I would like to go apples to an extent, uh, but we're going to go into heavy plow and we're going to go into um, potentially bakeries. I want to, I don't want to have a whole lot of people here, but we'll see what we do. But yeah, plows for sure to reduce the amount of workers that we would need. I don't worry about worker efficiency in this design because I have 24 free families and I'm not exactly sure what to do with them. Um, so yeah, it's cool. All right, let's put another family in here. Just, I don't need to, but I love to overkill. We're going to have bread out the wazoo, which is a terrible place. Abs absolute terrible place to store that stuff, but that's what I do, I guess. All right. Nice. Yeah, we can start making crossbows now. I wouldn't mind a crossbow. Yeah, and I'm not too sure about uh, this this feature. I think we need to... Yeah, where you have two... Like I said, there's four carts and two people moving between families, so if you add any more, you don't get the benefit typically, but... What we may need to do is make a granary that doesn't do carts and is just there to help facilitate the movement of goods. But only two people can move stuff to a stall. So they're locked in. But the other guys can go out and move foods around. So that's advantageous. But you can see here, they're really slow to uh, move stuff. And that could be the issue as to why I don't have too many berries. But... I will remedy that. All right, cool. So we got this guy. We're definite. All right, so we're going to do this, and we're going to up it. I'm going to put two dudes in there, and hopefully they can move stuff around fast enough. You can see that uh, the money is flowing in. Berries are great to trade when you have a low pop. Um, I should definitely get some veggie benders up. Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay. do this this is gonna be a little weird isn't it that's the way we like it we like it uh, lopsided and I don't think it's corner to corner. It's not. This is a total angle. But sometimes if you if you have a proper angle, it will actually still work. A little, um, it's a little finicky that way. Oh, this is the worst. This is the worst I've ever done in my life. Let's try it the other way. Oh, wow. Not bad. That's pretty good, actually. That will be... We'll call that the Crooked Bender. The Unsavory Bender. Alright. Trick is that we want the house in the middle of everything. So. Well, shit. Now this one I don't think is going to go the way that I want it. But um, you can do... Oh, look at that. That's actually pretty decent. There we go. Crooked benders for all. Okay, cool. That right there making veggies I think actually will be sufficient. Uh, most likely I'm going to be trading apples. Or just straight up buying the barley. I might just have to straight up... Mm -hmm. There's a pro and a con to straight up buying. The pro of straight up buying is you get exactly what you need. The con is the trade system of this game sucks. And actually, like, you, you can get quite a bit of consistency using the packing stations because they are actually moving. It's not just like this this random thing where Bob decides he wants to do his job and go buy the, the barley. So I do actually like both. But I will say, um, if we're going to trade something for something, you want to make sure if you want efficiency that you're building what you're trading and where that thing is being stored is close to your storage as possible. So I actually want to build them right next to my granaries. So let's do one and one. Now, if I trade straight up apples for booze, it's probably not going to do too well. So I got to think about this. For some reason, it's saying I only have two months worth of fuel. Oh, shit. Because I moved those guys and I forgot to put stuff in. I was like, what? <laughs> 
I was like, what? I have two. I have two dudes doing that. Nope. You forgot. All right. And we want to make sure that we're replacing these trees ASAP. This is a big area, and it's a beautiful area for firewood. So let's do it. And the logging camp, I'm going to move over here. And the forester's hut, I'm going to limit the work area to here. Beautiful. We're doing the Lord's work. All right. Yeah, we're in good shape. Got a lot of stone left. All right. And up here, we are... Got to go over here. I got a stone cutter up not too long ago. All right, we got a hunting camp. And it's doing great. Yeah, it's doing great. I'm pretty sure I told them not to build markets. There we go. All right, I'm sure they put a food stall down here. Okay, food stall abandoned. Food stall abandoned, perfect. We'll abandon those food stalls. Let's uh, buy an ox, upgrade these bad boys. Got eight free families, cool. The next next name of the game is to uh, start doing the barley farming. And start trading it. We'll probably just do raw barley for a little bit. All right. We're making a little bit of coins, I love it. Okay, cool. They are moving the berries now, finally. Ah, oh, man, we're in good shape. We're making enough money to pay the king's tax. It's a beautiful thing. Royal tax increase. All right, we might need... Oh, nice. We have enough influence to take that other region. Should probably actually get that region going, too. I kind of like to focus on, on one region at a time, though. Because uh, if you screw up, everybody dies. And that's never cool. Never a good thing. But we're doing pretty decent here. Uh, we got six months food, five months fuel. But we gotta watch that. Fuel is such a pain in the ass. Alright, and those benders should be up. So the next thing that I need to do is get uh, veggies going here. Get these bad boys upgraded. This will be a great resource for all of us. And it's not it's not that bad of a walk for the granary. A little, a little crappy, but, um, you know, that's life. And we got the chi the chicken eggs are definitely helping keep consumption down. And then we got so much meat and such a low population that everything's in good shape. All right. And where did I put that stoner? There we go. Get the stone going so we can get a... Church. Alright, 90% up there. Wonderful. Man, these guys are killing it. And you can see that the drip system is working. I can upgrade pretty much all of these houses to tier 3, but I'm not going to yet. Really like to get more of these guys, but they're not getting we're not getting high enough food variety here. They're not able to get the eggs. Honeys, grid, apples are 82. Do we really have 82 plots? Yeah, I guess so. 86. Okay. Yeah, they're having a hard time keeping everything. Keeping everything up. This could be the pro and the con. At some point you have to decide is it worth optimization or not. Alright, we'll put four. One, two, three. We're gonna we're gonna go crazy here. Am I running out of stone? Let's uh let's get some more stone. Yeah, we are running out of stone. Okay, cool. I love being able to set limits on things though, like and board limits and all that stuff. It's great. Let's get these guys up. Furnace is going. Nice. Get another ox. I don't know if I actually really need that extra ox, but I want it. All right. Okay. So the name of the game now is Barley. Barley, Barley, Barley. Okay. And we're going to do one Morgan straight line plots. Now, I don't know if I should do it this way or not. Yeah. Okay. 
I go from here to here to here, it's almost one. I prefer... Yeah. It Here's the deal. If you go too big, it, what you want is for the ox to plow the land as quickly as possible, and then for your people to be seeding. So the shorter you make... They cannot seed until the ox has plowed everything. So the bigger it is, the longer that original wait time. So if you do them really small like this, there's just this massive quick synergy. So yeah, we'll do point nines. It's a pain in the ass because you have to, you know, set each of these up for rotations. But outside of that, it's really cool. And I'm gonna do some something smart here and put a freaking road. All right. So we got three barley there. I think that we'll do these in sets of threes. And let's get the barley up. That's point seven. I want basically I want point nine. Or one Morgan is fine too. But one Morgan straight lines like this seems to be pretty darn efficient. And it's just because of the way that the stupid ox move. It's uh pretty annoying. They they move in these really straight lines. Okay. There we go. And, well, I could do the road here, but it's not necessary because we have a road down the middle. I'm going to have to do these guys here. Okay. This may not work. I don't know if it's enough. We can do one there. Hmm. Okay. I do it here. That gives me 0. 0.9. Do it here. Gives me 0.9. And I like to have them all in one area so that they're moving side to side real quick. But what's going to happen is we're going to have to do this. Okay. Not perfect, but um, it is perfect. There we go. Cool. All right. This should be a considerable amount of barley. And I wish they would allow me to do four seasons so that I could alternate every, every other. Um, otherwise, I'd have to do that by hands. Unfortunately, I can't. So I just do one every three years. I hate micromanaging things. Um, I find it just makes a game a job instead of a fun experience. I try to do all of my setups to be as efficient with as little micromanagement as possible. You'll notice that in a lot of the things that I do. Because like at the end of the day, like you you could definitely get w pretty crazy peak efficiencies, but oh my god, who wants to do that all the time? All right, cool. Another thing too is the donkeys over here. I don't have to have donkeys over here uh, to trade. They will come over, get the goods, and exchange the goods. So we're gonna trade apples for this, and this is gonna be amazing. We're gonna have so much barley coming in. On these plots. You get such terrible barley over here. Alright, we got nine. I think we're actually pretty good. Yeah, I think we're pretty good here. I don't know if we need any more families. Uh, I basically just wanted them for barley. So, you know, the basic productions are all up. Uh, we're doing great. Farmhouse is up. Get a plowing. Great. At nine families. So with an ox, we need about three three families to do three Morgans. So, yeah. Maybe two. But we're going to do three because we can. But that's what the power of the ox is. You can really reduce the amount of families you need. But you have to you have to spend that point. Uh, we might go into bake, uh, bakeries and bread production. Wouldn't be too bad of an idea to get these guys up to tier three. It'll be really easy because we're not... Um, the bigger your city is, the more inefficient it is. <laughs> to be honest, it's really easy to get a small plot like this up to tier 3. Because you don't have to make as much... A lot of the food is just naturally occurring. You know what I mean? Alright, cool. Alright, sure. We'll get the church up right there. Beautiful. We don't need any more stone for the time being. Alright, and we should start trading off those herbs. Yeah. 
Oh shit. I didn't realize he had a stall. Okay. Export all our herbs or money. Wonderful. All right, we are trading vegetables, right? We are selling vegetables, but I don't know. Nice, we're selling bows. Man, we're we're doing great. We're selling stone. <laughs> we got it going on, man. Got shields going. Yeah, so far they haven't uh, punished me too much. Before I get more families in, though, I want to make sure we get the farms. So farms are going to be prioritized. And we're going to get there soon. Uh, I think bread production, 129 bread. Eggs is where we're hurting. We're not producing enough eggs. Even though I have so many eggs, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, honey is coming up now. So honey is at equilibrium. The only thing that's not at equilibrium right now is eggs. Uh, I can buy them. Not a bad idea. Because if we can get to an equilibrium point, point in eggs then we don't have to worry too much. So let's do that. This is like a really good way to stimulate equilibriums. So we have like... We need like a hundred of these bad boys. I am going to actually buy a, a thing. We can start selling bread and stuff too, which is great. Alright. Here we are getting the malt coming in. Firewood, anything over 300. Let's buy a route for that. Alright. Negative four charcoal. Not bad, right? <laughs> right. Um. I wouldn't mind some mail armor. It's really expensive, but let's do it. All right, cool. Yeah, not everybody likes me. <laughs> not everyone's having a good time. All right, well, let's start buying donkeys. Cool. I mean, we're getting there. Clothing, uh, it's just, you know, we've have so many families. It takes, you only get two leather per goat shed uh, per year. I mean, we could try to trade leather from over here. That wouldn't be a bad idea. All right. Let's do four. I know I said three, but let's just do four. Get that barley going. Get one dude in the log. Already got one dude in the log. Never mind. Let's see. Yeah, everybody's doing their job. This is a great day. We got our little shanty village over here. Feeling pretty good about this. We got six spare people. Got the church up. 100% happiness. Um, we got money. So let's get the uh, veggies going. Upgrade that house. And yeah, we'll need ale production at some point in the future. I'm going to start upgrading houses, honestly, for passive money. This will be huge. This will allow me to get a bunch of eggs. You know, we're just going to spam eggs here, and that will be another food source for this place. On top of the berries and everything. And then the apples will be trading. Yeah, we'll be able to go tier 3 here, no, no problem. I should probably make a little bit of booze here. So, uh, we will get the tavern up. Let's put the tavern right next to the granary. Beautiful. All right. Yeah, we're a little bit away from the granaries here, but I'm okay with that. They'll they'll make it work. We got that's why we have the haulers here. Let's put three people in there. I wish we could build improved roads though. But yeah, once the veggies start coming in, we're gonna be in good shape. And then we'll also want to get the manor up over here. I think we can do that right now. Alright. We'll have to do that later. But we'll get the manor up. Alright. Um, stone cutter is full. Perfect. Would I would destroy him, but I don't want to have to have them cart all that crap back. Alright, man. We're we're in it to win it. And we're importing eggs. Nice. Nice. This is great. We're going to be at 100% food in no time now. Okay. We just need to uh, get these granaries going. 
choose. I mean, it does seem to be working to an extent. And it also doesn't seem to be working. Uh, it will work. We just gotta believe. We gotta believe in miracles and magic and all that weird stuff. Two more right there. Bunch of new packing stations. Beautiful. Yeah, the ovens are pumping bread out. But yeah, there are not enough guys. What we need is a grant. Yeah, I need a granary where they're just chilling. Like they're not uh, in charge of anything important. And that, these will be our chillers. They don't do market stalls or anything. No oh, dang. All right, cool. So uh, we have another point. Cost for seven trade routes halved is cool. Foreign supplies has always been a really neat one, but we don't need it. Uh, yeah, deep mining would make sense, but I don't foresee ever going through the amount of clay that we have. Everything else is not of importance. Drought protection is really irregular, and it's not that big of a deal, especially because we're overproducing bread. Uh, fertilization I haven't found to be that big of a deal yet. I hope at some point they revamp all that heavy plow. Uh, that would be kind of nice, but um, our farming isn't built for it. Yep, this makes the most sense. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're going to go into better deals. We're going to go into a rock and economy. Just need um, five more tier threes. Beautiful. All right, let's upgrade all of these hitching posts. Okay. This is pretty sweet. We got a great setup. All right, now we can switch um, these dudes out for rye. From 53% to 67. Not bad. 85, 115. <laughs> We're, I'm producing so much more than I need. Rye is amazing. It's is like so amazing because you can just grow an absurd amount of bread. We're going to probably start trading bread at, the, at this rate. Alright, 163 eggs. Cool. So, um, now we can, now that we've established egg supremacy... We can stop. We'll just stop. Or if I want to get technical, and I and I know I do, we can just say at a hundred, and that's a good spot. Yeah, we can still we can buy eggs. That's not a bad idea. Um, apples. Let's export anything over five fifty. Five fifty seems to be a good threshold for this city. There we are. Cool. Uh, eventually, I'll have to turn that off, though, because we will be trading. But I'm going to let them get settled. All right, so what we also want to start doing here is getting um, malt production. And we potentially want to have a substantial malt production. Let's get two of these bad boys up. I know they're a bit away from all the action over here. Um... Yeah, we need to get a tier two. All right, you're gonna be booze. It's decided. And you are going to make shoes. Beautiful thing. All right, feeling good about that. So let's come down over to the areas here. Wow, we're running out of wood. I think it's because I moved that guy and I didn't turn him back on. No, oh, he's got two in him. Do two there. Let's empty that out. Let that grow. All right. Everybody's doing a good job down here. Beautiful. All right. I think we have enough stone now. See, 191. Yep. My gosh, that's a lot of stables. All right. Well, we didn't upgrade these bad boys, did we? Darn. All right. Well, this is going to have to be my my dude. And he's really close to stuff, so we're going to put six guys in there, and they're just going to help 
cart stuff around. Or I guess we could say don't do market stalls and have them use the carts. Cool. Yeah, let's do that instead. All right. I'm feeling better about that, actually. Right. We've got two, two little helpers, and that should help out quite a bit. Right, and barley is going to start growing here in a bit. We've got to let them kind of catch up. Uh, we need to start buying an enormous amount of ox, too. So Let me get some more hitching posts around this area. That could, that could actually hurt us. Yeah, because I don't see the ox out there. They're getting it done. There's really no reason not to go a little overboard. Especially when the sole purpose of this place is to get me stuff. Alright, I think this will be more than enough vegetables for everybody here. Nice. All right, so we got two. Well, that's a that's a no-brainer. There we go, fence skinning. And did we get the the manor up? Yes, we did. Cool. So now we're gonna go. Yeah, we're not gonna do the policy because it will reduce our crops. So let's let's hold off on that. But we did want to get the manor up. That will help us get another retinue. Beautiful. Where are the raiders? I hate where it does... Yeah, they're right there. I hate that. That's what you have to be really careful about. When you build cities like this, is that... Um, I mean, they're going to spawn literally right here. I need the retinue to, to help with this. So they're gonna they're gonna go right to burning. <laughs> There's not much I can do. Oh, not my church! Not my church! My religion! These guys are jerks. Okay, cool. It looks like I was able to take their aggro. All right, we'll just leave everybody the way they are. Very good. Hopefully they're not burning shit down, though. <laughs> All right. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Friendly fire. Must have hit one of my own dudes or something. All right. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of dead people. We're going to have to get that. We're going to put one dude in the church. Bury the dead. I love halberds, man. They're just so freaking OP. They rip these guys apart. Especially because there's 36 versus 18. Yeah. There we go. Let's get this done. Alright. Well, that was annoying. But yeah, I definitely have to get the next retinue. Perfect. Perfect. 136, eh? Wow. <laughs> Alright. Looks like I need I just need to max this this puppy out. They're a little far over here. This is more bread than I, I think I know what to do with, so that's kind of uh, scary to me, but we'll be okay. And then the, the lumber is going really quick right now. Get another logger in there. Get two foresters in there. And yeah, we're going through it real fast. Luckily down here, though, I don't think we're in any danger of running out of firewood. Even though we were at four months. Oof. Yeah, they got lots of wood, though. And the charcoal should uh, should be flowing right now. Eek. Most of it's going to the housing, I think. Nice, we're almost at max uh, food. Alright. Well, we're doing great. Outside of all that. But uh, we need to get the, the booze production going. All right. Some eggs. 
gonna get one animal pin. We we got some got some cash. Yeah, if we get the eggs flowing in this joint, it's gonna be grand. Not bad. Not bad at all. I only have one free family. I might need to build a couple more houses. I didn't really want to, but uh, starting to see that uh, it might be necessary. All right, let's pull some houses in the background here. Perfect. These are all double burgage plots, though. I don't necessarily want that. There we go. I like that more. I just need like three more families. Alright, man. We're doing it. These are, things are being done. Let's come back down here. Check out those granary stalls. Not bad. Yeah, they're, they're these guys are really pulling in the resources now. That's great. We needed... Yeah, we just needed some people just not doing markets, but... Still using those carts to move things. I think we're in good shape now. Dang, are we going through wood. <laughs> we're going through wood at an alarming rate. Well, who knows? They're they're trying to take some monies. Alright, well let's get uh let's get the important things out of the way. I really wish there was an upgrade all button uh for upgrading your your retinue. But yeah, getting these guys in heavy armor is going to make them pretty darn hard to beat. I am buying all my men male armor right now, though. Um, so that will be great. But you do need tier 3 housing for that. But I do need to start upgrading to tier 3. Man, we have a lot of money. Alright, cool. Yeah, we got a big old band of, of badasses now. It'll be cool when we can do uh, this, too. It's going to be really interesting to see how this game develops, for sure. There's a lot of stuff that's that's still not in. All right, cool. We have a full army. You can't go over it. Perfect. Oh, shit. They did, they did actually burn some stuff down. I think we're good now. Let's pull one dude off the granary here to help build up those housings. Nice. And let's, uh, let's get more herbs. Free money, man. Perfect. All right, cool. We got a lot of cash. I love it. Uh, we definitely need more ox. All right. Yeah, that's awesome. A lot of barley. All right, so it is now time to get the meat region up, which means we will have to go to war. We'll have to go to war to take this meat and these salt deposits. So that will be a fantastic way to show off our new and improved awesome army. And this should be a relatively easy battle for us to win. It's always good to attack them before they attack you, in my opinion. Now, there are no mercenaries available. We don't even need them. Uh, we are a little low on the dough, but I did have to uh, take taxes off a second ago. So, yeah, if I boot it up to... Ooh, yeah, we're at 89%. Let's do a 10% tax. Try to keep up with the, the hubbub. And over here, we can now increase our taxes, too, because we finally got the manor up. Or I think we did. But, uh, yeah, it's a little hard to see. It's freaking <laughs> a lot of clouds. All right. It's the snowstorm. You got all those snowstorms. Let's see where we got going on here. Trading post over there. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't show you everything. There we go. Okay. And yeah, we got a burger plot that needs to be updated. There we are. Large granary. All right, we're in business. We got all of our basics. I think it's still being built because I don't have the retinue yet. But yeah, once it's up, we'll be in good shape. A little scared about the wood wood situation here, though. Need to slap that up to another gentleman. Oof. Yeah, we're gonna have to get a forester up in this place. ASAP. Let's get the forester going. 
Still got plenty of room for most of our industry. We just want to make sure that we don't have any food stalls down here. Cool. Just the abandoned ones. Oh, neato. They still had food in them. I do like that I can individually just delete this crap, though. There we go. I should get it all into the right places. I want them putting up all that stuff over here. Beautiful. Alright, let's get this going. Alright, well, we'll get the manor up there at some point. Alright, let's go get our men into situations. There we are. Perfection. Farmhouse is doing its bit. Nice, that is a lot. We're going to start trading uh, for straight... Yeah, we're going to start trading for straight barley. We have our own malt house. Everything is dandy. Let me see. So I believe we got one or two donkeys. A family is hungry. Uh, yeah, if any family is hungry, it's because they suck. All right. Um, I do actually not want ovens to have market stalls. Let's remedy that situation right now. Beautiful. All right, pack station. Let's get another donkey. Slap two donkeys in there. Perfection. All right, so we're going to barter with Goldaf. <laughs> I guess that's the name of this place. We're going to be sending our overabundance of apples and veggies in exchange for barley. All right, let's do apples first. And we want the barley. Everything is kind of out of order. Malt would probably be a good one. But look at the... Well, let's just look. So, 0.8. Alright. So, that's not bad. But if we do straight barley, hopefully it's a similar thing. 1.5. Eek. So, we get... Um, I don't... Okay. The value is 2x. You get 2 firewood for every iron. Okay. For instance, if you exchange iron uh, for firewood... You get two firewood. Okay, cool. Right on. Yeah, so we're getting 1.5 barley per apple. That's pretty good. We got our road connections. We got our people doing their thing. Everything should be great. All right. We got it going on. Now you get one family and two individuals can each have a donkey uh, per per thing. So that's the, the setup there. We're doing the Lord's work. Perfect. All right, now it's time to take this region. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to claim with influence and start a war. All right, now we want to make sure that we are... Oh, nice. Very good. Hopefully they don't come from, like, right above us, though. That's... Oh, shoot. They're coming from right, right around us. All right. Well, we've got, potentially, one of the best militaries there is. Depending on your point of view. Alright, we're going to do my favorite flying V formation. Got to go with the old mighty ducks. Okay. Put the archers in their positions. Archers in the mid. And this guy, I don't know which direction they're going to be going. Most likely they're going to try to flank me on the right. So I will use him to quickly get rid of the raiders. Alright. Beautiful. Put him in the tip. Put the archers here. Put the archers here. Here. Let them run interference. We got 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, they're going to try to do some weird stuff. I know it. Okay. Let's speed this bad boy up. Here we are. Alright, yeah. They're going for the right flank. I'm going to let them kind of come in. I, uh, I want to see what my guys can do. This is great. They should all kind of do their thing. Now we want to go into stand your ground for the initial charge. That will help reduce the damage that their charge does. But then we want to switch out of it. Alright, so they're going to hit me there. They got archers. Now, unfortunately, archers are kind of a pain in the ass. Because uh, I don't have... Well, hold on. Let's see. Do my guys have armor? I have been buying mail. But I don't think everybody has mail. Yeah, so I have very, very weak units. Not entirely the best, but... There will be some casualties. But at the end of all this, there will be a lot of dead dead uh, soldiers. 
All right, there we go. No oh, shit. All the Ollie Oxen Free did not work the way I thought it would. Okay, they they went a whole different direction. That's that's pretty awesome. Oh my god, they went a whole different direction. Okay, well we have to rotate. I am gonna actually attack the archers with this unit. And we're gonna do this. Holy shit, get the fuck out of there. <laughs> yeah. That would have been a slaughter. That would have been an absolute slaughter. Alright, cool. This will work. All will be good again. Oh god, this is not going the way I thought it was. Alright, well, we're gonna have to uh, change it up a bit. There we go. <laughs> that was kind of funny. They're all running around all weird like that. Alright, cool. Now we uh, move out. And we can put the archers here to get side shots. We're gonna put the archers here to get side shots. I'm gonna come from behind with these gentlemen into the back area here. I'm gonna come from the side with these gentlemen here. Spear will just continue to chase. Oh yes, it is a glorious day for all. All right, let's do this. Okay, cool. This is gonna be brutal. And we're gonna back the archers up so they have a little bit better of a shot. All right, cool, broke them there. Let's get these last dudes there. All right, we did it. And uh, eventually those guys are going to meet up over there. I'm going to get my archers out over here. Uh, ready to pounce on enemy archers. And let's just... Let's end this. This uh, really, really easy battle. Okay, cool. Now we have our meat territory. A little, little bit of a casualty there, but not too bad. So we have perfect meat. We have perfect salt. We'll be doing absolutely no farming. We got the berries right next to um, animals. This is a beautiful place, actually. We can put our whole little city right here. And it's going to be pretty connected to everything. All right. Let's get everything in place. All right. So this place is doing everything it needs to be doing. We just need booze. All right. So we are trading. Get this granary upgraded. Ooh, we got some more granaries to upgrade. Yeah, we need more wood. Uh, but we are trading now for barley. So let me take a gander and see if that's doing what it's supposed to be doing. We got the people. He's uh, waiting. Why aren't they doing what I want them to Oh, because they're freaking in the military. Yeah. All right. All right, cool. We got our second uh, group of guys over here, so that's great. Beautiful. And all my money. I don't care if I don't pay my taxes. Screw taxes. I always say, <laughs> as an accountant, <laughs> fuck your taxes. <laughs> yeah, I would uh, be out of a job real quick if I had that attitude, I guess. All right. Okay, cool. So we need clay tiles up here. That will probably be the next thing that I tried to do. We do have enough clay over here. So we're just going to, you know, make our own clay, so to speak. There we go. We'll get that up, and then we'll get the uh, clay tiles down over here. Dang. It's a bit of a jaunt, but that's alright. We're, uh, we're gonna be able to do it just fine. There we are. Malt house is getting up. Yeah, we do need a few more houses. We got uh, quite a bit of industry going. So I got these bad boys. And these bad boys are gonna go for the chickens. Alright. That should really help us out right there. That's a beautiful thing. Alrighty. And let's get another house or two up. I do kind of feel like I'm not where we want to be. Oof. Yeah, we're, we're going to try to do it like this. It's really weird how it can build into the house like that. I don't like that. This is our manor, though. Open the castle planner. Let's commit. Let's get that tower up so we can get a full retinue. All right. All right, cool. So everything over here should be pretty darn good. Got the basics going. Get ourselves a little horsey. Got ourselves a clay furnace right there. Got ourselves the malt house right here. Got ourselves another malt house right there. Eventually I'll have to start trading malt, even though I'm not exactly sure I want to, but that'll be fine. Beautiful. All right, I think everything's working in a really good order. Uh, we have a good amount of food. 
Once the apples start coming in, things are really going to pick up for us. We'll get the church upgraded here shortly. Uh, we have zero families, of course, building anything. So I will need to... Oof, we, we need actually quite a bit of people. I do have some, some big plans. Alright, so I don't want to really mess with that too much. Alright, let me think. Let's, um, let's pull a couple off the farm. Upgrade that. Let's speed this up. I'm going to focus on this before we go into building up the meat place, just because I do find it's important to, you know, not juggle too many things. And it's not like I'm in a race or anything. I'm at a point where I can kill the Lord, so I don't have to, like, uh, you know, be too panicky about anything else. But we're going to be getting up there. But we need a little bit more houses. I'm, I'm thinking we should probably do another bender. Another bender would probably be a really good idea. And now that the stone cutter is indeed out of the picture, we're going to be doing some, I don't know, circus benders, as I call them. <laughs> Making up names. We're just, uh, we're going to just, you know, freestyle it. It's the same concept. But this will get me two more families. And a little bit more veggies. You can't say no to food. Food is a good thing. Uh, this actually would be perfect for apples. But these aren't really, like, bender benders. These are a whole new thing. Alright. Alright, well we have to wait for them to move all that crap, but getting at least this guy up here will make me a little bit happier. We have zero families still. Okay. If I were smart, I would do something to help this situation. Alright, let's pull the dude out of the church. We don't need Jesus right now. We need houses. Cool. That will do it. Perfect. All right. Now, let's go see how our, our dude over here is doing. Let's get another donkey coming in. All right. Cool. People waiting. What are you waiting for, Thomas? All right. Now, hopefully, he's transporting eggs. What is he? Granary worker? Yes. Granary worker transporting eggs. You can see all my granary workers have carts. So the system is working in that regard. Does seem a little, little harsh though. So, um, yeah, they're doing a great job. <laughs> they're actually doing a really good job. Bump that up. We don't want carts. On, we don't want uh, market stalls on them. We just want them moving goods. We have way more than enough food stalls, in my opinion. Yeah, we got like eight. Um, but actually, we are getting up there. Maybe we could use a couple more stalls. Boot it up too. All right. And as we upgrade, we're going to get a lot of population here. All right, let's pause real quick. Again, I want to... Oof, I'm out of wood. Oh, something. Logging camp. All right, you go crazy there, logging camp. These guys... Do I have... They must be doing something weird. There we are. Okay, let's get some logs. This really shouldn't be as big of an issue as it is. Uh, logging camp there, logging camp down here. There we go. Yeah, let's use the logging camp down here. Let's put two people in there. I mean, we're going through logs so quickly. The stone cutter's still there. Farmhouse is doing its thing. Everybody's doing great. Way too much food. Eggs is down to 19 again. I'm going to need a, uh, another food in order to hit an equilibrium, I think, on eggs. So we'll use the sausages. Used to be before I could get away with the majority of what I'm doing here. Um, but the new patch seems to be, I don't know, it doesn't like eggs as much as it used to. It must be spoiling, but that's all right. All right, I'm going to get these guys up first. All right, we're getting close, but dang, do we got a lot of grain coming in. So that's great. I mean, bread's going to really help us out here. Who knows, maybe I'll start trading bread to, uh, this. maybe I'll trade bread for sausage. It's not actually a bad idea. I'm going to be producing quite more than I need. Alright, so we got a lot of animals. I mean, we got a maid up here. This is going to be great. And up here, we got lots of food. The veggies are starting to come in. Nice. Get up for veggies. Nice. This is going to be great. Quite a bit of food. So the best way to know if we're trading is to see if we have apples, and we do not have apples yet. So, I am a little confused. I'm thinking what's going on is that these don't have road access, and so it's doing something weird. Um, sometimes, 
the game is weird. And you can fix it by doing weird stuff. Like that. I mean, it says that they have access. Connected roads. Connected to the road network. Okay. Barter value. Beautiful. Let's just take a peek. Transporting. Fine. Oh, not the kind of transporting I was thinking of. <laughs> okay, transporting water. All right. You guys kind of suck. I'm going to hire a new family. All right. I need a little bit more mule, but that's all right. Get these bad boys up. Wonderful. All right, I think we're in good shape. We'll, just, we'll let this stuff uh, kind of do its thing. I'm going to focus over here on, the, on these guys. We're doing great over here now. All right, exposed generic. Yes, yes, they are exposed. Beautiful. Let's make sure that there are no food stalls over here. There are not. All right, let's get another mule over in this joint. All right. Well, the saw pit's good. I did not set a plank production. Okay. Yeah. 110 planks is more than enough. I'm going to slap another dude in the storehouse. Cannery seems to be fine. Forester's hut. Let's uh, make sure that this is getting a good area. We have more houses for people to move into. That's great. I'm just going to let nature take its course now. We have everything that we need. Wonderful. Get some more chickens. Gotta love chickens, man. They're just so powerful when you mob them like that. Beautiful. Alright. So we got one, one, one. We got two, two. Cool. We got one extra person. I'm going to leave him doing his thing because I, I do think that there are buildings and all types of jazz that needs to be remedied. Alright. Let's make sure we got one dude in the mining pit, actually. Okay, cool. So let me start making clay tiles. Get that church upgraded. That will help us out there. Uh, we do have the manor now, so I can start taxing these people. We're just going to start with a really easy... F oh, 54%. No. 5% <laughs> tax. Just a little bit. To get our uh, whistle wet, so to speak. All right. It may actually be that we don't have barley. Um... That could actually be why it's not trading, because I did get those mall houses up. Ah, that's probably it. Let's just start sh trading for straight mall. I think that will fix it. That could be it the whole time. It's a little, little less, but that's okay. All right, let's do that. Now let's come over here. Because, yeah. We got all this barley over there, and it's going to go straight into these malt houses. Eventually, yeah, I, I think what's happening is we just didn't have enough barley, but holy cow, we're going to have so much barley. Eventually, I can speed, you know, spice that up a bit. Max pop here with three free families. It's actually not too many, but uh, it's also not that bad. Nice. Love it when we get these farms to tier three, because they just produce way more food when that many families are going at it. Beautiful. All right. We're going to need quite a bit of wood. Let's see what's going on over here. All right. Yeah, these guys are starting to clear this area now. Hunting camps down here. Doing an okay job, but yeah, never never too grand. We might have to start using the trade post to get the, the things that we need. Let's make sure that this, this area is set up uh, appropriately. Um... Maybe I shouldn't have deleted that granary I had down here a while back. Because what we can do is make a, a barley-only granary. I probably actually should put it um, on the other side. Yeah, there we go. I might want to use this for farming. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, we're in, we're in business now. We got it going on. All right.
Uh, we have lots of room. I mean, shoot, we got 242 leather. What if I should start shipping that out uh, for trade? That's actually a really good idea. Because that's a lot of money. Alright, yeah, anything over 100 we should just trade. We're going to be producing so much of it here. With all the... I mean, we get... Because we have this perk here, double meat. And we have trapping. Uh, we got, like, so much meat coming in here, too. Yeah, not as much as I thought. Okay, never mind. Alright. But, yeah, I feel better about that. I think this will do well for us. So, we'll trade off all that leather. Beautiful. That's quite a bit of money. Uh, we should definitely get another person in here, though. And we should definitely assign livestock. Maybe get another horsey here soon. But other than that, it's doing great. We've got three more families that can move in. I think that will be sufficient for what we're trying to do here. I don't have a tavern yet. Do I have a brewer? I may have a brewer, but we'll hold off on that. I don't know if I'm going to make that a nice place yet, because, quite honestly, I really just want them to import what I want. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. All right. So, food variety is at 100%, so it does work. It does work to have just two per granary. Clothing is low because we're not producing... We're growing so fast and our leather production is low. But once we have enough leather for everybody that's here, we won't need to cr uh, produce any more of it. This is actually relatively straightforward. Like, I could just purchase it. You know what I mean? But uh, I don't think I want to do that. So let me go to trade here. And let's take a peek at what we're trying to do. So we're importing mail. And that's working. We're exporting bows. That's working to a degree. We're exporting uh, shields. Not bad. Alright. Yeah, we don't have too much of, of those things. Uh, herbs. Malt is being imported. Ooh, there's a fire right there. Yeah, clay is uh, just doing its thing. Firewood, we're still selling at one a pop. I mean, those things all add up. We definitely don't want to do leather quite yet. And none of, that, none of this is stuff I want to sell. That's why um, like clothing and stuff is a really good trade commodity if you get it up right. But yeah, we're, we're not in a position to do a lot of that stuff. Alright, we're exporting boards. Uh, we're exporting stone, which maybe I should not have done. Exporting roof tiles. That's still bringing in money. Man, yeah. We don't have that rocking of economy. I used to be pretty... Uh, this build used to be really all about like selling excess uh, food production. But, yeah. They're not really doing a good job of you know, selling this stuff. We have 1,400 apples, for instance. So, yeah, let's get a trader out for that going. Once we get the money. But our money's going all over the place right now. Just need one little passive month and we'll be okay. Or one uh, one person to sell stuff. I think trade needs to be revamped tremendously. It's it's really like, all over the place. And we're keeping our eggs up through imports. Very good. Alright. I hate that I have to close out and go back in. Let's pause the game real quick so that I don't lose that money. My bad. Yeah, we want to buy a route. We're going to be producing way too many apples. All right. Well, that should get me to a place where I'm not hurting so much. Um, if we want to get to the next level, we need three more tier threes. And I do want it because that will decrease our purchasing prices by five. And that will actually be a huge deal. So we're just we're going to break the rules here. And we're going to start upgrading everything we can. Perfect. Alright. We're in good shape. Alright. It says they're finally transporting. You'll know they're transporting. Okay, yeah. She's going with a pack, which means she doesn't have a donkey. But this person should have a donkey. Yep. So he is... He is doing his job. Alright. Goodoff should be renamed to what it is, which is Booze Town. The so Booze Town... Uh, be easier to identify. Cool. So you can see he's taken a really long route. He's going this way, and then he's going that way. Okay. Yeah, Booze Town is great. 
Um, and this is where all the booze should should be. All right. So he, I think he's coming back with my booze. All right. So he's taking this road. Wow. So he's connecting, going down. Oof. Yeah. I, I think there could be something to say about building your towns on the corners um, to make them faster. But you can always just get another mule. But yeah, some food for thought. Definitely probably would increase some of the transfer times there. My god, we have so much material here, it's not even funny. That's why that's the problem is that small towns are way more economic because they're not cons like they're producing all of those goods and not consuming them. It's a pretty powerful thing. All right. Um I think we already had a cobbler, but I'm going to get another one up. And we have fuel for 2 months, which is terrifying. Hmm. Yeah, we got the forester. There we are. Cool. Um, gonna have to get a third dude in here. We're cutting through the trees real fast. We gotta be really careful because... Okay. Yeah, we could really screw ourselves here. Um, I'm actually in a really bad place with this right now. We do not want to go any further out than we are right here. This is about as far as I want to get close to those animals. There are some places over here we could do. They're so far away. Probably should have looked at this before. Uh, I'm trying to think of industries, but yeah. This is kind of why I like going cult. Uh, but we're going to get a, a gentleman out here. Start getting this area. It should do, do it. Alright. Yeah, we're going through the field fast too with malt houses, so. Not grand. All right, tier level three should be pretty important. We'll have to get booze for that reason. Get another horsey. All right, granary. Um, we're gonna slap a dude in here. And we're gonna make this an ale storage and eventually I'll get the meat going. All right. Where are we at here? Yeah, the fuel here is doing pretty bad too. Interesting. It's almost like a, a weird little glitch. Okay. Forester. Woodcutter. Woodcutter. Alright, we got... Got these gents doing this. Alright, so I'm gonna have to, uh... Turn off firewood trade. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's like, the bigger you get, it's like the less incomes you have. It's It really does suck. Um, we need so much firewood. Two months, like 300 is only two months worth of firewood. So I can't sell any more there. That should uh, actually do a pretty decent job. And then down here. Pause real quick. Let's see. Am I selling firewood here? Oh boy. Yeah, we are. So we're not going to do that anymore. We will export leather, though, because that's a really good trade. Awesome. All right, good enough is going to go into better deals. Reduce foreign imports by five. That's amazing. Because those eggs are costing us 12. I mean, that's really going to make a dent. It's really going to help us out here. Beautiful thing. Okay. Let's take a peek now. Yeah. And especially with, like, our military imports. Mail armor is now 13 instead of 18. Really awesome. Malts come down. Um, now we can say that we only want four. We could definitely buy it from ourselves. Once we get once we get enough malt that I want to do that, I will. Right now, I I, I feel like we're still <laughs> we're still kind of building things up. All right, they got the barley in there. They got the malt going. Finally, twenty five malt. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Do they not have the stone? We have 50 stone, man. Get that get that stuff going. <laughs> we don't have enough money uh, to build the other town. Okay. So I'm going to have to do something silly. Uh, we're going to have to really up the tax game. 20%. There we go. It's going to hurt. But 
we've almost maxed out our pop here. We're almost at our 400. And everyone's doing pretty darn good. And, yeah, we got... Ooh, 443 honey. Bread? Uh, bread is oddly not doing too well. And that don't make any sense to me. Um, we have so much. It's the fuel, isn't it? Okay, let me think. I'm trying to think here. We got a lot of people moving around. Two more people into a storehouse to help with that movement. Alright, yeah, there really shouldn't be any issues here. Uh, the bloomer I can get rid of. We're not making any more. Very good. Yeah, we got stuff over there. Good. And not the greatest placements, but uh, let's put two dudes in there. Because we can come over here and we can see that we had no rye or wheat, so I don't need that. Um, and we don't have... Interesting. And yeah, we got the bread. We got 207 grain, 6 grain. Okay, there we go. We just got a big old thing of it in. For some reason, they're doing kind of a bad job. That's alright. Yeah, we should be busting out with the uh, bread. Sometimes you just have to let everything kind of catch up, though. Alright. Come over here. Got 66 small. Nice. Alright, cool. So, we have 151 apples now. That's the problem, is that I can't... I'm going to have to increase my population <laughs> to consume the apples. But then I can't... Then they tax me more per... They tax, like, per family, and the taxes actually get pretty darn high. So, you have to offset it with passive income or trade. So, like, you have to ha you have to be trading something. Uh, leather makes sense here because of the rich deposit. Uh, so does, potentially, even other things. But, the issue is that they don't always buy that crap. So, alright. Well, let's see. Let's see if I can build this. I thought I had to have money up here. Well, let me see. Not enough goods. Yeah, I need 250. So I gotta get my monies up. 218, not bad, but not grand. Alright. We're doing decent enough here, though. Alright, well, let's get that passive income up here. So I can get some more taxes. It's like I'm getting taxes off of, you know, my regional wealth, too. Not bad. Yeah, it's actually important to kind of let's let's take a peek here, because land tax is collected from regional wealth, right? And this is regional wealth. So if I want to get higher taxes, I need to get higher regional wealth, basically. Good enough. It's got six ninety two. Booze Town has quite a bit. They're actually doing better. We're gonna put them up to fifteen percent. And we're going to see what we can do here. I mean, getting everyone up to tier 3 is about the best I can do. Um, but that, that's more families, and that's higher food consumption. And I really want to get these guys up. Right now, the problem they're having is not enough clothing. So I need to get leather in. Eventually, I'll stop buying mail. Actually, I think I'm going to stop buying the mail now. Uh, because it's just really holding us back. We're just going to focus on keeping the booze coming in. All right, we're importing. We're going to stop importing malt. Another thing that we're not purchasing. I'm going to stop importing eggs because it's just not working out. And we're just going to focus on accumulating massive sums of money. 566. There we go. There we go. Now we can build the second town. I'd prefer, though, to build the really, really nice town. Oh, man. You don't always get what you want, though. Mm, from a trade perspective, this actually might be the best place since it's so much closer to the, the trade routes. I really don't want them to have to travel too much. I kind of want to take this region so I can make a better road system, too. Uh, let's look at this. I mean, this is great. I do actually like this for building the city because everything's all right here. If I build it here, I'm going to have to cut down all my wood, and I don't want to do that. Um... This is a tough spot, though, too, because we don't want to push things away. 
Let's uh let's kind of merge both worlds here. All right. Average is good enough for me. It's just a little less of everything. All right. Let's pause the game real quick. I always do this in winter. I have a problem. Okay. I'm just going to put a square around this area and eventually we'll we'll do some cool stuff here. All right. So Pause the game real quick. All right. Let's get the market area up. Shouldn't need more than 50. That's way more than I'll ever even use. I'll get a well up. We'll get, um, get lumber up. And we'll get woodcutter up. What's cool about starting with this much wood is you can actually queue quite a bit of stuff. And uh, you don't have to immediately start collecting wood. Alright. And then we're going to do some kind of weird housing here. I think I have 40 wood, right? Oh, I don't like it. It almost, almost worked. Yeah, this probably makes more sense. Well, these are double burgage plots, and I'm actually okay with that for the first homes. Won't be totally efficient, but they'll be wood efficient, and that can actually uh, be a benefit in its own. But we won't have any kind of farming here. And the hunting will be done over here. Put a granaries. Granaries are going to go over there eventually. Alright, hunting. We're just kind of like connecting the dots. This isn't a very difficult build. Um... Unfortunately, berries are a bit away. All right, we got 64 to 64. We'll do our farm trick. There we are. I always, I've just been like lazily doing it now because it's just kind of a pain in the ass. All right, and we do not want to hit in here. There we go, three berries, that'll do it. Um, let's make sure they get the logging camp up. There we go. I gotta stop building stuff because it's getting a little extreme. Alright, once that's all up, we'll be in good shape. Cool. So we got our houses. They look really weird. I love it. Um, we're gonna do a down the middle baseball field. Now, housing area right here. Why? I have no idea. Simply because I can. Yeah. That'd be good. But we gotta get some wood coming in. Ugh. Alright, well at least we got that up before the taxes increased. Yeah, they're always running out of food. Food eating people. We need more logs now. I'm going to get two people in there, and I'm going to get one person in there. That should be sufficient. We can do industry down this down this lane, too. We're not going to need too much here. It's just, we're just going to be making sausage. It's going to be very, very, very easy to do. We'll keep the population there very small. Problem is, is that when I start importing apples, like, they're just going to get filled with apples. You see here we have 253 apples. Crazy amount of apples to have. Alright. Okay. We're in good shape. Let's just make sure that everyone here doesn't die, though. From starvation? That would be so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, man. It wouldn't surprise me. Alright. Okay. We got that going. We're going to boot that down to one log. One guy there. I need to get a granary up next. Pretty badly, in fact. And we'll put one guy in there. And then we're going to be set. Nobody will starve to death, hopefully. Get another ox. There we are. Hitching post. Yeah, gotta get that up. Oh, uh, they're coming for good enough, eh? 
All right. I'll fight for good enough. Ooh, I got some money. There we go. No, oh, I should have got them up all the way. All right. I really don't like that they make me fight for my own territory in, in someone else's territory, though. Like, all the time. And I gotta get over here and fight. Uh, I really hate that, too, because... I gotta get over here and make sure the battle procs there. Alright. But we, we've got big, big things to do right now. Yeah, I know, you wanna be my pen pal. But I don't wanna be your pen pal. All right, cool. So, most likely the war is going to engage prior to me being able to get into the spot because of the way that the game works. Okay, cool. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to play monkey in the middle here. I'm going to get the battle to proc, and then I'm going to lead them back into my territory, and we're going to fight here because it's just going to be such a cluster in there. I just need to get him in the hole. I just need to get him right here. And have the war officially start from that point. Alright, so once the war... Okay, cool. We, we got it. Now I can retreat back. And we can do some cool stuff here. Actually, yeah, we'll have them go there. We'll have him go here. Him to the flank. Him to the flank. Him to the flank. This dude in the middle as a blob. Go team! Alright. It'll be an easy peasy battle. Cool. Neato. I love it when they do what I tell them to do. I don't know what the hell these guys are doing. It's weird. Alright, we're gonna pause real quick. I do really need to get this granary up. <laughs> I cannot forget that granary. Oh boy. I hate competing, competing uh, agendas. All right, we're in good shape. They're gonna try to flank on that side, beautiful. All right, let's move the archers down over here. Move him sideways, there we are. Let's move him behind, I don't want them trying to zigzag to the archers. Ah, shit. Okay. All right, well, they made that easy for me. Gonna pull these guys back here. All right, let's do some side shots. This will be easy peasy. I always love putting my, my poles against these dudes because they don't stand a freaking chance. All right, here we go. Yep. Gonna be a slaughter. Start killing all them retinue. Yeah, archers are pretty damn powerful uh, for how much they cost if you use them effectively. Alright. Reinforce. <laughs> That's gonna be a battle. Alright. Come on, my friends. Shoot your darn bows. Oh, we broke him. All right. That's all she wrote there. So, <laughs> that was a pretty easy battle. Nice. Pop a dude in there. All right. We got four homes. We got one homeless dude. Cool. Up that. Up that. Up that. Up that. That gives us everything we need. We're going to uh, wait till we have the wood we need. And then I'll pull him out and have him start building. Oh, he's got eight. Cool. All right, I'll have him start building. Neato. All right, everyone but this guy can pretty much go away now. Send him back home. And we're in business. No one's gonna starve to death. Everything's gonna be beautiful. And we got lots of money now. We got money coming in. 
We got really high taxes. Uh, our ale production is pretty much stabilized. It's a beautiful thing. All right, here we are. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna do um, we're gonna do some baseball houses here. These are uh, not entirely too efficient, but I am lazy. Oh, sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. I might need to do a straddle. Straddles typically will work sometimes. Uh, no, not this time. All right, I'm gonna need to do a pointed loop. Oof, these are all doing terrible. Yeah, there's something to be said about a straight line. It really does just kind of seal the deal. But if it's too wide like this, then you can't get it to work. That's, that's okay. Um, let's just do a really standard field here. I'm, I'm kind of like just trying to get this up as best as possible. It is kind of fun, though, to ex to uh, experiment with all the, the weird ways you can do things. But yeah, you can see. we got to follow a point there. That's a good third point. Yeah, it doesn't like this stuff whatsoever. All right. Let's just do um, a really straightforward one. It's still really bad. Okay. Usually I can uh, I can get a good one. In this situation, it's uh, it hates me. All right, let's do a three-pointer. Oof, almost. Sometimes you just, uh, you don't win. It's just life. I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to do really small veggie veggie farms because we don't always get, uh, get what we want anyway. Yeah, like that. That's fine. We'll just do some weird veggie farms. I just want to get them up. I really don't care about all that all that jazz, to be honest. Okay, now we, what we need to do is get this dude um, into leather making. And that will help us pop everything up. Or we do everything... Actually, because, yeah, we, we started off with all the monies. We have the, the capacity for churches. But we need boards. Okay. All right. Leather it is. And we're going to have to go back in the logs. Alright, I'm going to get these houses up. Oh, nice. We're over 53%. Nice. Got, a, got another family. Cool. I'm going right in the logs. The first thing I'm going to do here, this is going to be a meat place. So, got to get advanced skinning. Right off the bat. Got to get some veggie production going. Just got to get our foods up. Between berry and meat, though, oof, we're going to be swimming. But we don't have a storehouse. Uh, we don't have the leather maker, either. So. Alright. Want to make that an easy jaunt. Perfect. That's where I'm going to put the leather maker. Gonna be a beautiful thing to get that leather up yeah you don't have to do a storehouse if you get a leather maker because uh, they'll go and get it that's one one benefit i just kind of like it like that need a couple more pieces of wood nice got another family i'm gonna put them straight into wood we're getting real close uh to this place being proper need to get meat production where i need it i might even do pig houses if if it uh, makes sense all right, I guess I won't do it that way. Then that's fine. Here we go. Get the leather maker up, and we're in business. Let we'll let this area just kind of grow naturally. All right, we'll do the big big boys first. Nice. I have fifty. I still have fifty. Cool. Yeah. Let's uh get another ox. We got one ox. So yeah, that's it's hurting. Storage is full. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get storage up next. Okay, put storage right here. Perfect. All right, we have up to twelve housing. That's actually really good. And we still got. Yeah, we got much more to come. 
perfect. Yeah, this is working out really well. All right. Uh, we're going to put one dude in there, and we're just going to let the the natural progress of... We're over 50%, so people will keep coming. All right, seven families over here. Good enough is doing good enough. As promised. All right, I may have to... I may have to start importing eggs to uh, get that fifth type, but I think if I can get sausage coming in here... Whew, I'm going to be in good shape. I will say that sausage production in your main city is a lot easier, though, than importing it. But uh, it's interesting how you can do these things. All right. We got the meat coming back in. Get that guy up. Get that guy up. Very good. There's a lot of families. Get a guy in the storehouse. Feel good about everything now. I'm gonna let them just kind of, you know, figure out their lives. And what is going on? 52%. I mean, we should have. Well, I know we're trade. We're getting barley because we have 228 apples, which means we must have a shitload of barley. If 20 or sorry, not barley, but malt. I mean, we're getting the malt. We're not importing it anymore. So the mules are. Do, they're doing it. I mean, they're keeping the trickle going. So that's successful. Right now, I'm just waiting on um, more boots and stuff being made. Which reminds me, we did get um, a cobbler here. We really need to put limits on shoes. We'll do like 70. I'm, I know I'm not going to go over 70 plots, so... That's great. Fuel is starting to hurt here. So we did get this gentleman. Not do that on him. All right, and we're gonna just X everything but barley and malt and beer. I'll put one dude in there. Oh boy! All right, we're at 43%. Um, this could become a problem. Put that down to five. I need more housing. I'm not really that happy about that because it's more consumption. I hate consumption. I'm gonna make money here. All right, we'll get some houses going. I'm gonna have to pull from somewhere. I'm gonna pull one dude from here, even though he's doing a grand job. Uh, we do need to say not to store any of that stuff here, though. That will also keep them, hopefully, from going down there and wasting a bunch of time. Perfect. Perfect. No storage space for production. Right. There's plenty of storage space. Okay. All right. They should be able to farm these bad boys. So that'll be a good source of food. Alright, everybody's doing okay here. 68%. 52%. Alright, so the barley so the, the booze production is really, really straightforward. Really, really easy. Looks like we may have had a drought or something too here though. Um Yeah, that's that's interesting. We had a really bad bad event. Oh whoa. 2.5 thousand. We're in business now. Well, let's, uh... We lost a few retinue, didn't we? Yikes. That's alright. That's what they're there for. Alright, yeah. We have a, a pretty much an impenetrable force of men. Two retinue. I'm gonna have a third one here, too. So... All right, um, but yeah, this is a problem. I do need someone to start building. I've already... Oh, I pulled too many people. So this will be a problem. 
I pulled way too many people there. Okay, all right. Uh, let's pull one from trade. I just need one person, and we need to build more houses. I need I need a lot of workers here. I didn't realize um, if I'm gonna get things going the way that I want to. We're gonna have to uh, be a little bit more flexible than I am. Yeah, I wonder if I can get extensions. Nah, it's too small. Would have been neat. Because I do want eggs. There we go. We'll do that. That should be a lot of people coming in. Cool. All right, we're going to leave this alone. And I'm going to pray that we start getting a little bit more firewood. There we go. All right. Uh, it does look like I need to kind of streamline some of these roads. I mean, we have that road there. Should be doing an okay enough job. Let's get another ox. I feel like we just don't have enough ox to move everything. Could also be that I need more people in the storehouse. There's just a lot to do right now. Alright, I'm going to leave it alone. Nice. Got 11 months of fuel. That's Like I said, that's the advantage of being small. <gasps> Beautiful. Alright, we're doing great here, except for the fact that everybody's sad. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, let's bust that down to, uh, 5% for now. We did our, we did our job. 5%. But we need to get that above 50. I need to get more families in. I don't need to. <laughs> I want to. I want that money. There we are. Make sure we have enough clay for everything. Wow, that's a lot of grain. Alright. So these bread makers better be doing their job. I think I'm going to have to start slapping more people in the bread makers. There we go. Bread's coming back up. Eggs are coming back up naturally. Berries are kind of... Ugh, might have to start importing it. Honey is really coming up. Might have to start selling honey too. Alright, we're in business though. But yeah, I gotta get my farmers back into uh, barley production because they're getting hurt. Oh shit. Where are they coming from? I'm not gonna summon the last dude unless I have to. It's not telling me where the hell the enemies are. I'm gonna preemptively start running over to my place. That's the one thing I hate about being so close to the edge, though, is that, yeah, here they are. Cool. They will just come for you. Alright, let's just do, let's just do lazy tactics this time. They're just bandits. I'll just meet them out in the field. There we go. I don't like the way they're moving. They're always doing weird stuff like that. Yeah, they can't really do much to me. There we go. I don't know where those guys are going, but... Very good. Alright, we got him. <laughs> yeah, like I said, they're not, not really a challenge. Alright. Let's figure out what's going on up here. All right, we got a good situation going on up here. Nice. All right, we're in business. Place is going to be booming. All right, over here. Also going to be booming. Nice.
Yeah, 45 eggs. I want this place to be booming with eggs. I want to be able to sell eggs. Yeah, the smaller the population and the more houses that are producing eggs. Oh my gosh. The problem with these single plots, though, man, is they are just... They are murder on fuel production. But that's why we got the coal. Alright, we're back up. We're back up in business. Cool. But we really need to make sure that they are replenishing these forests. Um... It doesn't look like they're doing a very good job. Oh, noes. Oh, noes. We're getting close. Okay. This logging camp needs to be really careful. Yeah. We're going to run out of space for the logging camp. I've already kind of chased some of the animals out of the woods. That's not good. Uh, meat doesn't really have a huge impact in a setup like this, though. All right. Bread is really pissing me off because we've got so much. We've got so much going for us here. I'm going to get peak efficiency here, I think. I'm also going to get some side roads. Side road can help. There we go. If we can get people moving around a little bit more efficiently, but... Unlikely. Alright, how much clay do I have? Am I running out of clay? Nope, 168. Cool. We got 12 malt. It looks like we're pulling in just enough malt. Looks like we're finally getting uh, leather up as well. So, yeah, we just have to keep pushing. I actually am just going to preemptively, though, get another individual in these mines. Because I think we're going to start burning through clay. Alright, and the booze... The Booze is back up now. That's the drip system, though. Like, it's going to pop in and out. I'm not having... Like, it's like, if I drip it, I need, like, a fraction of how much booze this entire city could actually consume. The drip system is basically, I just have a small amount of booze coming in and being produced at one brewery. And whenever it hits the tavern, it says the whole city has ale. But it will consume up to that point. And then when it's gone, if I have another ale coming in, it just thinks that there's always ale there. It's kind of funny. I'm sure they'll patch it. <laughs> but um, you you realistically could get most of your production through here. All right, so I want like a bunch of families here. And we have more than enough. I'm going to let this place like naturally do its thing. Um, I probably should have let the church get up. Oh, boy. There's always competing things um okay yeah let's let let's get that church up i get the church up and get above 51 percent pretty easily all right i mean we should be getting all the food bonuses app yeah just the one mule is perfect for the amount of apples and ale that are coming in and out. We got lots of freaking meat. <laughs> Nuts. Yeah, I did go for advanced skinning here. And heavy plow. Bakeries wouldn't be a bad idea. Perfect. Yeah, once I get this bad boy up, we're, we're good. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Wanna be broke. Nice, 69%. Oh, wow, 8 out of... That's not bad. Alright, uh, we need stone. There's the salt. Well, I mean, we should... Man, that is a big vein of salt. That's crazy. Alright, we'll put one over there. Now, we're not going to have iron. We do have stone right here. 
Oh, you have clay. Uh, we'll get the clay up too. Eventually need to do all of this stuff. I might as well just actually like start to preemptively getting up like all of the industries. So yeah, we'll want stone. We'll want a clay furnace. Guess I could get a weaver's workshop and get. I can do whatever I want, realistically. But uh, I'm just gonna try to keep it as simple as possible. All right, and I think we got enough for the church, right? No, nope, we need boards. Ah, we need boards. Not bad. I always forget it's under trees. I hate that so much. All right, there we go. All right, and we need a forester over here, in my opinion. Cool, we'll get all that up. We should probably get another uh, logging camp for excess storage in case we want to start building stuff out, too. And uh, we do have some more money, so let us get another ox. All right. Get all that stuff going. We'll be in good shape. Wow, we're not even touching the amount of animals we have over here. I'm going to put two dudes in there. I want more meat. All right, berries. All right, let's get at least two dudes in there getting berries. I want to make sure people here are fed. All right, we've maxed out housing. I think we should probably get a few more houses up. I'm going to do some weird stuff here. Yeah. One, one little bit up. Should be three. That's three more people. That should help. I want to make sure we have a decent pop. I don't want to go too crazy, but I also uh, need to make sure that we have everything we need. And typically, I like to put um, my logging camps a little bit further away. So we should do that too. Yeah. Just put the logging camps down here. I'm going to leave one back here, but we're not going to staff it. It's just going to be a, a wood point. There we go. And the woodcutter can do the rest here. And then the forester can do this area. Perfect. Beautiful. All right. That should, uh, that should be it. All right. We got the saw pit. Let's go to advance. Let's make sure that we don't produce over like, 80 boards. The furnace, not there yet. Uh, let's get two dudes in the woodcutter there. Beautiful. I'll need to get this logging camp up ASAP. Need to make sure I have a dude in that. Very good. Alright, we're doing great everywhere. Nice. Got a couple extra families now. Let's go back down to the farm. Pop two in there. I just want to make sure that they're overfilled. Uh, we're getting... Okay, cool. They're seeding. They're doing a really bad job. I think it's because I just didn't have enough people. And or it's because I don't have enough ox. Yeah, we need to make sure. Uh, let's actually reserve livestock for the plows. There we go. That might help. I don't know. It's just it took too long. They're not, they're not doing as well as they were before. I might have to up the population and grow a little bit more barley. That's okay. These things will all come in time. Nice. We got a little bit of veggies coming in. I love it. Even though it's not a whole lot, but it's it's like something. You know what I mean? All right. Let's get a guy in the stone camp. And get the church up. They're doing really well, though, because of all the food variety. <laughs> That's kind of cool. And then you need the church. All right. Like, just enough to for our king's tax. All right. Negative three bread. Yeah, we have more than enough grain. Um, but it's like doing weird things. That's okay. I mean, we're still we're still doing it. It looks like we finally got that's level one. Yeah, it's the linen. I wonder actually if it's just I don't have enough clothing stalls. I think that's what's going on here. Uh, I it's easy to control that because what you do is you just you just up the tannery workers, and they do it themselves. Or you could go to your cobbler and tell it. That it can have markets too, but we're just gonna do that. We're just gonna put three people into the tannery. There we go. Wanna get more more stalls up? Perfect. 
All right. Yeah, clothing. Yeah, it's leather. Leather's catching up. It's all going to catch up. I'm not too worried. It's all the families that are moving in. <laughs> Every time I do one of this, I, I have one more family that needs leather. So it's like... But yeah, that doesn't actually matter because it should just be by the um, plot. Hmm, that doesn't make no sense. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense actually now that I think about it. We just have to catch up on leather and then we'll be fine forever. And if I have to, I'll cheat. I'll just, I'll build a bunch of houses on the outskirts so I can upgrade the farms. The easiest way to do it if you want to get your farms up. I really wanted to get those guys up, but they're not doing it. Oof, look at those yields. 6%? What's going on here? Is it a drought? I mean, I'm skipping every third year. Weird, man. Nice. Yeah, I think we're doing good up here now. 1,000 food. Not bad. Yeah, they're doing great. All right, let's see if we can get the church up now. Nice. All right, let's get the church right here. Beautiful. All right, that puts us in a really good spot. Okay. I think we have way more than enough stone. We're going to start really ramming this out. So what we need to do is get everybody on board. We have more than enough salt to last us. We will need to definitely get uh, deep mining. I will be doing charcoal burning here for that reason. So we're going to go trapping, advanced skinning. That's going to be great. And then we'll go charcoal and deep mining. Now the problem here is that we will actually have to get some kind of alcohol production into this place too. So <laughs> what I may end up doing is pushing sausage for booze into this region yeah so that that's great so we're gonna definitely have to ramp up our our booze production uh substantially uh to to a pretty absurd point so uh, it's one booze per three families so it doesn't matter what kind of plots we do here it's always going to be the same but might as well get them chicken eggs up all right now we don't need too many more families to do this we have a good thing going on over here. Let's take Gander. So this will be essentially what we first need to do. And we got a good thing going on here. But barley is kind of a bitch. Ooh, we got lots of good barley plots over here. I could slap another farm down and keep it all consistent. Not bad. All right, so this woodcutter's lodge is in a bad spot. If I place it over here, it actually should do decently. So we're going to move it. Alright. I think I'm going to go length. Yep, yep, yep. So, oof, these are going to be some... Now we are using uh, plows. Right. Oof. Didn't think about that. So we're going to have some weird ones. Uh, all of these need to be one, however. So, I might actually have to do some bad rows and some good rows, but that's okay. Where are you hitting? Alright. Oh, you're hitting right there. Cool. Alright. So, this needs to be about one Morgan. Perfect. These can be actually relatively long. We're going to have to have, like I said, three rows of this. Um, point eight is fine. You know. Can only do so much at the end of the day. Point nine is fine. The main thing is that I get as much booze as possible. We're gonna have to really ramp up a few things though, such as uh, needing a lot more ox. Um, we may even, because you only get so many carts, we may even want to increase the amount of farmings that I have. I do want this to be as straight as possible. Uh, so that's one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, we had to do some weird stuff over there. This is where it's at, though. Um, 1.1 Morgan, that's fine. This can definitely be the third. All right, we'll just uh, we'll go a little big and we'll see what happens. I guess. <laughs> Always good to test your assumptions. All right. So this will be enough for a whole nother farm. But I'm going to have to get these supplies out of here. Let's just speed this up for a bit. All right. I want to do wheat. All right, barley. Barley. 
Right on. And this will be Barley in the third. I'll get that other guy down in a second. Wow, 93%. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. Well, once all that's gone, I can get that last guy up. And it does appear that, you know, right here might not be a bad spot for two farmhouses. Get a couple of them up. Actually, what I may want to do is revamp this. Oof. Yeah. It's nice to keep it all as close together as possible. It'd be nice if, like, these three were the last. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is one... One, two, three, one, two, three, this is one. <laughs> and then these two, two, three could be one. That'd be the best way to do it. We're going to do it that way, in fact. Um, so this is going to be the new, the new tier here. Okay, cool. Barley and Barley. Oh, cool, it remembers. All right. So... These two are on this track. All of these need to line up. So this will now be three. All of these will just be three. Okay. One, two, three, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we'll do them in six. This will be done in six, and this will be now. So that means all of these need to be two. And that way, when they're working together, they're not having to walk all the way across. Like, we can just focus, you know, one individual area. This will be much better. It'll look, yeah, it'll look cleaner as well. Alright, so this is two. This is one. I need to get the last guy in here now. Perfect. God, I hate that so much. Just like really trying to go with the road. Alright, well, we're going to do this a different way. I don't know that we can. I think I'm just going to have to go with it. It'll be a little inefficient and I'll hate it, but let's get it done, right? Alright, so one, two... And three. And this will be one. Cool. So we got one here. We got two here. And we got three there. Perfect. Beautiful. All right. Let's get this. Let's get this show on the road. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a bunch of hitching posts. And I think I'm going to need to get a uh, livestock trader because it's just going to take too long to do this manually. All right. So we'll do that. We got, we got seven families. That's Almost enough for what I want to do, but I need a few more families, and I mean, we got a good thing going on here. All right, perfect. That should be it. That should really be it. We'll do chickens on them. I want to make sure that we have high tier food, but yeah, unfortunately... We're going to have to get a couple tier threes over here. Uh, otherwise, this is not going to work out. All right. Got a little bit of money trickling in. It's going to take me a, quite a bit of steps to get this up to full speed. But we're going to get there. Um, I do actually kind of like this setup here. Ooh, we do not have... Oh, it said plot too small. Okay. I thought it was like, do we not have the wood? Uh, not enough goods. Okay. All right, so I think we just moved. Okay, so he's staying there. And yep, boom, boom, put two dudes in there. Let's make sure everything's in motion. Uh, Forester, let's put two people in. Woodcutter, freaking five months. Yep, and you can kind of actually see that we do have some issues here. Uh, we don't have logs to upgrade this. That's the main issue. And we should definitely try to make sure sure we avoid any kind of bottlenecks so let's get another storehouse down we can upgrade this here pretty soon too once we get the clay coming in yeah we got a lot we got a lot going on so the stone cutters 
I put a stone cutter's camp? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry about that, fellas. <laughs> That's a wrong thing. I uh, can't believe I did that. I clicked the wrong one. Alright. It's like... I was like, I was wondering why it was so weird. <laughs> oh man. I wanted to go back and edit that part out. Alright, well, we'll wait. But that was funny. I did not mean to do that. I got one tracked mind. All right. All right. Let's get these guys to level two. Very good. We got Jesus. Now we can get to level two. More wood. More boards. We're doing pretty darn well. But yeah, we just gotta do all the basic little steps here. Ba Boom. Okay, that will get us in a pretty spot. And I think in the granary, we're going to want to get our second dude. I'm also going to want to get this guy up ASAP. I think we're doing all right. Yeah, 98%. Very good. Yeah, we definitely want to make sure we have appropriate storage for everything. But yeah, getting some passive income is really going to help us get some of this stuff going. But I do need to get those houses up. All right, we're going to get a dude in the mining pit. And stone cutter we don't need anymore. Uh, I mean, we might at some point. We're going to put a dude in the furnace. Very cool. Got another dude there. Uh, put this to the highest mark. Almost got the wood. We're using quite a bit. You can see our, our ox are busy at work. But we're going to get there. It's going to be a glorious 100%. Woo! Not bad. Not bad at all. Nice, we got good taxes coming in. Alright, now we can get the granary up. That was my main concern. Everything else is doing pretty darn decent. We're gonna have a lot of leather. And we're gonna have a lot of everything else. Uh, we gotta move that stone. <laughs> I have no idea why I was what I was thinking. Oh, okay. All right, let's put a dude back into the Jesus Church. Always need someone to bury the dead. Now we're doing grand over here. I really wish there was like a upgrade all button, <laughs> or like a highlight upgrade button. We're going to try to get all these houses, but you can see that if we're getting um, all our farms, that means that we did actually hit 100%. And that's a beautiful thing. Nice. There's just the one corner where we're not where we want to be. Alright. Dang, dude, that's crazy. Wonder what our things are at. 98%, 100, 100. Cool. Yeah, everything caught up, just like I said it would. Gotta have faith. Alright. We're doing pretty decent here, too. Generic storage of full. They don't look full to me, sir. Oh, man. We've got some booze. I need to kind of reorganize some of that but yeah we got booze at the wazoo so booze is done there uh what we need to do now is get booze going into the meat region but we need to set the meat region up correctly all right cool so we're gonna get um plows here and we got nine families cool i might overdo it on farming but that's only because i want this place to be just full of booze okay what What's the uh, egg situation? 74? Alright. I want to make sure that we have eggs at our wazoo in every orifice. There we go. Not bad. Cool, we got some level 2s over here. So I could go into, you know, all types of stuff. We're going to do a brewery extension. We're going to start getting booze up here. I want to get to tier 3. And we're going to put a dude in the, uh, the tavern. Now that we're producing enough, I, I think we can share it. Uh, and if we can't... Oof, look at all that booze. 
That's so much. 50. This one's 16 for some reason. I think we just didn't get it seated fast enough, but we'll get that going. I'm going to put two people in each of these. I think that would be good. Um, Let's do three. All right. Let's, uh, let's do four in all of them. How's that? How's that sound? Sounds good to me. All right. And then, because when these get upgraded to tier 3, that's going to be a lot of people. Alright. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good. Vegetables, berries, eggs, 301 meat. I guess what we should do is just trade salt. Uh, yeah, we'll just trade salt, since we already have enough meat for, for all that jazz here. We'll just straight up trade for salt. Um, that shouldn't be an issue. Let's come back over here. Let's get our salt mine up. Oh man, it's probably the stupid supplies. We're gonna need a place to store all that. Yeah, they're not doing a grand job. Um, all right, so get that storehouse up. That storehouse up. Yeah, they're just, they're slacking. Oh, it's because we don't have any builders. I'm a dork. Yeah, let's get the church up. Alright. Well, I'm going to have to pull from something. I think... Hmm. Everything's kind of important right now. Alright, well, we can drag that down to one. Oof. Okay. Yeah, well, we did need to get some houses up, that's for sure. There we are. Got the money rolling in now. I think we're good. I mean, we got uh, no veggies. Let's get another little veggie plot up. Every little bit adds up after time. And the smaller they are, you know, the less they're working in these, so... Not really too worried about it. Ooh. Yeah, we can already go into butchering. Nice, level twos. More level twos. And yeah, we do also need to... Uh, Really ramp up the oxage. Pop up over here. Start upgrading these bad boys. Order an ox upgrade. Beautiful. All right. Well, we got one person, a bunch of house building. It's gonna have to let them do their thing over there. Over here, we're doing grand. Once I can start getting level three houses, we're gonna go straight for it. So, uh, food stall though is having difficulties. Oof. Okay. There's no food in that stall. Interesting. All the food is in this one. <laughs> okay. Food variety. Ooh. So that's that's not good. But they they have an enormous amount of food. Oh no, that's good enough. Ugh. I hate when it does that, man. We're not. We're in booze town. Here we go. Yeah, so interestingly enough, it is almost like you need to have it set up like that. They don't like it when uh, goods are stored in other markets. Interesting. But with those carts, they can just slam that stuff. All right, cool. We'll get that situation under control, but that's pretty annoying. It's good to know. It does appear... Um, it does punish you if you don't have that set up. It's good to know. So we're going to come back over here. I'm trying to think like... We're not having... It. It's weird as we're not having that issue over here, really. But, um... You know, in some regards, you can never have enough markets. <laughs> or I think you probably could. Uh, you definitely can overdo it. But since market stalls are limited by workers, uh, there's actually, I don't think there's any harm in it. 
All right, cool. We got a lot of granaries. We got a lot of these guys too. Oh my gosh. All right, well, let's just keep going around and buying all the ox that we need. Cause we're gonna need lots. Yeah, we only got five over here. It's near, not nearly enough. All right, we're in good shape though. Got our Jesus upgrading. That's grand. Got everything else going. All right, so this is gonna be a long day, but uh, we're gonna go into advanced skidding, and we need to get the manor up so we can do our policy now uh, for meat. And I mean, the manor can really go anywhere. Cool, we'll have to get that up later, but we'll just get the manor up for policies. Very nice. We definitely have the food. This is gonna be interesting because we're gonna be man mass manufacturing sausages, trading, maybe even trading honey and apples from over here. Since we're producing so much, we could even trade vegetables. That's why I'm kind of like not trying to create so much over here. So it's like I could create, yeah, I could do veggies, apples, honey, each with their own mules. So let's let's get that started. We're going to need a little bit more mule stations. We're going to need three for this trade. I got two but over here, but I'm going to potentially save those for the booze. Um... So let's just do, let's just do three, yeah, like that. I'd like to kind of keep them all together so I don't get confused later on though. We got a packing station there, there, there. Gosh darn it. Um, really like to put it where that well is. All right. I never pay too much mine wells. They don't get water that often. All right, cool. We're going to remove that. I can place another packing station. I'm actually going to remove these packing stations. I'm going to make sure I have enough room for everything, so we'll start at the end here. There we go. And then I'll get my third guy up there. Cool. That gives us everything. All right. Yeah, now we have 100%. So yeah, yeah, definitely for sure. Putting uh, two dudes at a time. Got to be careful about this excess storage, though. So might be wise not to build those uh, granaries up unless you're really hurting. All right, 17. So yeah, we got an easy 100%. That's the whole point of the shield design is that um, your granaries are just so freaking close. And then, yeah, if you use the two, the two throttled system, <laughs> you can't lose, man. And we got the drip system going. We got booze. Got booze going everywhere. Look at that. Because I got 100%. I can upgrade everything to tier 3. So I did it. Awesome. Awesome. It's really cool when you can uh, improve upon a design. Um, but the design is actually really the same. It's just the, the logistics in which you do that are different. And now that we got all the outer farms upgraded, um, we're in good shape. And we're going to upgrade outside in just in case. Because uh, as families comes, come in... The consumption of foods will increase, and it'll be harder to retain those 100% ratios, uh, which means that the outer buildings won't get hit with those the ability for upgrades. So always work your from the outside inside, because the insides will always be able to be upgraded, and the outsides will have difficulty for sure. All right, we're in, we're in a beautiful place here. Um, yeah, we'll see what we can and can't trade though uh, coming up. Also, yeah, as they consume more food, it will be harder. <laughs> harder for us to maintain certain things. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's keep upgrading everybody we can. Alright. I want to hit that tier 3 real soon. We need three food types. Boo! <laughs> I don't know why I'm booing. Um, okay. We should have been able to do it. We're not getting enough veggies? The problem here ah i know what the problem here is they're jerks <laughs> yeah they're not getting enough veggies we're gonna have to put another dude out they're just they're not getting things quick enough we have way more than enough veggies way more than enough everything 
Oh shit, and I think they're <laughs> no the reason is is because those those uh those farms are coming down here. Uh that's it. That's a long way to travel. It's the one thing I hate about doing uh dual markets. That's why the shield design it doesn't do it doesn't do this like uh delayed market thing. Though this is when you control exactly how many stalls there are, you don't have to worry about phantom stalls or any of that stuff. So it is actually relatively easy to do. I just I just move it. <laughs> All right, so we got uh, one food stall here. Cool. Yeah, just make sure when you do this that keep everything happy. But that's the only way I know of to have a separate industry. It works pretty well. Nice. All right. And if I can get this to tier three, I can get some more points. Beautiful. That'll be a lot easier for us to do. Wonderful. All right. Well, um, it's time. It's time to get the salt going. Now, I don't know if we're going to want one or two of these bad boys, but I think I'm going to put two of these down. You could do, you could technically do, I think, four, but it's okay. Two is, like, way more than enough. But we are trying to supply multiple regions, so... Huh. <laughs> Alright, so that's Boo's Town. This is definitely going to be... Um, there we go. This is going to be Arby's. Arby's, because we got the meat. There we are. Helps me because I don't remember any of these Jagoff names. Like, Selbits. I'm not going to remember that. Like, if I get attacked, I need I need a silly, goofy name so I know that it's me. Alright. Man, we're doing great. I can start doing crossbows now, too. But uh, I, I don't really feel compelled to have to have a really big military. Man, these buildings are looking pretty sweet. Pretty nice. Alright, well, the main city's doing great. We're almost over 500 pop there. Uh, we're actually keeping up with our taxes. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like, I'm ha on one hand, I'm like, yay! <laughs> on the other hand, I'm like, well, f fuck that guy. I don't want to pay him taxes. So, it's kind of like... Being a good prostitute or something. It's just like, yeah. <laughs> like, at the same time, it's like, ah. Oh. All right. Okay. Cool. So I think we got it going on. Um, this is looking much better. I think we have appropriate uh, farmage. That's it's a it's a lot, but I still feel. I still feel like we need way more. Oh, that's right. We built the um, the gentleman over here, but we're gonna need a lot more of these guys. Alt house. Where did I put him? Trade post. Livestock trade post. Okay. Put a dude in here, and we're gonna import till we have 22 ox. Sounds great. Which reminds me, we want to kind of start. Uh, I don't really want to do a livestock trader over here, so I'm just going to start manually getting these things. We don't need too many. We need, like, six, so. Hmm. Yeah, we're doing great. There we go. All right. So this is where we're going to... Because we're going to need a lot of... Each one of these dudes packs, like, I think 50 per mule. So three of these should be able to bring me back about 300 every month, hopefully. And we're going to have to produce that much. This is where shit gets a little wild. Because <laughs> it's like, essentially, I need to make sure that my population here is big enough, but not big enough uh, to be too difficult. So I have to get deep mining. I need two more points for that. So I do have to uh, get tier two, and then I have to get a couple tier threes. I mean, we definitely want to get everybody up to tier two, though. That's a no-brainer. That's free money. All right. Got charcoal, and then next is deep mining. And we gotta get charcoal production going. That's a no-brainer right there. All right. And you know what? We actually don't, like, need a consistent amount of alcohol. We just need it. 
like so we could just buy enough alcohol to get to the tier three and then cut it off we'll get a slight negative for those houses that are tier three but uh i mean it would make sense though um i think for now that's what we're gonna do we can do an import at a another point but i think we could probably pull it off to be honest i just don't want them to uh be taking all the booze all right. Yeah, another added advantage is I believe that um, the ox can be used to pick up the barley that's in the field. So, yeah, we got lots of good people out here. We got lots of good ox out here. But we're going to want... I want these guys committed. I know it kind of sucks because they're not always in use, but... It really makes a difference. And I'll just continue to, you know, get them as I need them. Food is looking okay. Uh, oof. Apples are being eaten, man. Oof. I don't like that at all. Fuel for two months. I forgot to, uh, to put this dude up here. And I forgot to put him back on. Alright. Uh, we're going to do advanced. And we're going to do this. Beautiful. Alright. <laughs> yeah, Forester Hut down there. They are not able to keep up. Not grand. Alright, but uh, things are doing alright. Almost 100%. Uh, we got the booze. So, Burgish Plot's level 3. Okay. Well, let's do our farms, of course. My favorites to do. Uh, what do we need? Three? Okay. Do some chickens. I think if we get ten... Oh, shoot, I always I forgot to uh, get my goats there. Yeah, let's just get as many as we can, get them points. I don't think I even need them, but I want them. I want them points. Alright, level threes. Okay. All right, I need, um, I keep forgetting, I need to build the freaking tavern. All right. And then we, we're going to need a trade post now. We could have done that a, a bit ago, but I was, I was being silly. Okay. Nice. I'm going to put him here. It's a good spot for him. Next to all the storage. Put one dude in the large storehouse there. Make sure it's being manned appropriately. Get two dudes there. Let's put one more. Alright, things are going to get weird here now. Because we're going to need a butcher. We're going to need a lot of butchers in this design. A lot of butchers. And I don't even think I'm going to go eggs. I don't really care about these people. Um, like, I, I mean, I do. Because I need them to produce. But uh, we're not really trying to, like, maximize them. With Their, their entire purpose is to make sure that... The main city is great. I'm gonna do some pigs. We're gonna be doing some like way over, over the top stuff here. Okay, so hold your hold your horses. We're getting double from them. I mean, I could set up more hunters for for trapping. Oof, that's interesting. Yeah, all those butchers removed a lot of folk, so. Um, we're, I keep forgetting that's like four houses right there. Okay. So, I'm just going to need a little bit more people. Dang. Yeah, dang, I don't have any wood. Alright. I'm going to have to let them catch up. <laughs> don't have anyone there. Okay. So, a couple, couple things. Probably pop that, that down. Um, that's doing fine. I kind of... Yeah. <laughs> now, he's up over here. He's doing good. We got lots of people. Alright, so their main goal is to make me sausage. Go. Alright, cool. Sausage it is. And there's going to be no cap on this. Got four people making sausage. 
I got a bunch of people who are going to be doing pigs. And that's like eight meat a year per because I have the perk. All right. So because we have this, we get eight meat instead of four. Okay. Doubles the amount of meat. So it goes from four to eight per year. Oh, yeah. Perfect. All right. We do need to get some houses built, though. Nice. All right. Well, where can I pull this dude from? I gotta find somewhere to pull him from. Uh, I guess I'm gonna pull him from here for just the time being. Man. Whoa, 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 that was weird. Okay, yeah, we got people going all over the place. Because I lost four dudes, so I have to pull four dudes. Can't. Um, okay, so we don't need any more of that for the time being. Alright, we got the two dudes over here. Uh, keeps giving me booze town. Alright, well, let's do some booze town stuff. Alright, that's great, that's great, that's great. Great, that's great. Um, I'll have to think about the point here. I don't really necessarily want to do anything more. I, I'm kind of like, I'm at a point where I don't want any more people. Well, yeah. I'm at a point where I don't want any more people, but I did want the points. I don't know why. I have problems. It's also kind of cool to get, you know, a town up to tier 3. It's, a, it's an achievement. Radio. Beautiful. Alright. We're doing great. How much malt do we have? 10. That's not cool. And we're going to slap two dudes in these malt houses. Really need to start pushing malt out more. How much freaking barley do I have? 252? Yikes. Okay, I think I'm probably going to just trade barley for salt. And then um, have them make their own. Booze. Uh, we don't need to do any of that. That's fine. I don't need to go too crazy. You could do that. That's all I'm saying. It's like you could easily do that. I want to keep this simple. Because, uh, like, technically speaking, we've we've done it. Uh, every every building here is going to be tier 3. Uh, with, with, with just the booze town. So, the sausage is just, like, another thing. <laughs> it's a totally unnecessary thing. But it will make you make your life a bit easier and I forgot I broke my rule I forgot these two dudes on the sides that's right we gotta do the ends first do the ends first all right cool so this is gonna be massive we're at like 500 pop we're starting to starting to peel through the apples pretty quick um so we're not gonna be able to trade apples we will be able to trade honey. We will be able to trade vegetables. And that should actually be sufficient. We probably only need two. Reminds me, we need to buy another donkey. I'm just going to preemptively get this up. So, our barter partner is going to be Arby's. We're going to be sending honey... And we're going to be taking all of their delicious sausages. And we're getting close. Oof. 0.5. Eek. Two honey for one sausage. That's pretty shitty, actually. Uh, so, yeah. We might, <laughs> sausage production is something that is actually not very, luke, like, is kind of hard to, to send. It is. It just is. All right. Let's put two dudes in here. We may not need much. I mean, we're going to have a lot of meat here. Um, salt production is the main kicker. Put a dude in there. Got one free dude. All right, we need a couple more houses. We're, we're getting close. I would like to get a little bit more salty. Let's make sure that our road system is not impeded. 
I'm gonna do a little bit of a star thing going on here. There we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, that's like way more than enough. Alright, cool. Yeah, they're, they're coming right above. So, we will use these guys, and then we will reinforce. Alright, I just need to pull aggro. With, um, that's what you do, you just pull aggro with your retinue. See, that's, that's why you want to get that stuff up. Ooh, sorry. We got our, our dude up over here, okay? So this is important, because we have our, our manor. So... Now we can set policies, and we're doing the hunting ground, so they breed twice as fast, but our crops are reduced by 50%. We're not growing crops in the meat place. Okay, so now you're set. So you're getting double from that. They're duplicating much faster. You have like maybe f five or so pigs generating like 40 meat per year, which with sausage is 80 sausage per year just off the pigs. We have more meat than common sense at this point. So we're we're awesome. Um, let's let them build up those houses. All right, cool. So now that I've taken aggro, I can run him back. I can run all these guys here. Oh shit! What's going on, friends? Party's on. <laughs> They're here for the party. Okay. All right. Archers. Spearmen. Archers. This is actually kind of cool fighting in the barley fields like this. This is a terrible, <laughs> terrible defensive position, but it's cool. There we go. All right. Yeah, They're, they don't stand a chance. It is actually kind of good to take a wide stance, because if you can hit them from the sides, you can actually start to hurt them pretty good. And you can see they're breaking. Like, yeah, they're breaking because they're getting shot up. Yeah. They're getting shot up from the sides, and they're not, they're not feeling good about it. That wasn't very nice. All right. Send everybody back home now. Bandit raids are honestly just st kind of stupid. <laughs> They're just not... It's not a difficulty. It's like a mosquito biting you in the eye. It's just annoying. All right. Actually, that would... A mosquito biting me in the eye would actually be far more uh, consequential than what that was. That would be terrifying, too. And probably wouldn't be able to sleep for, like, years. Okay. Alright, we got a long camp there for storage. Trade post. Royal tax is increased. Got ten extra people. Alright, we're sitting pretty. We got an enormous amount of barley. So, let me see. The mall houses are, are sp spamming. We have 119 barley now. Yeah, that's more than enough time to process. Well, actually, let's see. 148 days. Yeah, we should be able to process everything. I'm just trying to make sure that we can process the amount of barley we're, we're pulling in. Um, that's enough booze for everybody, though. That's quite a bit of booze. And the tavern is getting everybody drunk. Very good. I mean, technically speaking, we actually could get these guys to tier 3. Um, that's going to add a lot of families. I mean, I could always just increase booze production. Yeah, I'll, I'll increase the brewer. But yeah, we'll get a few of these bad boys to tier 3. That passive money. Another extra one per family. Alright, cool. So they're duplicating quickly. It's like the... Oh shit, I'm farming them down to 10. I want to do uh, 18. 18's been my go-to. 20's about half, basically. Okay, what do we got going on here? Let's, uh... Yeah, let's, let's get these guys proper. Oh, shit. Yeah, I did not mean to do that. Alright. Well, there's a free one. And 38. Okay, cool. We got lots of families moving in. 
we could do some chicken eggs, though it's not really necessary. Wouldn't hurt though too. Actually, might want to make um, proper a proper veggie bender to some extent because we're not really pulling in enough. But we will. Yeah, once we start trading. Okay, cool, cool. Let me see what we got going on here. Um, I'm gonna say we're gonna want. I don't think we need that much salt. I don't know. Let's put a dude here. Let's put a dude here. We need, yeah, we have no builders. That's fine. Um, large storehouse. Doot, doot. We're going to need two there. Cool. So that's three. Yeah, by the time this gets to full, we're getting two per. We'll be good. You'll be able to finish the rest of the buildings. It'll be a beautiful thing. We're actually going to gonna need more houses anyway because of the amount of food that's going to be coming in uh, for the meats. Oh, get that going. But if we're going to do this the whole way, we're going to have to get the tier 3. Like I said, not hard to do. Especially now that we have a trade post. I got to I gotta let the houses get up. Yeah, we definitely need more people. I have to make a full economy here. But I'll let the... I'll let everyone build up naturally. Alright. They're doing a great job. We're keeping... We're keeping most things at a hundred percent. That's fantastic. I should probably check to make sure I set these guys up right. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need maximum berries now. Very good. I think that's more than enough uh, food stalls too. It's really cool that yeah, this town's having a much better time. They're, they're, it's easy for them to get the tier three. A lot of extra families, though. It does seem like these two little plots here were more than sufficient. The apples are coming in, the berries are coming in, the meat's coming in. They're doing great. Alright. Damn, dude. They, they were, like, really low, and they're all the way back up now. That's nuts. We do have a lot of meat. We do have sausages coming in, which means that vegetables will... We will start purchasing and uh, sending right on. All right, honey's going to be next. All right, so honey for sausages. And it's not bad, man. Arby's. And then this guy's going to be, it looks like, veggies. Yeah, we're running low on apples. I would maybe probably build another apple bender for this to work, but realistically speaking, we've already beaten the game. Um, this is pure masturbation at this point. It's just seeing what we can and can't do. All right, vegetables for sausage. This should bring in quite a bit of sausages. Here we go. Ooh, 0.3. Yeah, we're not getting to get much here. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder, like, what's, what's like, straight-up meat? I wonder if it would be cheaper to import it one-to-one, -one, right? And then what's salt? Flour would be an interesting one. There's a lot of material in this game now. 0.5. Yeah. It's basically the same thing. Okay. I'll just do that. Cut out the middle, man. Also, uh, yeah, you get double meat from the butcher, but I don't think it gives you double sausage with that perk, but... Everybody's making sausages. Alright, we got three. Alright. Alright, we're gonna put one in the tavern. Put one in the trade post. And we're gonna just straight up buy booze or something. 
All right. Well, all the herbs can be sported. We're going to need 80 uh, to purchase that. Let's just start selling boards. Uh, we definitely, definitely have nothing else to do with a lot of our wood, so. All right, we need 40 boards. Cool. We'll purchase that route. Beautiful. Start getting some money in, and then we can purchase the alcohol route. One sixty. Yep, we can get there. We get more of these houses every month. We'll get one gold per. Perfect. All right, cool. We'll get a good chunk of people there. So we already got the sausages going now. Man, we got so much stuff going on here. It's nuts. Some chickens going. Every chicken counts. All right. There we go. We got a lot of that place. Yeah, Boost Town's actually really <laughs> decent. Not bad, little town. But I don't really have any need for any of this stuff. 54 free families. Yeah, that's intense. <laughs> Alright, let's get the dudes going. Alright, we got it going on now. Do we have any sausages? We have 15 sausages. We've done it. We have successfully imported sausage. Oh, man. Yeah, the eggs and bread aren't holding up, which is super dumb, because... That's like 200. Why? What's going on? This should be like easily four, four to 500 bread. I wonder if it's like spoiling. 133 malt we've imported. Wow. So yeah, importing malt that way. 300 leather. Leather starts building up real quick. Like I said, that's why you don't want to overdo it. Um, oh man, we even got barley coming in. Wow. We, we really do have it all. All uh, coming. Oh my gosh, it's so much. But yeah, the, the the bread thing is isn't making a whole lot of sense to me. Maybe I could do a better job of min maxing these guys, but yeah, we got lots of freaking honey. Cause it's supposed to be a two to one ratio. All right. Well, at least we have perfect f uh, food, though. Upgrade all of our houses. All right, I think that's it. I think that's all the houses at tier three right there. That one almost got past me. Wow, that is. So the shield still works, and it's going to be 200 families. This is going to be over 600 pop. This thing was not built for it. All right, so apples were at 1.2. Veggies are good. Sauce is good. Bread needs some help, um, but that's okay. Where did we get another point from? Did we get that in uh, Arby's? Did we get the meat? We didn't get the meat. All right, whatever. Screw you, Arby's. Man, this place is rich. We're rich because our cities are rich. Even with low taxes, we're pulling in so much money. We're easily hitting the king's king's requirements here. I'm like, I'm confused on what to do with this much. I mean, I'm not doing anything up there. I really only needed this place for, for booze. And there aren't any, currently, there aren't, you know, there's a ton of stuff we don't know about. A ton of development points. It'd be nice if there's one for booze production, right? I'd be all over that. Coolio. Alright, well, we got the booze coming in. 
370 barley. Okay, yeah, we're doing great up there. Um, 293 rye. That should, like, easily be 600 bread. I don't know who is stealing my food. <laughs> but it's starting to piss me off. Okay, yeah, we got a lot of storehouses. Let's clap a dude in there. Not bad, though. Not bad. Wow, we got a lot of money. Well, we did it. We have one sausage left. But, I mean, the sausage is flowing. It is, uh, it's flowing pretty dang well. That should get me my second mule there. Ah, we need a few mules. Alright. We're doing apples from malt here. Nothing for nothing. I like that. I don't really need any more. Uh, the honey and the veggies should be a pretty easy trade. And that's going to be great for here, because that's going to give us... See, we have 112 honey now. And uh, the veggies are helping. 258 sausage. Wow. We're producing sausages at an alarming rate. Sausage does have one of the lowest rates of um, spoilage, too. But, wow, man. 100% <laughs> food variety. This is actually pretty amazing. <laughs> All right, 264. We go to um, the tavern's good. All I need now is to import alcohol. I may actually be able to import alcohol indefinitely here. So we'll just hold 10 at a time. Uh, that's 180 at a, at a time. If I start selling something, though, like... If I were to start exporting sausages after 300 and buy that route, I think we'd make a lot of money. And we could use that sausage money to buy booze. It's the best thing to do with sausage money. <laughs> that sounds kind of funny when you put it that way. Alright. We're going to go through our money real quick here, though. This is great. Alright, so planks are definitely a commodity that I think are going to help us out. Um, don't have a horse. Ah, uh, we don't have room for it. Darn. I'm buying all these dudes. Alright, let's slap them down. Let's get some room for all our stuff. We got a lot of free people out and about. Cool. I think we're in good shape now. There we go. Get, get our ox protected. They are a very valuable commodity. All right, we're doing it. Um, I think we need to get somebody into a coblin. I'm not really too concerned about these people. Like I said, I don't care about them. I just don't. I don't know if I even like them. But I do like that they're making absurd amount of sausage. We're over 300 sausage now. 161. Alright, let's pause real quick. I really would like to get that sausage out. We need 180. Um, we got bows. So what's the dealio? Tavern. Ooh, yeah, we don't have shoes. I got it. I guess I do have to care. About whether or not these people... Uh, Alright, we're going to switch out for... Um, brew... Oh, we don't need a brewery, my bad. Uh, I'm just going to keep it. <laughs> I'm just too lazy. I, I will do a pig there. I will do a level one. Alright, yeah, we forgot the pigs. This The pigs are going to, like, compound how stupid this is. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, yeah, we need to get shoes. So we can go to tier three. I forgot all about that. All right, let's get a charcoal man. Not bad. I don't think the forester's doing a very good job though. That's all right. Uh, I think we have a road here, but I'm not sure. I just realized that we do not have an interconnected road. 
There we go. Now we got a little bit of a maze going on. They got a way to get to each other. That's all that matters. Dang, man. Yeah, we're stacking, stacking money now. 203 total families. Yeah, a little bit. That's a lot. That's crazy. That is a crazy... Huh? <laughs> 609 pop. Yeah, we're at 588. Get another donkey. We're doing the Lord's work here. Alright, we got lots of ox. Which is wonderful. I get just one more. I think we're doing great, though. Uh, we're definitely pulling in more booze than we have... Any key ideas on what to do with it? We're just burning through that bread, though. This is really surprising me because we have such an amazing amount of bread coming in. We're still, though, we're still main. Oh, there, one last house. We're still maintaining near 100% food variety, though, which has allowed me. That's why I say, like, upgrade your, your furthest houses because once you hit that 97%, it's such a pitch to get those last two percentages. But yeah, I mean, we're like, we're like at 100% everywhere. This is really good. Clothing, of course. Fuel, of course. So, it's a very big city to have, you know, perfectly all there. And we have, I would say, ample malt to the point that, um, you know, we could keep that tavern running here all day. So, tier three here. I mean, we're all, they're already drinking it at, at tier uh, two. So, there's absolutely no reason to not go to tier three. Except for the, the food cost. The, that's it. And they are eating quite a bit of my food. And I don't like that. That's okay. Holy shit. What are these people conging? Where are they going? I don't know what's going on. Are they like... Are they going to revolt? This is kind of crazy. There it is. Oh, they're going... Oh, shit. They're going to get firewood. I forgot all about that. They d the f oh, they do actually go and touch the firewood. Totally spaced on that. They have to run all... <laughs> That's another... It's just like... It's just another reason why a centralized market with just everything just tends to, you know, be super, super efficient. Um, I don't know if I'll ever go away from it. It's just... It is what it is. Not a bad idea, though, to have, like, random, you know, wells and, and things like that, though. There's plenty of good spots for random wells. But, yeah. How much? We got ten sausages. So the sausages are flowing. But you can see the issue here is that it takes quite a bit of goods just to get one sausage. I would say that it's probably inefficient to ship the meat uh, the salt, I would say, is probably what you would want to do. And you'd want to go with pigs. Because, as I explained, you get four you get four pigs. Those four pigs will make eight sausages. Um, I would need a whole row of pigs, though. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work without the advanced skinning. But you don't need sausages. And I, it's honestly a distraction. Like, if you can focus on eggs, apples, honey bread and vegetables which you can see that i have done you're in good shape if i would have put the same effort to setting up these packing stations as just like simply ooh, that wasn't tier three simply just expanding my my farming probably would have been just as viable like but like realistically i should i should like i should have like 600 bread and i'm kind of losing my mind right now um i don't know why they're they're like just they're just going through the bread so quick. There we go. There's 225. Yeah, it comes and goes. So we are... I mean, we are there. It's just uh, kind of seasonal when you have 100%. I feel good about that. I actually think this is a good place to, to uh, end the series. Because I've done everything that I wanted to do. And I will upload the save for this. So you can kind of take it from here if you want to keep going. Or if you want to see if you can improve something. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And have a great rest of your day.